And here we go. Super High Roller Bowl, Pot Limit Omaha, live from the Poker Grove Studio at Aria Resort and Casino. Not two cards. We're going with four cards today. I'm Brent Hanks, joined by the Kentucky Kid, Len Ashby. You like that nickname, Len? Oh, you're like Kid Poker. We'll see at our feature table. No longer a child. 100K buy-in, largest buy-in in Pot Limit Omaha history. You know this guy, especially if you like sports cards. Garrett Blesnick, our chip leader. 1.7 million and a bucket hat on top. I hope we get a lot of him. Welcome everybody out there on YouTube, on Pluto. We are being seen worldwide right now. Sling TV. This guy's family, Ben Tallerine, he's probably watching as well. Absolute killer when it comes to Pot Limit Omaha cash games and tournaments. You ever played with Tallerine? I, I had uh, a long time ago when it was very young. How about this guy? Sweet Lou Sweet Garza. Not going to lie, I'm loving the dreads. I haven't seen this side of Lou. Got the chain out there per usual. Love this guy. A lot of drip. And we're all familiar with Daniel Negrano, number five on the all-time money list. He can play every game well in contention here on day two at the Super High Roller Bowl alongside the 2023 Poker Masters champion, Stephen Shidwick. I say we shuffle up and deal. Let these games begin. Overall leaderboard, Blesnick on top. Ben Tallerine second. Sweet Lou Garza in third. You got Aaron Katz. You got Mickey. Mickey yeah. Duick. Is that a name change? What's going on there? I'm pretty sure that's what he goes by. Laszlo, bottom of the board, two big blinds and a dream. I know you've played a, a lot of cash with Omaha for rolls, his online handle. Uh, a little bit of love back in the day. Not much online. It's a hot pass. Uh, speaking of a lot of cash, you saw that pile, 1.2 million and change up top. And here we go. Pretty good turnout. I made the total over under 42. They got 38. Uh, looked like it was going to go over, but no one really busted. Uh, so there wasn't many re entries. Right? Structure's too good. Yeah, finally. I like that. Yeah. That's good. Three day tournament. Uh, big buy in. Give them some bigger, big blondes to play a little deeper is nice for PLO, in my opinion. There comes Fox in the meatiest man alive at the poker table. He's got the nude aces. Is that what you call them? Nude aces? Yeah. You're just visualizing the ace of clubs filling up. You know, you got the queen six of clubs. Yeah. It's just, you know, not bad. Just race and take it. And no one had anything to really play. So. These guys played long into the night on day one. And we expect a very long day two. We're going to play down two, the money. Final seven, I believe, is the plan. Maybe a step further. Maybe we cut it off at eight. We'll see what time it is. And if you are joining us on the Poker Go YouTube channel, got the chat open. You can talk to me and Len if you have any questions for the Kentucky kid. New nickname. He loves it. Yeah, thrilled with it. <laughs> I've been called a lot worse, though, so I'll take it as a compliment. Make sure you do like and subscribe to this channel. Click that thumbs up. We need to get a lot of thumbs up if we're going to be bringing you that final table coverage tomorrow. Oh. Little bird's eye view. Spectacular production for this Super High Roller Bowl Pot Limit event. Rarely do we see the outer tables. You can see we've got cameras set up everywhere. And here we go. Short stack. Omaha for rolls all in. Call. My man, John. John Reardon's going to look him up. It's only two bigs. Yeah, you just yeah, you call him. 
see a run out. Oh, Nicole. You're, you, you're never supposed to have aces in that spot, ever. Are those cards good? All right. Yep. He's, I, the, the math on him having aces in this spot is like less than 1%. Well. And he somehow has aces. <laughs> It makes no sense. <laughs> like he, this is like he. We could have Blessing do our job anytime they. Oh, oh well. Oh, that's uh, not a bad flop for John Reardon. John's a favorite. Watch Look, these equities no flip around. No At least I believe they will. Is that right? Yeah, he should be. A, uh, slight, slight favorite, favorite now. Yeah, slight favorite. Probably about ten percent. Yeah, sixty-two. Oop, not now. Card for Laszlo here to stay alive. See all the outs, 15 of them on top. I think it's like a Not one of them. Ace is full and a double up for Laszlo. That's the Omaha for Rolls run out right there. You've been doing that for 12 years. <laughs> Blesnick and Boitas have a, a ton of history playing online, live PLO. Number one on Hungary's all-time money list, which is pretty wow. surprising. All he does uh, is play PLO. Well, he had a uh, – I'm not looking at his page here, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he had won a, a large no-limit uh, tournament uh, in Europe somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's a frequent flyer of all the Triton events, and I am looking through this pile. We've got a pile of bios. I've got about – Exactly 38 of them, <laughs> and I can't find. No, they're, they're like they're. I can't find it. Like, well, you know, take my word for it. He wants something. He wants something good. He wants something big. <laughs> and it was in Holdem. I think he's uh, dabbled in some uh, no limit tourneys. I can now. tell you exactly what he did. T in 2018, he got second in the World Series Europe main event. He almost won the oh, main. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. 789,000. He won EPT Barcelona. Yeah, there you 2019 go. 2019 for 789. Second in a Triton Cypress 50K no limit event in 2022 for 770. So, yeah, he has piled up the earnings more than 6.1. And here's Ben Tolerine. We see him once a year, and it's typically for this oh. event, the 100K PLO. <laughs> and here we go. Again. Wow, that's, that's funny. How does he have it again? Uh, that's impossible. Let me make a small revenge. <laughs> 44,000. Sixty-two percent favorite for Laszlo, looking to go back to back, trying to double up once more. Yeah, if he were to win this one and. Stick around for a little bit. We can be back in this thing. And wow, Ben flops him. Almost dead here. Gonna need a jack, ace, or a four. That's not the four of diamonds. Oh, and another queen giving trips. Excuse me, a full house to Tolerain and an ace, and only an ace now for Laszlo to survive. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> there it is. Oh, where did that card come from? Spikes it. <laughs> oh, man. Another Sorry. ace on the river. You, you pulled in an ace. You can oh, never count out less. Two. Don't count out less. Boys. The uh -oh. players confirm that was we a any, one. We got any out live out line bettings on here? I'd like to put a little something on Lazlo right now. <laughs> well, I'm sure I can find you some action. Can I get a price? Yeah, we'll get that booked. We got Dove here in the chat. A question for the Kentucky kid. Which game has more short-term luck factor, No Limit Hold'em or PLO? Um, well, a lot would probably depend on the structure of what type of game you're playing. I think uh, no cap buy-ins for PLO. If you're a good player, you have a pretty significant edge. But if you're in a good No Limit game, your win rate should be insanely high. So... I would say there's way more luck in the PLO uh, based on the 
based on equities of hands. And I mean, I guess Brian, sometimes the gambling gets out of control and you find yourself gambling now. with them. And, uh, you usually don't <laughs> do that in the limit games. So. There you have it, straight from the bluegrass. PLO, that's a lot of gamble. And this is actually Brian Rast, all in for his tournament life, I believe, against Aaron Katz. You can see right here. These are two healthy stacks. Rast is covered. Can't see the hands exactly. Yeah, they, they seem like they got Jack in a five. decent amount here. Three. Bring a big card. A lot of blockers. Brian's actually a bigger favorite. Oh, you have an eight. Two, two, two. There it is. Most recent Hall of Fame inductee, Brian Rast, all in for his tournament life. There's the board. Ace, ten, eight, four. I believe Rast still out in front with his two kings. Does have clubs to go alongside of it. Trying to fade all the gut shot outs for Aaron Katz. And I think he's done that. Otherwise, three ten. I can't. Is that the eight of clubs Rast has? Did he make trip eights on the I river? I don't think he needed it, but uh, it looked like uh, Katz had something like queen queen. I had it. I saw it. Something like that. Yeah. Some sort of rundown hand. was a little different. Is that what they call it, a rundown hand? Uh, yeah. Uh, Did I make that up? Like, no, you can call it rundown hand. Like, usually it's lower than uh, face guards. And rundowns yeah. are usually, like, you know, 10, 9, 8, 7. So what do you call Queen, Queen, Jack, 9? Does that have any sort of nickname? No. Just a good hand? Just a good hand. Yeah, it's a good hand. That's why we brought him in, the Kentucky kid, Len Ashby, <laughs> right here. And well-deserved on the Hall of Fame from Brian. Uh, we talk about somebody who's played every level. Uh, to every t every type, and he's been very successful. So well deserved on the Hall of Fame. I think it was pretty obvious that Rasty was going to be a shoe in for the Hall of Fame. Meanwhile, back to our feature table. You can see Foxen just trip sevens, which is the best variety of trips that we can see. Chris Brewer also has a seven in his hand. 32,000 in the middle, Foxen. Betting for value. 18K. Yeah, we'll see if Chris gets away from here. Uh, hot, not overly big. Uh, can't really beat much. Um, not many sevens he beats, actually. So uh, I think he'll fold. Quite a value bet for Foxen as well, right? Not even yeah. worried about yeah. anyone having an ace. Assuming the action went check around on a uh, flop turn. Seems like. Oh, yeah, it's going to go. Hmm. Does win. I, that is just a perfect value bet <laughs> for Foxen. Does get called by a worse seven somehow. This is you so can tell we've got action going around the clock in here. Now back over to oh, an outer here. table. Two players on their feet typically means an all-in confrontation. And there it is. John Reardon, ace-ace, queen, six, one suit against Ike Haxton, who has ace, king, jack, seven of the heart variety. A fair flop for both. Haxton's got a piece. He's got a gut shot. Reardon out in front with the aces, also possessing a gut shot. Here we go. That's a great card for John. And a ten of clubs on the turn. You heard it from Len. A great card when you have two aces for Reardon. Haxton. I believe is now dead to a king and a king only. Yeah, he's got a gutter. Queen is good. Oh, and I a believe, gutter. Right? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's my fault. I think I caused Man. that. Did I have anything to do with it? Or I'm just blaming you? I th you did. You I like, I like it. John. You, did, you so had to like, correct me. And Yeah, I think if I stayed silent, maybe it, it's a nine of hearts. Oh, right? no. Okay. Oh. Sorry, John. Dad. You're right. It was your Go fault. Man, that's yeah. sick. Man, what are, the, what are these runouts? Gross. 
Absolutely sickening, and the Haxton heater continues. Yeah, well, wow. he's been crushing, right? Sure yeah. has. Every time I, I scroll a tournament, I see him winning. The winner of Super High Roller Bowl 8. That was felt like last week. Can he go back to back and now take home the pot limit Omaha variant? I can't believe that. I thought the queen would have filled up. That was sick. For some reason, I didn't see it as an out, and then Sorry, right, Brent. You're used to looking at two cards. It's okay. I don't know how this game it's works. Okay. I don't. Yeah. Okay. I need the chat to help me. I need you. Badly. <laughs> that was our first bus cool. today, right? John? Yeah. Then there were 16. 16? Um, no. That math's wrong. That started at 17. Yeah, that's right, right? Yeah. Are okay. they combining uh, so. two tables at what? Are they waiting till they get down to seven? Or do we know that? Or? Well, that would require me looking at the structure sheet, which I don't have. I don't know. We'll just guess. We'll figure it out as we go along. So Eventually, they got to combine. See what Laszlo does here with this hand. Um, looks like he wants to play. He's going to call. Call. Double suited for right care too. Probably defend. Out of the small blind, you still like it? Yeah, it's okay. Queen 10 9 combo. Fold. It's, it's, yeah, it's not a great out of position. But I think he calls if he's a big blind, but not the. Also small. double suited like, is would, Frank Cabello out of the big blind. Uh, let's see three from these three. Big flop for oh, that wasn't Elizabeth. Elizabeth. That much? Holy oh. cow. Oh, that's all he that's, has? Yeah. Oh, I didn't that's know that. Effectively flopping all of it. Oh, that's right, because he lost the Harder. Point. I forgot. Yeah. I don't think you can hit this board any harder than what he's done. Not flush draw. He's got. Is this a wrap in yeah. PLO, Len? Yeah, ace to six makes sense. He's got the five. And like the this. five for trips is also big, so he's got the board covered. And he'll just get it in here and. 18. Likely win. That, he almost started laughing. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he <laughs> killed the ace, deuce, four, five. How much uh, he smashed With it. a uh, fairly short stack and just uh, flop all of it. So, What a potential spin-up it could be. 10 seconds. <laughs> he oh, is trying he not is to laugh. He is laughing. He can't help it. He's <laughs> call. Call and call. Look at this. <laughs> He doesn't have to really uh, wow. beat much here in two queens. Uh, he's got so many cards where he just turns him stone dead. Ben does have backdoor diamonds. He's got a 20 outer. You can see all the outs on top of the board. We've almost run out of space for that many outs with this graphic. So how much did you uh, book me at 80 to 1 on, oh on last Oh, I mean, you would broke me six right. times over. And that, it that's it. Well, He's you wanted the ace, Laz? You didn't want him drawing dead? Like an ace, he started the day with 16,000 chips, two big blinds, and now Omaha for Rose, Laszlo right. Boites, <laughs> up to 216,000. We've been playing poker for 15 <laughs> minutes. Definitely possible to spin it up and feel low very quickly. I've seen some magic in my life. People doing this. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Ah, up to 216,000. Uh, what is it, around uh, 30 big blondes now or something? It's very playable. <sighs> They're not going to like seeing this either. Uh, Lazo, very good. So they would have preferred him out. <laughs> Chris. They almost had him out. I, yeah. If I uh, that I ace was out. spooky, man. That was that was crazy. I checked out uh, the live reporting late last night over at PGT.com, where you can actually catch all the action. And Laszlo lost the final hand of the night, leaving him sixteen thousand. Oh, wow. It was a four hundred k pot. Oh wow! And he lost. He was left with crumbs. That was the final hand of the evening. I was sweating the entrance. I made the over under 42. 
told anybody at the table they could bet either side. Got a little action on over, so I needed the under. Came home. Cash the ticket. Sharp. Oh, yeah. Sharp. It was a pretty good total for you, too. That's very good. I actually good. had my line at 45 I and a half. I thought it could get. No, I, yeah. yeah. After talking to some people, they're like, oh, under's drawn dead. And I think they just kind of ran bad in uh, re entries. Right. Like, um, a couple of people didn't re enter that I thought would. Uh, ben Lamb didn't re enter, and neither did Dylan. So. Uh, thought 100K was enough, huh? Didn't want it. You could re enter once, yeah, by I mean, the way. It's a lens point. Yeah, it's, uh, you know. You gotta feel it, I guess, <laughs> if you're gonna re-enter 100k. So tough field, also. I mean, not gonna lie, not too many spots in this uh, field, uh, in my opinion. So, but still a pretty great turnout, I think. Uh, 100k field. I believe, and I was looking around, and, and maybe chat, you guys can correct me over there on YouTube. Folks tuned in on Pluto, Sling, Fubo, wherever you are watching, you can hit us on Twitter, or X as they call it now. I'm not calling it X. I believe this is the largest buy-in of the PLO variety ever. Yeah, they had a 100K during the World Series. Pot Limit Omaha? Right, this past World Series. Is that right? I'm pretty sure they had a 100K. Well, then that or was it just? 50? Then I made all that up very quickly. I don't I, know. I, I, I think I, they did. I was playing cash twenty hours a day, so <laughs> I can't remember the summer. I much, couldn't but. find a bigger buy-in price point okay, for maybe a Pot Limit Omaha a tournament, but you could be right. I, I, I really don't they had know. Had hundred k, maybe I'm wrong. So my my stat of the day, which was not even a stat of the day, lasted for about <laughs> one and a half seconds <laughs> before it was. Overruled. Shut down. I may I may be wrong on that. I, I thought but I I was thinking there was a hundred K this last World Series. I was really proud of that too. That's okay. Spent hours. I sound like I'm right it. all the time, but most of the time I'm not. I also you gotta made convince it it's convincing yeah. like when I'm talking sports. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah NFL, you're very good at golf. That. You just gotta really put the emphasis on how dumb someone can be. You know. We talked about that before the show. I was gonna say it's a lot like your takes on the I can't NFL breathe. Coaches. I can't breathe with the NFL right now, man. These coaches are just insanely dumb. I don't understand. I'd rather have any kid that could beat five ten no limit love coach my NFL team than some <laughs> of these guys. Just bring him. I don't care who they are. Can you win at five ten no limit? You're hired. Get in here. Let's go. Do a math problem. No, no one to go for fourth down. It's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> They're kicking field goals down eight with four seconds left in the game. I don't get it. That's just insane. Okay, done. Back to the game. Let's go. Uh, well, Chris Brewer has flopped himself. Trip Kings, Fox, and he's got a fun one. Eight eight six six double suited, but he is going to need an eight or a six. Not a bad to continue though. I don't blame Alex betting something small. Sheer, your opponent just can't really do much, but he can concern. He has a king, so. Now, every time you get called in these spots for Fox in, are you pretty much one and done unless you improve? Likely. Uh, there's some type of cards that maybe you could, you know, like an, an ace hitting the turn, a, a Broadway card possibly, even though we have none of those in your range, and Chris surely can. But uh, Chris could just be check calling with some hands like Jack, Jack, XX, Ace, 10. Uh, he's going to take the free one as likely just going to go check check i think brewer gonna hold unless fox Chris could bet something small here it's kind of a blocker bet whatever but not the best card for chris's hand either i can't help but notice negranu has got himself a tinfoil sandwich over there what what are we eating there I, it is a massive is that Look all at bacon the size of that it, king is he no longer vegan i don't know but that looks good can we get one of those back here Pronto, let's go. What's he eating? What is that? I'd like to know before we get him back here, though. I don't want, if it's like the <laughs> fake bacon, I'm, I'm out. Oh, and it's so brutal, dude. I need I'm a on real this one. insane diet right now. I have to be. I had these stem cell injections. i got to be gluten-free, sugar-free. Oh, that's a Only, thing? Uh, yeah, something to do with, like, the cells and inflammation. God, I'm sorry to hear that. It's The gluten is, like, whatever, because, you know, but there's no sugar, man. Sugar's like in all of it. It's in everything. 
Now, are you team gluten or team sugar? And I'm well, going to ask the same to the chat. I, team gluten or team sugar? Let, I us, mean, let I, me know. I'm going to relay. My wife is celiac Leonard. disease, so she is gluten-free. So most of our house has gluten-free, so it's it's whatever. So I, you're team sugar. But I eat out a lot, and yeah. I like bread. Yeah. And so I'm on team gluten. So you're team gluten? Well, I just can't have it. I haven't had it in a month, and I'm losing my mind. Okay. God, I haven't had I'm real so toast in a month this. and a half, and I'm I'm losing it. I haven't had an In-N-Out I burger. I don't want a sandwich sent back here. Then I would eat it in front of you. You'd be very uh, angry. Yeah, and the ice cream. I can't have ice cream. I like ice cream. Oh, you love ice cream. Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah, you blow a big pot. You just walk over to the patisserie over here at Aria, and you get you a big gelato, double scoop, waffle cone. Oh, wow. And you just kill it. And you can't even. Do, when do you get to and enjoy the, the finer yeah. delicacies? My daughter, she won. She had her gymnastics, and what did they want to do after it? Go to the ice cream. I had to sit there and watch everyone eat. You watched every single one of those little girls eat ice cream, and you couldn't even have a bite. I had nothing. I had like wow. a fruit bar. I, like a I gotta <laughs> tell you, going to it from a gymnastics event to then yeah. having to watch these girls and don't get to eat ice cream, and I yeah, sounds like a wonderful Saturday for you. It was unreal. Wow. Still Ooh. tilting. Ooh. Meanwhile, action, action yeah. Both have a flush draw. Mickey with a pair also. I think Mickey opened and chip hook flatted the button is what I'm uh, pretty sure happened here. Mickey has a clear check call hand. Leading on this flop with can only present some troubles at times. Steven's going to take the free card. Scott, oh, and he turns even bigger as far as his draw. Turns a wrap, not flush draw. And for Dueck now, after the, the flop goes check, check, do you ever consider leading here, thinking that it's you're semi-bluffing? Well, in hopes of taking it away, or is it still a check-calling hand, even on this street? I think check-calling is best. You don't know your opponent's going to be betting, but he's going to bet something not too big. It's probably maybe half pot. At 45,000, that puts a little heat on his opponent. Now, Jivik's decision is interesting. Uh, he has a big enough hand to raise uh, to get his opponents to fold lots of medium strength hands like ace jack even some bad two pairs like jack, jack jack deuce and wouldn't mind seeing him raise here oh. yeah and he's going to wow you completely nailed that one yeah it's just the best card in the deck that was retarded. you don't even care if your opponent has three jacks you're, you're pretty much flipping versus that oh, our word declared there from mickey <laughs> he's left the table he's disgusted <laughs> With his turn bet, he's out. I, he might be picking up. Yeah, he probably he's probably mad because he didn't get to the river. He probably figures his flush draw is good a lot, and he can't just call a raise once Chewick raises. But uh, so he was liking to see a river, though he would be happy to know that he, if he did make it flush, it was no good. Wild Will said, uh, this is for you, Len. He says, I'm team gluten covered in sugar. Damn. So that is. That's ooh, like full that's, on, you know, powdered sugar donut slash I mean, that's cinnamon just pure toast. torture, though, to write that in the chat, yeah, knowing that you can't have either. He's reading my mind because, yeah, I'm, that's that, all I'm want. that too. I want the, just like I want straight those, waterboarding here out of the I chat. I want the toast in the morning with the butter, cinnamon sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's me too. Is buddy. there a date where you can have I, this? I have uh, 10 more days, I think. I you, had know, the, you have an alarm set. I, I had heard. the injections uh, September 11th, so I'm, I have six weeks, and then I can. 20 a.m. Yeah. Look at that. I'm all in. I'm going. This is my plan for that day. Wake up and have some nice pancakes Yeah. with the sugar top. Yeah. Yes, and then we're going to wait a little bit. We're going to go to In-N-Out, okay? We're going to get the burger. The bun, not the protein style. Yeah, you got okay. the bun. You Extra want the real fries. bread. Yeah. The extra fries. They get a knock on their fries, but if they're fresh, they're good enough. you got to dice them up with the salt and pepper, okay? Really? And then right after that, I'm going straight to Handel's ice cream. Oh. Okay? And it's the best. Okay? I'm getting a big cone. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's it. It's about as nice as what 
Mickey's got hair. Royal flush draw. Top pair. We've got action. 76,000 in the middle. Yeah, I don't think he'll get much play here. Uh, I mean, Negrano had blockers. He could have done <coughs> something like leading, but it's kind of bad concern. Uh, out of position is just not good. Uh, should go bet, fold, fold. When you have blockers like this and you're considering raising pot to represent the nuts, it helps on rainbow boards uh, because your opponent can have hands that they can still go with, like Mickey does. You know, so you're just not going to win the pot more times than not. Rainbow, you, you will. And it's a good fold. Who's the guy in the tracksuit there? This uh, right here. This guy, yeah, Lube, we just saw. That's the Lube Man? The Lube Man. Lube but Yeah, I can't Lubavitsky? I'm not going to try. The so Lube you, Man. So anytime he's in a hand, that's your call. You're, you're, you're doing right, okay. I got the Lube. I don't say Lube, but it's kind of, I'm not trying to knock the guy. I'm not. I'm just. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know him. Couple yeah, of America. I'm from you know, Buffalo. You're from Kentucky. We can't say a lot of names. I'm sure he's great. Superstar. I mean, 100K bond, you know. Kind of looks right? like the Terminator. Yeah. Look at this. Kind of gives off a little vocal sing, right? He does. A shorter vocal yeah. sing, right? I'm a huge fan yeah. of the of the Lube Man. <laughs> He's got the Nike. Fresh kicks. Look at the kicks. Those are wow, nice. Those, is that North Carolina blue? Little Tar Heel action, yeah. Wow. You and I are both Team Jordan, so of course those <laughs> resonate well with us. Yeah, I'm Jordan. For those of you tuned in on YouTube, let us know where are you tuning in from from around the world. Put it in the chat. I'd, I'd love to read out some of these countries, some of these cities, these states. Yeah. I'm gonna only the exotic ones. Those are the ones that I like to read. <laughs> the ones you've never heard of. <laughs> the ones I've never heard of, which is pretty much 99 percent of the world. Yeah. Sounds like uh, the Lube Man is a Ukrainian pro. Okay. Thank you, LL, on chat. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, here come the locations. You keep an eye on the board. I'm going to go through some of these. Uh, Caribbean island of Antigua. Qualifier. Morocco, Casablanca. Is that a real place? Sounds like a resort. <laughs> Stonehenge. Wow. I didn't even know they had Wi-Fi. Sounds like a casino. I'd visit. Syracuse, New York. There you go. Go orange. Oh, that's, uh, that's, our, that's Jaffe's territory, right? Is that, is that the big tuna? I think that is the big tuna. Yeah, he he's left his Syracuse, mark, made right? his mark up in Syracuse. Oh, yeah. Thought he was a Long Island guy, but he attended. To, I don't know. Jamaica, Berlin, Guatemala City via Springdale, Arkansas. That is, what are you on vacation there, Joey McCaslin? Oswego, New York. I actually spent many days during my childhood in Oswego, New York. Beautiful part of New York State. Lubo going with a little value here. Checked around each street. Chris makes it full. Targeting exactly this sort of holding, so it seems. Yeah, I mean, Alex could have some bad intentions here. And yeah, Jack see, Gray's blocks a lot of full houses. Uh, I mean, the queen and the deuce specifically in your hand. But I'm not sure this is the pot to do it in. I mean... We'll see, though. It's Ten nine. Call, though. Dub says that uh, the Loop Man looks like a Tom Cruise body double. I can see that. 
Uh, that Mission is spot on. Impossible look, right? With the shades. It does look like Tom Cruise. Golden Goose, by the way, on the jacket. Look at those shades. Oh, there we go. Wait, wow. what? Wow. Damn. They just pulled it up like that? I, that's, come on. I mean, that's wow. ridiculous. I, I, I didn't, didn't think even it was look that alike. I didn't, log, think it, wow. I didn't know that, that was, was coming. Oh, that was nice. Wow. Dove, you said this in chat. You, uh, that was impressive. <laughs> said that right before they I didn't know that graphic was coming on screen. That was freaky. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be that alike. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I saw some similarities, but I was giving it like 50%, but that's close to 85 Kind of a serious vibe here at this table. I mean, right? Not a word spoken. Right? Like, Nobody's. Yeah, they all the hate other each table. Other. I feel like a little bit with Jared and you had John there, and they're going to be a little bit more lively uh, as far as talking. But I don't blame them. One point three million the first. Maybe you know? they were. I don't, maybe we missed something. You know, could these guys have been fighting? Was there a very no an argument? No, I don't think controversial. I be good political right and that what doyle used to say there's, there's no a, a game with no controversy is no good game <laughs> i think he had a quote saying <laughs> sounds like, like a that. doyle line It's odd having Negrano at a table and not hearing. I think he goes in spurts talk. on that. Um, obviously, in his younger days, he was life of the party at the table. I think he fed off that energy and made him more comfortable and played his best doing that. Uh, but he goes in the he goes in the serious mode at times. I think. Now, is this a good PLO hand? Seven seven deuce deuce no suit. And hold them. I know seven deuce is very bad. Okay, there goes Brewer in the muck. I would assume it's horrific. I'm never folding mallards of any kind. And I believe this land would be your definition of a rundown here. The nine eight six five double. I like that hand. Yeah. 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 I actually played that hand for a decent amount yesterday. I made a good bluff with the cash game. <laughs> I like, I like last the sand. night. Oh yeah. Oh, I was playing deep into the night. It's twelve thirty. Really? I like, yeah, I like to play. And the night before, we played till six thirty a.m. I hadn't done that in a while. Wow. Getting old, but it was a must play. I mean, the game's yeah. good. Yeah, it was a good game. Yeah. You had some action in town. One guy. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was a good game. Some tough pros though in the game. Uh, fun game though. That's not the flop you want when you have the nine eight five six double. When you get the king hop. Nobody has anything. Well, Chip Wicks queen got four. Queen yeah. four back door. But you don't hearts. love it. You don't no. love it. No. They're hoping it goes check around, turns like a two of clubs, and then you may sprinkle a little something. Nobody possesses a king. Queens and fours, or well, just queens, still out in front. Decent spot here for Tubic to bet. And checked in position by uh, Lubo here. <laughs> so he probably doesn't have much of any flush draws usually, but it's going to check. Seen some fairly tight passive play on flop so far. And a lot of hands. Nobody really doing much is that the nature or uh, a little bit I tournaments so yeah. yeah i think i think more so in in, in tournaments you have that whereas Just, cash games have a tendency to be a bit more splashy for sure they're also deeper usually so um it's kind of easier to you know barrel some streets uh put more pressure on your opponents but uh now let me ask you this uh, I, 
Make you gonna go you like often a hear, here. you know, when a, uh, a a really good cash game no limit player says, "Oh yeah, we love when tournament players sit down and try and play deep cash games." Is the same true for Pot Limit Omaha, or do these streets sort of run parallel to one another? In other words, could these guys come into your cash well, game? Well, I don't just think crush? there's many strictly quote unquote like tournament PLO players. You may have a couple. Tommy yeah. Lee seems to not play much cash unless he plays private games in L.A. somewhere. But he, there's not many guys that are just like, oh, I'm a tournament PLO player. Right. Uh, most play both. Um, I do think that some of the no-limit tournament players are starting to play some PLO tournaments. Like, you look at Fox in here. I don't, I don't think he's played much PLO cash, to my knowledge. Um, is he going to be bad in a PLO tournament? No. Um, he's just obviously he's smart. one of the world class players, so he's yeah. he's going to be able to adjust in later stages of the tournament. He's not going to make many mistakes based on his chip stack, and that's where I think they have a huge edge over the cash game players. Um, we're just so used to, at least me, looking down at certain hands you're playing them, but it's incorrectly to play them in a lot of spots uh, deep in tournaments, especially, and you know, like the five, six, eight, nine double suited. I mean, in cash games, you're just like cold calling three bets like it's no big deal. You're you're three betting yourself with that hand a decent amount. Uh, in tournaments, it's that hand's that that hand's playable in this situation right here. But final you get, table, you get final down, you get down, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You got two shorter stacks and all. You have to think about all that stuff. And I think that's where the cash game players may have a disadvantage in these. I've always thought that. I always felt like when I played some of these. I thought I had a pretty big edge in the first two days of, like, 25K PLO during the World Series. But when it got down to about 40 players, I felt like I was at a disadvantage. That's where the ICM factor yeah, comes into that, play. Yeah. These tournament players are so well adjusted and studied for those scenarios. I do find it both interesting, and this is going to sound ridiculous, both interesting and also at times boring, right, because the players are so tight – and then I only find it interesting when I start thinking about why it is that they're folding because of these money right. jumps. I, the I mean, I'll, I'll be the first to say I'm not trying to down uh, bash a PLO tournament, but it can be, I shouldn't say boring, but it's not exactly how I think the game should be played. When you get a lot of these final tables, you're going to see the chip leader with like you know, 70 bigs, and then you have like four other stacks between. 20 and 30, and I'm just like, I haven't sat in a cash game with 70 Ever. big black yeah. <laughs> since I was in third grade. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. everyone has yeah. 200 to 1,000 big blondes, like, constantly, and it's, uh, that's kind of how I like the game to be played, because you go multiple streets a lot, and, you know, people are constantly seeing flops. I understand that you have to have the tournament like this, or you you play an eight-day tournament, that'd be kind of stupid, but there is that skill level that you brought up when they're down to that and maneuvering a 15 bond uh, stack, so to speak, and knowing it's correct to fold the 10, 10 Jack King, right. Even though it looks great, but you know, you got to wait it out, so to speak. And, um, that's and let's the, face it. That's, these guys don't hate money. You know, right. you're folding because folding makes you money. And that's just what, you know, ICM has taught. No, I, I, yeah, I remember all I the great players. doing one of these final tables and Max Coleman had, like six, seven, eight, nine, double suited, and he was under the gun, and he had something around twelve, thirteen big blondes, and he just kept peeling his hand like four different times. <laughs> and I know he's thinking, "Man, I have played this hand for like thirty thousand <laughs> in a cash game, <laughs> but I have to fold this hand." So he just, you know, mucks it and just kind of laughs. And I text him after, and he was like, "Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking." <laughs> Shout out to Max too. He won. Uh, he did. One of the mixed he just tournaments, took down right? An event. Yeah. And he, he just had a. Uh, Medical procedure done and went well. I saw he tweeted. And, uh, Max did. Yeah, I think brain surgery. Uh, uh, some some oh, to that degree. Wow. Yeah. Um, so well, happy to hear yeah, everything's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah I did see he just won a big PGT mix series event. Tremendous player. Mad Max. I think a lot of these guys and Max is probably one. Max used to play a lot of like cash and. Um, 
you know, the higher six cash game scene is just difficult now. Not necessarily the level of play. It's just it's, it's tough to get in games now. There's a lot of private games, and tournaments offer the freedom of anyone can play. You know what I mean? Well, speaking of anyone can play, GTO Wizard is the ultimate tool to take your poker game to the next level. Start crushing your opponents today with the number one app for poker players. Scan that QR code right now. Just do it, and you will receive 10% off your first purchase for the first 24 hours. You want to play? Want to play well? You're fucked now. Use GTO Wizard. I remember that. Looks sweet. I could use some of that. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you got NFL every weekend. You got to bet it, right? Yeah. I mean, it's it'd all be in play. <laughs> we bought some lottery tickets. Uh, How'd that and, go for you? Yeah, well, you know, we had losers, but whatever. And <laughs> we were talking about, man, if we hit this thing, you know how big we're going to be betting? <laughs> 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 I'd put away a little of it for the kids, you know, whatever, but man, I'd be firing it. That's the dream. Winning the Mega Millions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a buddy driving to Arizona and buy some tickets, man. This is so funny. <laughs> and all now, these... your buddy from Vegas drove to Arizona. Is that shorter than the California trip? I think it's about convenient? the same, but I think it's usually a less smaller line. There you go. So, so GTO. But you got all these people in line, you know, buying like $5, $10. And then my buddy steps up and he's buying like 4000 <laughs> <laughs> counting out all the money. Everybody's like, man, who is this clown? You know, like, <laughs> what's going on? Daniel with the aces here. Uh, Mickey I... with a terrible hand to I... continue in a three-bet pot out of position. Does here. it make a difference how deep he is, or is this how you... Well, excuse me, Daniel's out of position, so... Um... He's in position. He's got tons of chips. Does he? Is he the kind of guy to splash around? Well, you would want to splash around with a hand that didn't have an ace in it, or possibly even a king. Daniel's three bet here is screaming super premium. So, for instance, if, if Mickey had like the three, four, five, seven, one suit, or the what if the queen ace tens, was a club? What if he had the uh, no, nut ace? Now you're folding. still folding. Yeah, yeah. He's still folding. You just want a hand that could play well versus a, a premium holding like ace ace xx or ace king king xx. So, um. Especially in position, you, you, you literally had the worst hand to be able to play right there. Okay. Take a look at some outer table coverage. Five-way pot here. Yeah, See five. what everybody's got. Uh, Laszlo's got a wrap. Looks like Ike's got kings and sevens. Yeah. Lesnick's got an eight-high flush draw with a gutter of yeah, sorts Yeah, gutter cooking. was no good. Uh, Expect it to go 36. bet by Ike and Laszlo will Four. check call here. He's got a five to an ace, makes him a straight, which is as long as it gets. <laughs> See that? Right? See that? Five, eight, nine, ten, queen, ace. I Let's see that. that. Yeah. Isn't that sexy? Oh, that is wow. nice. <laughs> So's that bucket hat. Also sexy. And is that jacket? That is pure. It's like that a, is the outer layer. Like that is a a, a lamb skin. It's got to be skin right off the sheet. He right? did. He took it right off the sheet. Look at this guy, Jared. What? One fifty-six. Check Gray's pot here. Wow. I think he's targeting the exact Stop. hand that Ike has. Yeah, I'm guessing the flop went check around, and he just knows that he likely never has a hand like three jacks or king jack even, and he blocks some of the. Uh, straight and flush draws that I could continue with. I think he really thinks that his exact hand is something like Jack Seven or King Seven, and he's just in a horrible spot. Let's see what Ike does here. The Blaze is tough, boys. When he cares, he's very tough, and with these stakes at 100k buying, he's gonna care. He will win it. Gonna get it through. Blaz up to 1.9 million, extending well, that the chip lead. He wants over. to show like the bluff. <laughs> no. Uh, you and I had a chance to 
talked to Blez a little bit before play, and he made a point to let us know he has been bluffing these guys left and right. Said, I believe it. He went after Ike twice. He went after Tallarine. He's dropping names. He wanted us to call it out. He wants everyone to know. Jared is one of the most interesting characters probably in poker. Uh, he He's had some history flaws, whatever, multi-accounting issues <laughs> online, but ah. he is an uh, extremely talented player when he wants to be and is going to be he is definitely the favorite to win this tournament in my opinion right now having 1.9 million sure there's tons of play left but he seems to be and he's just he's so really good into it, right? in Omaha, he's very right? good yeah now i'm going to read this from the chat because i i actually don't mind subtle trolls this is from uh chill pollens such a big production and you can't get a commentator that knows about tournaments this always happens. We have to listen to someone talk about how they know about, they don't know about cash, and then laugh about it. Kind of lame. Well, chill, Pollens. Good news for you. If you don't like what Len and I are up to here on YouTube, which is free, you can head on over to Poker Go right now, yeah. subscribe, and listen to David Tuckman and Alex Livingston. So you've got options. Sorry, man. Uh, what do you want? To, what do you want us to talk? What do you want to hear? What's the, what's the, what's the, what's the I issue? Don't, yeah, Chill Pollens, what do you want to hear yeah. about? Let us know yeah. in the chat. We can talk about anything and everything for you. Back to sports cards, though. Blesnick remains busy. Good card for both players, considering Ben had absolutely nothing. Okay. At least he turned it open-ended. Has a pair now. Let's see if he takes a free card or... Applause pressure to Jared. Forty-five. So clearly a bluff from Tallarine. <laughs> Probably thinks that five is live. He's got the open-ended equity, and I imagine, Len, this bet designed to just try and win it right here on this street, targeting what he thinks could be a nine, maybe even some overpairs? Yeah, and didn't work. Jared's sticking along. Check. He's going to have to really go big here, I think, maybe. Let's see what happens. If he does bet, is the story being told in this blind on blind battle that he has some sort of deuce? Yeah, he's basically representing a full house. I guess he could backdoor some straights. He's going full pot. These are the pots I like, man. Multiple streets, deep thinkers. Let's see what Jared does. There's a chance Jared thinks that sometimes he can check raise bluff here, but. Calling is probably best as far as to pick something off. Uh, I think somehow Ben may just is betting a straight, but going full pot, Ben is basically announcing, I have a full house, and you're going to have to beat it. <laughs> yeah, good bet. So Ben Tallarine, known as BTEC Online. Yeah, one, one of, of the most winningest players ever. For I sure, one of the best to uh, ever play. PLO at the higher stakes for sure. Wow, Negrano. River eats full here. And he's going for the raise to 175. It looks like a blocker bet out of. Lube. Yeah, I want the smash kebab thing. With that six high flush, and he's got a five in his hand as well, which blocks a variety of full houses. Keep in mind, straight flushes are available on this board, as well as bigger boats, clearly. Yeah, I'm assuming that the flop action was probably something check, check, call from from Lube uh, on Negrano. Turn maybe went check, check, and lead by River. I 
one of those spots where Daniel just is turning Jack 10 into a bluff, or he has a full house, and that's about it. They're not raising him with, uh, you know, like a king high flush. Right. It's just not happening. Uh, if he is doing that, he probably has a five in his hand. Um, and he Eats full. does call. So Lube does look up Negrano, a non-believer. Definitely a spot where Daniel could be uh, turning some hands into bluffs. A nice answer. spot there for Mr. Negrano. No. And Negrano up to 762,000 chips. That is just shy of 100 big blinds. He is deep. In contention here for Super High Roller Bowl. You said how much was in the pot? I'm like, I didn't overbet it. I counted it. And I was pretty yeah, sure yeah, I was just, I was just curious. I, I you were like, I that's a big bet. <laughs> well, I just couldn't see the No, numbers. and back yeah, in the day in enough. Mississippi, if it was heads up three, so in cash games, yeah, it was unlimited yeah, I think she said betting on the river. You could bet all in. One there was no limit. There, yeah. It was like a standard rule. Right. Really? <laughs> yes. So you're playing pot they, limit Omaha, yes. but if you're heads up on the river, you, you can be yes, you could, it was, all of it. Yes, and your opponent would have the option to, say, a call what's in the pot or, maybe fold. Yeah, maybe you know, like you fall all of it. I knew a guy who's passed away now who's in this big pot where a guy bet, bet, and then River over bet, bet 40000 on a flush board. And the guy I knew said the pot only had like 10000 in it. The guy just said, I'm all in. And my friend, the guy I know just said, I call all of it with a nine high flush. <laughs> and he won. And he won? Yeah. It's oh, pretty, my pretty gosh. sick. I love that. It's I didn't kind of know bad, that that though. Was a, uh... It was a bad roll. Like it's like it's just kind of dumb because some novice players could sit down and not know it, and a guy just throw a bunch of cash in back when cash played. You know what I'm saying, yeah. And then the guy's yeah. like, "Oh, I'll call the pot's only got thirty eight hundred in it, and, and then I bet twenty thousand, and he's going to open." Now, him. yeah. So. Let's let's pretend that we are all aware of the rules, <laughs> right? I would love. To do a PLO cash game, stream it with, with the option with of, the option of yeah. no unlimited on the river. Yeah. In fact, Len, <laughs> when we, get we a game just together? so happen to be to, to be renovating our studio, Ooh. we're going to be able to offer more streams. You've got your own little game, we'll call it. Yeah. I'd love to get your okay. game in here. And, uh, that, and that would be. PLO you would the like people. the characters we have for sure uh, in the summer, specifically when I uh, run a game over at the winds good game and it's a lot of fun people so well, i'm gonna leave yeah. it up to the okay. fans at home tuning in right now for those of you on pluto sling fubo <laughs> local now sports tribal and of course right here in our youtube chat would you like the kentucky kid len ashby to bring his plo game oh man right I, here to the studio and we'll stream i, it. I could have a very King's entertaining out. game i'm gonna let the chat speak <laughs> yeah. uh shout out to some of the characters uh, Chad from Tennessee would be very fun to have on TV. He's played a couple of streams before. He played at the Lodge, I think, and uh, got some locals here. Low, that would yeah. be fun, yeah. Right. He like, he has I PJ, see that man, Can PJ. you do the unlimited version? Can you get a group that would actually oh, like boy. to do that? Um, if the game's right? I mean, they would do whatever, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> believe me. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if we'd like it, though, Like as far no. as... yeah, I don't know if it would add too much to it. Believe me, the, the, the lineup would add plenty of uh, banter and entertainment. Yeah. Unless it was three-way, maybe. Well, yeah, if it's the, which is pretty easy for it to be three-way. Sure, it that short. Chris yeah. Brewer. He's two lines. <laughs> well, he's been killing it. Nice guy. He's a great guy. All right. He would put a good one made off two blinds. Love to see how his career has turned around. He was known for the yeah, most the devastating the bubbles in yeah, these no-limit hold'em tournaments. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he got rid of the mullet, opening a lot of pots, and he started winning everything. Well, he tried to act like he was going to go to a job. <laughs> that's just not going to happen. No one quits, okay? You say, oh, I'm going to quit betting sports. No, you're not. You're going to keep betting, okay? Yeah. Same thing in poker. If you've ever made a straight, you're not going to quit. <laughs> It's just too good of a feeling. Turn, yeah. Wait, you catch a gut shot on the turn in a big pot. What are you, never going to try it again? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's get real. Uh, well, it's good to have him back. He's it crushing is great it. great to have him back. Yeah.
No, I like Chris. Good guy. And Len, the people have spoken a lot of yeses for right. bringing the Kentucky kid. I'm in. And your PLO game. Yeah, All your cast fun. of characters yeah, gotta, inside the area. I'll make sure it's a fun one to watch. Mickey going to work against Chitwick. Yeah, both uh, very playable hands here. It's blonde versus blonde, right? Yeah. Top pair yeah, for Chidwick, and it's a gutter for Duick. He doesn't really have anything else cooking of the backdoor variety. Yeah, Mickey trying to keep the pot small, checks out of position. Turns queens up here, but no hearts in his hand. up for Chidwick as the flush and straight cards come home. Uh, Duex just over it. Yeah, sorry. Nothing in there my, for him. In my brain I had the hands mixed up here. I was thinking uh, Mickey was the one with the ace queen jack six, but uh, it's Steven with that hand and he's just going to win it here. I need to read this because I have no idea what it means. This is from our YouTube chat. Did you play it? And let's listen to Chino for a minute. You, you raised? I raised it. Sicko. Sicko, I raised it. Only Aaron Katz calls him because he just lost a really big pot. It comes eight, deuce, three, rainbow, one heart. I bet it. He calls. Turn seven to hearts. I check. He's full pocket. I fold. He shows him the nine, eight, seven, five. Top two. How good are you? I believe he was venting to Daniel. Yeah, you got to get it out sometimes. That's okay. A little hand history recap. Let me go back to this from the chat because it does involve Daniel. And I, I have, always love. I, this is for you, Len, because I, I, I'm having a hard happy, time with this. With the other guy crying. Why yeah, doesn't yeah. anyone <laughs> mention the greatest no, Daniel has ever done? As you Starring in the, the classic time travel <laughs> slasher comedy, <laughs> Space point. Bear Movie Detention. Okay, that is from okay, Andreas no. uh, Alpaquist in our YouTube chat. I I got to tell you. What's that mean? I have no idea. Maybe he's saying he looks like means. a character in that, in that movie or something. I didn't know it was a movie. Is the movie called Detention? Comedy space bear movie. Never heard of it. Ted? So, the only bear movie I know is Ted, the talking bear with Mark Wahlberg and whoever else is in that movie. I've never heard of that, whatever this guy's saying. Sorry, bud. I got nothing for you. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes you're stumped, you know. <laughs> That's why I love doing these broadcasts with the chat involved in YouTube. one of the wildest comments or questions I think I've seen. I, I I'll tell you what, I'm going to say, based on how this table is being played, no one is going bust on this table. I think we're in for, for a very long day. For hours. I'm just telling you. They're all good. 
They're all decently stacked here with big blondes. The shortest here is, what, Alex, 34 big blondes. A average stack at this table is uh, around 80 bigs, which I assume is probably quite similar. I'll also say the play is a little slow. Um, eh, you know, I'm used to just fast game, but whatever. Um, they team seem to take their time, uh, this particular group. I don't think anybody's really going to go anywhere. Look at Chris here. Since there's a little spot that he can raise and pick it up, we'll see if Steven continues. He does with Ace Queen. Mr. Brewer, when called, you think that five is alive? It certainly is from what we can see, but unimproved. Seems like a rather difficult story to tell going forward. If we do continue to bet, are we simply repping a deuce and a deuce only? Yeah, I think he's just going to shut it down here. Knuckle wants more. Does okay. Brewer decide to give up? He does. Surrender. If you're just tuning in on YouTube, we really appreciate the support. Make sure you click that thumbs up. We have got to get a ton of thumbs up and likes and subscribes to this channel. We want to bring you the final table tomorrow as well. Start clicking. If you are tuned in on Pluto, Sling, Sports, Tribal, Fubo, all of these other networks where you can hear myself and Len. <laughs> I just hear the Fubo, man, and it's like. Not I the think, clothing I brand. think of the yeah. clothing line yeah. back in the 90s, but yeah. they're still around. Still man. kicking. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's Fubo. That is the channel. That's the channel. That okay. is the, Fubo uh, is the channel. Yeah. Fubu is the Fubu clothing, clothing line. Like, who was their guy? Like Ice T or somebody? That like, what? What? Did they have like some representative? He might have owned the it. ambassador. I, I don't know. <laughs> of the television channel? No, of the clothing line. Of the man. clothing. Well, Ice T <laughs> was in Law and Order, so I, I, both would make sense for me. <laughs> oh man. We're approaching 500 likes on YouTube. we got to get to 1,000 for the day. That is the goal. Keep on clicking. Do I need to make some phone calls? Some make tweets, some phone maybe? calls. Tell your friends and family. It? Just keep going nuts. Twitter's sick, isn't it? Twitter is a disgust. Well, X, I, mean, I believe. Well, I'm not calling yeah. it X, okay? I'm with you so then. I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm Twitter. Calling I'm Twitter. team Twitter. Okay. I'm with you. It's yeah. too late. Too late to change the game. I missed a little blue bird. What are you going to call it? X's, like when you tweet, it's called a tweet, okay? Yeah. So we're going to leave it that. Yeah. And it's sick, man. People are so insane on there. But you can't help but look, right? I'm on that feed. I'm on it. Yeah. I'm in there. I don't tweet that much, though. I, 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 I do sometimes. I'm more of a reply kind of guy. Now, when you do tweet, you're usually fired yeah, up. Yeah, I kind of get it in there. Yeah. You know, it's a sense, you know, certain topics, golf or Football. The last time I saw you explode on Twitter was when Will Jaffe came after you with the tough oh, conversation, man. and then you gave it right back. Well, it's was, the first and only time I've ever seen Jaffe issue apologized. an apology. Yeah, he was way off. Yeah, it's okay, it happens. You know, I don't have a problem with Will, but that was a, yeah, that was a little off. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I didn't either. I was, You're coming after my phone started Len. buzzing. I was half asleep, and uh, I'm getting all these texts. What was Will talking about? What? And I look at Twitter. I see it's like, oh man. What's he talking about? <laughs> oh, Stern one up. Dang yeah, us. so I had to send some videos. I didn't know how to tweet him. He kept you saying it was back. too long. So I had to do like <laughs> five individual. I'm from Kentucky, man. Come on. Graduated Eastern Kentucky. It's like most high schools. Well, so, you graduated. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying I was gambling yeah. most of the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That was the best. <laughs> I mean, our golf team. 
I played golf in college for Eastern Kentucky. Shout out to the Colonels. Eastern Kentucky? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There you go. We were good. We had a good team. But we broke more NCAA violations than any team in the history. <laughs> now, hold on. In the history of college. You sport. can't get this program in trouble now, right? By no, I think I'm air? good. Was, well, right. I'm just saying, like, just some we can't edit slight this. violations. There's nothing serious. All right. Uh, I, I guess I better shut up now about that. <laughs> Oh boy! Those are the days, though, man. It was great. It was, it was great. I have some great stories. Some are not worth repeating on the air, but egg salad sandwiches. Who is that? I supp- you're talking about the great Len Ashby joining me here in the booth. I'm Brent Hanks. This is Len Ashby. He's very good at PLO. Plays cash games daily here in Las Vegas, and he's got stories to tell about this entire industry one of which you just heard about his days at Eastern Kentucky on the golf team involved in allegations. And there is the nut Uh flush for Negrano. And Chidwick makes a straight. He's been bluffing thus far. No spades in his hand. Um, See what kind of saws Daniel goes with here. Very small here. The flop, Daniel check called. The turn went check check. The river, Daniel leading 36,000. Yeah, I like how Dan, I like Daniel's just check call on the flop. And she she has too it much of it. Yeah, he's got the straight. He's going to look him up, see the bad news. Yeah, Daniel milked him there a little bit on the river. Another nice pot. He's up to almost 900 here. 862. Continues to climb, does Negrano. Daniel beat me out of some money this summer. Betting on that, on the fantasy draft. That's always fun. I like doing that. Now you had I action. didn't draft a team like ah, you did. You all had right. a team, right? I bet yeah. on some teams first, his team. And he beat you. It was close. It was so sick. He, he, yeah, I think I, I won mm. one team over his and then lost uh, three of them. He went three and one on me. And he, so I paid him some money. But those are fun sweats. Right? Have you ever been uh, – have you ever had a team in the draft? Or you no. just do the side bets? I just like to just yeah. see – Daniel posted. He always – after right. he drafts, he's like, do you want, you want, you want, yeah. Yeah, you want anybody against my team? You, you can have it. So uh, – Done it a couple of years uh, versus him. Uh, I think now, I are you up lifetime? I think about I, even I think, down. I think I won 10k first year betting, and then this year lost 15. So I think I'm down a little bit. Down a little bit. Yeah. All right. That's fair. But it's a fun sweat through the whole yeah. summer, you know. Checking all the tournaments, trying to fade anti-sweat people. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't play a single tournament. Is that uh, well, right? Are you I maybe did, PLO? I no, it's funny. I I used to play some of the PLO tournaments, and then. Um, I have not played a tournament in um, of any variety in maybe three years, I think. I, but I, I'm going to announce that I think I may jump in here on one of these this week. This week? I We've might I more. might play the 5K. It's going to get a lot go. of players, right? you got to get out there. There's a lot of players in that. I, I, I'm more appealing to that. I'm going to put up like 10,000. I want to yeah. I want to win something. Get yeah, I, I mean, you know, I'm not knocking the uh, – the studio is incredible. Yeah. You can't play at a better place. I'm just saying that – you know, the World Series tournaments are appealing. Uh, Giant 10K, first place is yeah. over a million. Like, yeah. But, I, you know, during the summer, playing a lot of cash games that are just more my cup of tea. So, <laughs> they didn't make my way over to I hope we get Porsche. you in there Yeah, I might week. come over and play one. we a slate of PLO events coming through the Poker Go Studio, part of the PGT PLO Series. The Super running High satellites kicks it off. Yeah, today, satellites right? running right now inside the studio. If you want to play... Have yourself a chance to play inside the studio. You can come and play a satellite right now. No, what are they see gonna going to do? Um, certain angles in this studio. What are they going to do for? I mean, the 5K will get a ton of players. 
We'll get over 100. If there's an overflow? Yeah, you put them in the main room. Well, we can hold, I believe. How many can you hold? A, a little more than 100. Oh, we okay. can run inside so the studio. probably be yeah. okay. I, think we'll be I didn't know if that, they would cap it is what I'm saying. You know, no. You can't cap it. I don't think you can cap if it. If somebody wants to burn the money, you got to let them burn it, right? Set it on fire. All right. Yeah. How does anybody have any money? I don't have any money. Well, I'm just saying, it's just incredible. Other people do. They go across the country. You see yeah. all these million guarantees. They just crush it. I don't know. Everywhere. In the middle of nowhere in Indiana. doesn't matter where they have it. They just get tons of players. It's I'd crazy. love to know how they get it. What, are they all just winning betting? NFL? Is that what's <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so where, where is the money coming from? It's crazy, right? I don't know. Uh, turn bet pot out of Duak here. Mickey comes with the heat. Yeah, he's looking to take it straight down he here. Is. He what has, great feel, yeah, too. Undeterred yeah. by that king. Shuts it down. Big pot. Mickey, a great player. Uh, played a little cash with him. Um, I know his friend uh, Artem, who also uh, played this tournament. And uh, I want to say his deep yeah, so run in the main, he got like, third. Is sure that right? Line goes up on somebody. Yeah. So they randomized it was one, one of the first no uh, limit tournaments he's ever played. <laughs> I, I want to say that. I, I believe Arden so told me that. Level, uh, now because, <laughs> that's you know, people will that's stall, like, an awesome story. So just a cash game player. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's young. He's, uh, on the grind. he's low 20s, I believe. What, what do we got here? Well, you go through this pile of resumes. You'll find it in the bio somewhere. I'm going through Jared's sports cards here. There's so many I just decided to quit on them. Stapled them all up there for you, though. Yeah, I can see that. Getting paper cuts. I'm not seeing Mickey on here. I'm not seeing it. I was seeing we'll young. just make it up. I'm going to say he's 26. I think he's 24. 24? Yeah. Wow. Really young. Yeah, he's young. Maybe 25. I mean, how is it possible that all of these, his isn't in here, Brent? Oh, Mickey's coming back for more Am right now. It? King ten seven five double suited. Daniel's gonna get in here and see a flop on the button here. There we go. Twenty four. You nailed, nailed it. it. Twenty four years Sharp young. Mickey do it. Five point five million in earnings. Final table the main event. Third place finish back in. It was 2021, 2022, excuse me. And also in 2022, we got third at the 10K PLO event, yeah. which is just sick and twisted. What a summer. I'm going to lead out here with six. Bad gutter. Does have backdoor spades, does Lube, as well as Mickey, who's open-ended with the 7-5. Yeah, everybody has a little something. that Nobody loves their hand, but everyone has a hand they can kind of peel a card with. Uh, even Daniel. Um, gut shot. Not half lost draw he's not going to be in love with, but can turn some other good cards, like a 10. end for Mickey. Wow. And it's going to be tough to think that Mickey raised with a hand that has a 5 and a 7 in it, though it's obviously possible, but tough spot here for are we calling him Lube? Is that is that okay? Lube, yeah. I just Lube feel a little uncomfortable doing that. You know, I'm not trying to knock this I think name. it's Lubavetsky. I just, I just don't think I can pronounce it correctly and I don't want to sound stupid, so... He's going to bet. See if Mickey goes for the flat or pot size raise here. Um, good cases for doing both. 240K out there. If he is concerned about Negreanu having diamonds, yeah, it's just we shut it down right now in hopes that we get called by maybe for your straight. But it's also, Daniel really can't call with this. 
weak of a draw. Um, now, if he had not flush draw and two pair, yeah, he can call behind if Mickey chose to just call, but... Um, In a cash game, you would always just flat here if you have Mickey's hand. Uh, if your opponent is pretty deep, you don't want to be free rolled on. You know what I'm saying? Right. Your opponent has Could something like five, seven, eight, five, yeah. seven of diamonds. So, um, and Mickey is a prominent cash game player. So, let's see if that kind of goes into his head a little bit. Um, might just flat, and he does. Daniel should be folding here every time. It's extremely likely one, if not both, of your opponent has a five in their hand and has a six out straight. So and you'd have to be worried about one of them having yeah, better diamonds better, yeah, as well, right? Your hand just sucks. It's just not very good. Now you do have a seven in your hand. Maybe you could represent five seven, but that would be a bad choice at this stage. Uh, I think he just folds. I think he should fold, but let's see what happens. Well, he hasn't folded yet, giving this thing a lot of consideration, perhaps thinking about pulling the trigger. That looks like the fold face to me, Lynn. Yeah, there it is. Whoa! Fine. Finally yeah. used one for fun. I didn't even have any. <laughs> And if a blank comes off here, we're going to see a lot of chips go Mickey's way, and they will. Trying to make the blinds uh, go off on me? I'm pretty sure <laughs> he will bet. Uh, fold to a jam is how I predict the same. Obovetsky only has a 200k in his stack. There's 300k in the middle. Okay, so he can so go there's fold. There's a chance he oh, just drips just and rips. Go and there, yeah. He's out. Didn't realize he was uh, that short. Okay. So I think he just decides to bet it. He may bet maybe half his stack. Yeah. And he's going to want to throw up when Mickey raises him all in. Are you able to find a fold? I mean, you, yeah, you are. Just because you're only chopping at best. I mean, it's just, it's just impossible that Mickey would not have it here when he raises River. Uh, giving the stack size of what Loop has, he, he, you know, he doesn't have much left. He's not doing it with Ace-5. He's same hand or he's oh, and dead. He calls. Yeah, he does Holy call shit, out. did I dodge a bullet there? Have to show both. <laughs> have to show this one, yeah. And that is it for Lubavetsky. Yeah, brutal turn, brutal turn card for him, really. That's uh, disbelief. Yeah. Unlucky, and Mickey grows up to second in chips, probably, or maybe could be chip there, depending on what Jared has now. Is it a 15 minute break when we get one? That says it all right there. The slogan for this studio yeah, making and Breaking millionaires. Yeah, it was a long one. Okay. Sorry. We failed. Someone did get eliminated, so we made a count. Yeah, a single big. Dweck now up to 1.7 million and change, closer to 1.8. We know that Jared Blesnick on the outer tables was right around 1.9 million. Speaking of outer tables, we have action. It looks like Rast out of his seat. He's all in once again. Rast is at risk. We know that. We'll try and piece together a little bit more for you. Aside from him wearing a Jordan hoodie. Yeah, I like that one. That Looks good, good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> There's the hands. Wow. wow. And he whiffs the ace. Wow. And Brian Rast is out. He had a flush draw, straight draw. Looked like an over pair as well. Yeah, I need a king, queen, jack, or a heart. Looked like versus, uh, it was it versus Isaac Kempton? 
this situation. I think it was. The Nightcrawler, Isaac Kempton. Believe you're right, Len is dragging a large pot. Rast is out of here. I promise you that wasn't. I uh, <laughs> I gotta tell you what. What was that? Come on. <laughs> what was that? What? Did you hear? Th I heard it. Yeah. Was it rest? <laughs> was that? Let out a little frustration there after busting. Yeah, that was. <laughs> that I I'm pretty sure that we just heard someone. Yeah. They farted pretty loud. That was, that was a good just one. let loose. Yeah, it was out. He then holding it in all day, went busted and just said, you know what? I had a little too much chili <laughs> last I'm night. Oh, we go. Go. I don't know who it was, but may want to go check things out. Two tables, too. Oh, he just got eliminated. Mm -hmm. I don't know who else got eliminated just now. I think it was Raph. Oh. I, that's what I heard, at least. Right. Gross card for Mickey's hand. <laughs> Probably was thinking I <laughs> have the best hand for sure when it goes check, check on the turn, and now it's... Yeah. Hmm? This was not a fun level for me. No. A good card that Chidwick could bluff River with. Same. Less so, but same. Yeah. You just... He's never showing down a non as a winner here. Get you know, it. I can't let the fart, the fart <laughs> I go. Tried. Man, I tried. I tried to go back to the poker, and, I'm you, just, and then you just turn and look at what, me. What just crossed that my mind? That was a magic is, moment. It we was need, magical we need indeed. That clip. But what I'm also trying yeah. to to understand, we heard it so clearly. The mic packs on the players are up here, you know, below the chin. So if we heard that, what was then like that in means, person? don't you think everybody did out there? They had to, unless they're deaf. Right. I mean, that was as clear as day. And Chivik does go for it here. When a moment like that happens, we don't just let it go. We get to the <laughs> yeah, bottom of it. But then yeah, I was we didn't know who like, did what that. What the fuck is that? I was <laughs> like, the zero chance this guy has the nuts, but he couldn't stop. Who's the favorite? Isaac? The culprit? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. But speaking of who's the favorite, we can Laszlo. see that Laszlo is all in again. This time against, against Ben, ben he's got the best of it. He's got uh, eights and threes now. That, that's kind of meaningless. Ace eight was good. Uh, needs to dodge a four, nine, ten, queen. Is that correct? Yeah. Big river card here for Laszlo. And he fades it. And he has ran two big blondes all the way back up. Now he's at back to around. What's he up to? 300, 308. He's got more than 300K. Jared seems pleased. He's rooting him on. <laughs> he started the day with 16,000. Right? Yeah. 16,000 yet. Second best heads up player in the world. <laughs> I'm one, two. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little truth to that. I have a funny story from Jared uh, regarding his heads up prowess. Uh, he played this kid a long time ago. They We were playing PLO at the Winds, and maybe 10 years ago. Yeah. Kid wanted to play heads up limit hold'em. Jared somehow talked him into playing. Jared can play any game heads up. He could play Uno. It doesn't matter. He's going to be good in it. So they ended up playing. They played all night. I woke up the next day. I text Josh uh, Ladines, who was also in the game. Some of the players were betting on the match. Uh, they played heads up like 200, 400, 400, 800 or something. Limit hold them. I said, well, what happened? Who won last night? He, Josh replied, Jared won like 140,000. Busted the kid. I said, shocker. Like, wow. And then Josh said, you know, the funny thing about Jared is he's good at two things. He's good at playing heads up, and he's good at getting people to play him heads up. <laughs> it's an art. <laughs> and he took advantage oh, of that situation. And wow. To look at this. Draw your attention here. Ugh, Chidwick eight. with Jack's fall. And look at this dirty turn card for Chris Brewer. In dire straits. Yeah, just going to call the bet. Uh, it won't get too crazy um, in this spot if you're Chris's hand. 
Jacob will probably go with something very meaty here. I would. Uh, your opponent has an 8 a lot. Has hands like 8, 9, 10. And he does go full pot. It's 68, 68, I think. It's 68, yeah. 68. Yeah. <coughs> Chris has about 300. Now, wow, he actually is fairly short. He's got 283. Wow. This could get yeah. really, uh, if he does just call, oh. yeah. it's going to be for all of it on the river. He's got the ace of hearts in his hand. What is he already concerned about? It's 56 maybe plus Jack it should, it should or, be of course, Jack Jack. Possibly, but he beat he beats some. Yeah, we both put in 28. Well, Someone didn't get change. Because we can we construct the pot. Once, so it's 28 plus 28, right? That's 56 plus the eight in the middle. It's 64. Did you put that? You you probably put an extra 5k because I would have put. I probably I'd probably I put, put an extra. This. I would. I must have put an extra. I must have put an extra 5k in. Yeah, that has to be right. I guess. Okay. All right. So the bet's 68, though we all agreed. This is a very interesting spot here. Uh, see if Chris just uh, goes broke here. It's a, it's a tough spot. Is there a merit for simply just calling? For sure. Oh. There's a lot of hands. That it sounded pot. to me like he said pot, and it is Hold going that. in. Ace eight. All right. I'm not going to like seeing that. Dumb level. You heard him talk <sighs> about how horrible of a level that was. Could this finish him off? He's going to need an ace. Or an eight, or Brewer is out of here. Three outs left in the deck. Yeah, pretty dumb turn. And that'll do it. Chris Brewer's day is done. Sure, he's thrilled to see that beautiful photo and giant font saying "eliminated" right behind him as he's Man, taking the mic off. Yeah, that's relentless right there. That is tough. Man, you do that to me. Yeah. Oh, man. You sure you want to play that five guy next right. week? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Eliminated. Well, just here. put a big sign that says "Get your shit and go." Yeah. You know, like, showers, showers just right there. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Don't go anywhere. We are still here with the action. Super high roller bowl. Pot limit Omaha. The buy-in, $100,000. First place prize will be more than $1.2 million. I'm Brent Hanks, joined by the Kentucky kid, Len Ashby. We've had a few eliminations today. We are playing down to the final table. You see the announcer's names right there, David Tuckman and Alex Livingston. If you want their insight, their commentary, you can get that over on Poker Go. Subscribe now. Otherwise, you'll be here with us on YouTube as well as our friends over on Pluto, Slang, Sports, Tribal, Fubo. Len's favorite distributor, Fubo. Chip leaders, Jared Blesnick, Mickey Duak, and Isaac Kempton, the Nightcrawler. Right there, he's at 1.6 million. He's been surging this afternoon on moving day, day two of the Super High Roller Bowl. Only seven will cash. Take a look at the payouts right there, 1.2 million and change up top. Min cash, 152,000. There were 38 total entries. One optional rebuy as well. If you were eliminated, you could come in, might not have it in one, hand. one more time. And we've got a treat now at this feature table. Jared Blesnick has joined the party, seated side by side with Mickey Duak. They are one and two in chips. Kid Poker remains. We welcome Frank Cravello also. Yeah, this will be fun. And uh, Laszlo Boitas, who started the day yeah. and with two big blinds, only 16K, he has also rounded out this feature table. Yeah, he got up to 30 bigs, which is a playable stack. Uh, 
Mickey and Jared, uh, side by side. Uh, Mickey with position is huge to have on Jared in this spot. Makes his life a lot easier. Nobody has an ace. Negranu's hand is best. He will bet, and he will take it down. We thank you all for joining us. If you are just tuning in on YouTube, make sure you like this channel. Click that thumbs up. We've got to hit more than 1,000 in order to bring you the final table tomorrow. Those are the demands that I'm being told that you must live up to as our audience. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel. You'll get all of the notifications and updates when we do bring you live poker content. And you also see all the oh, clips and highlights from all of the shows we've done along the way. And I'm sure most of you have probably tuned in because of Daniel Negranu, Kid Poker. He is healthy, more than 80 big blinds in his stack. Great shot of he and Alex Fox and side by side. And the heater continues for Laszlo. Now looking down at ace, ace, king, eight, one, suit. Just limping in, Len. What are your overall thoughts on this sort of play with this particular holding with the aces? Are you limping in to induce? Uh, there's no necessary limp to induce. Uh, you know, now you can limp hoping a stack that's shorter raises and you can limp raise pot, but more times than not, you're just going to open for raise. Daniel, has this table been quiet? <coughs> I feel like there's, I don't talk with this table. Everybody's This seems to price. bode well for potentially being able to limp and now pot it. However, let the game speak for itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe he's done just that, Len. He's gone to 150,000, effectively half of his stack. Chidwick now with the decision with ace jack, nine six, two suits. Is that table talking? Mm -hmm. That table was talking. Being late a price is this a good enough hand to continue with? Probably not, yeah. Laszlo's going to be really strong there given his stack size. Three bag full pot, and he does get away from it. Now up to 373,000. The story of Omaha for Rolls, the online legend. Laszlo. There it is. Started the day with just two big blinds. He is the number one all-time winningest player from the great country of Hungary. 30 years young. His playing style, he considers himself overly aggro and spazzy. That is, <laughs> that's a pretty good um, description, I, yeah, that's bro. His, yeah, that's his own <laughs> personal description about his playing style. So <laughs> that tells you everything you need to know about what we can expect to see here at this feature table. Don't get me wrong, though. He's very good. <laughs> you can be overly splashy and spazzy and PLO and still be very good. <laughs> that's a good thing about the game. You? It's too small for you. What? Series is too small for you. In our chat, I got to tell you, if you're just joining us, you're seeing a lot of comments about the fart heard around the world. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll have to go back and find that, but it, it was very special. A rumble from down under. Uncertain who the 
guilty culprit was. It was not the Kentucky kid here, Len. It was not me. We'll keep you posted what we find out. Producer Aiden in here as well. He's helping us. He's investigating the matter. Alex here turns king out flush. Uh, this is trouble for Negrano, I assume, but just a seven high flush, probably not going to get too hurt, Len. No, but we're going to check goal here for sure and see what happens on the river. Grano does make the call to the river. He is drawing dead. And it's a blank. A black three changes nothing. And for Foxen, action now on him as Negreanu checks over. How much can we eke out? He's got this second nut flush. King nine of diamonds. Very new to the game, you must play two from your hand. Sixty-three. He believes the price is right at sixty-three thousand. That is the wager, and Negrano is uncomfortable. He yeah. doesn't like it. Does not like it. Foxen wins a critical pot against Negreanu. He will now build. We're going to take the coverage to the outer tables. You can see only one other table remains. We've got Sweet Lou Garza all in with, well, he's got all the pairs, queens, eights, and fours, and he's up against Kempton's queen eight. <laughs> <laughs> Backdoor clubs yeah, going for Garza we as well. The running tens, jacks, yeah. kings, and nines. Has, uh, backdoor diamonds also. And and also runner, you know, like jack, jack, ten, ten, king, king. So a little bit of an edge for Isaac here. I'll be honest, it didn't even enter my mind. Uh oh. And here come the diamonds and, a wheel. and, and the wheel draw that you've pointed out. What a turn for Kempton. No. No. He will win it 33% of the time. Otherwise, potential the, chop. You picked up two. Garza can only win it with a four. Or a five. Or a five. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, Isaac. boy, it's Good dirty. Wow. Dirty wheel. Captain hits it. Out. Oh, man. That will end Sweet Lou Garza's day out of Texas. PLO specialist. No one's got more drip than this guy. We are sorry to see him go. And he has been eliminated by the hands of the Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. <laughs> I don't think Nightcrawlers have hands, but we're going to go with it. What's the running straight, Ike? What's up, my pet? Running gut, gut, my pet. Delaware Especially native, another young five, gun, rising star. When he has a star. five in his hand, too? With a five in his hand, less than five percent. Specifically, to hit yeah, to the wheel. No, to make the wheel. No, I'm saying just the wheel. One percent? Worse? It's worse, right? Yeah. yeah. And the five in I mean, loose. It's like, and the five here is even more worse. Would you say two percent? That sounds about right. Makes it even yeah. worse, right? Yeah. Uh, Ike, what's your number? Oh. Uh, 
kick it over to the feature. We've got action. Blesnick. I think you saw a three quarter. That flush draw. More than a third more often. Than Two jacks in his hand. Yeah, my, I'll call the straights and prepare. Yeah. Mickey's involved. Hard for me to have Just a nine here. with a gutter going on. Chitwick's got the queen, queen, jack, eight with only beat like King Ten lesser King clubs. Lesnick's the one assigning pressure. 55,000 is the bet. Queen, nine with a diamond. queen ten, nine, something. Yeah. On over to Chidwick. He's got the gutter and queen high clubs. I don't know if it's enough to go yeah, full He also has the best so hand, yeah. which is uh, unlikely. Giving Jared's bet. Dangerous but too, if I had the ace of diamonds. Yeah, I know. Get showdown on <laughs> I was hoping, I, I was really happy to get the like right away. Improved for both <laughs> players. And from Chidwick's perspective, Len, as you pointed out, those queens making the best hand at the moment yeah, to the to turn off we go. It is a yeah. deuce of diamonds. <laughs> Cooler. Doesn't yeah. really change much, although Blesnick picks up that duckling. Is Chidwick also considering that his queens could be good? Uh, some part of the time, yeah. Um, see what Jared does here. He's got an inter interesting spot out of position whether or not to bet or to just kind of check and hope to get to the river. He can check, obviously, he can check call with his hand. And also an interesting spot for Chibik. I would assume he will check back. Just have too good of a draw to risk getting check raised on and having to fold and yeah, keep the pot smaller. And he does. A river, nine of hearts. Chitwick can remains best. If this does go to showdown. Yeah, I would assume it will it will go check check. Jared could do something kind of silly in case he thinks he's up against a bad king. But uh, right. he is going to check and lose to queens here. <coughs> and you said it, Len. It does go check, check. Chidwick drags that pot. He is now up to around 1.2 million. Yeah, he's... Gradually just grinded it up today. They lost two? Yeah. They, well, they started, we started with Oh, sorry. We had seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought. Bye-bye. Right. Jared, you draw your home. Who's in Jared here to the other table, it looks like? Oh, we did not have Blesnick for long. Why do we have to lose him? We knew we were going to be guaranteed a show, at least learning about the latest sports cards, sports cards <laughs> breaks that he's been involved with, Jared Blesnick. Maybe tell me if my King Griffey Jr. rookies are worth anything. <laughs> hey, you got some of those? I think so, yeah. somewhere. They probably are. Yes, yeah, cross cards. By our count, <coughs> I believe we are down to 11 players remaining here in the Super High Roller Bowl, Pot Limit Omaha edition. Top seven will cash. So we are approaching the money. We will play down to the final seven, potentially the final six. Average stacks quite deep, around 80 big blinds apiece. That's it. And that is the outer table. Aaron Katz, Jared Blesnick, the Nightcrawler, Isaac Kempton, Ike Haxton, and I believe Ben Tollerain remain. So they are five-handed, where our feature is six-handed. We will bring you coverage from both tables. And Chino Reem, apologies, he still is also in contention. So it looks like correct. we know there's six here. Yeah, I can't be big yeah. twice. And there's six of the feature, so 12 for me. Hello, backer. My count is off. Ben, you didn't get jacked out of the hand when that happened? That was correct? It was still high. I mean, I don't know how the ship Short works. stack at this table is right there. Ike Haxton. 
Well, and because that, he was going to be in front of the button. On that table, I was the big blind last hand. I can't do it that again. That tells you really everything you fair. need to know about <laughs> sort of the, the, the current Great state of this that. tournament. When your short stack is 50 bigs deep. Right, yeah. Uh, we're in for a fight, a long grind. <laughs> he does. Not much, though. Now, Lennis, you sit here next to me watching Ike Haxton and Ben Tollering go to work, as well as the rest of these players. Are you? You get that itch. You jones in a little thinking, man, I should have found a way into this 100K <laughs> Super High Roller Bowl PLO event. I should be out there scrapping for know. that 1.2. I've, tournaments have never been my uh, cup of tea, so to speak. I, I don't enjoy them as much as uh, I do playing regular cash, though this was quite the event. Uh, a little too big of a bond for me. <laughs> but A uh, couple big hands, by the way. Yeah, right. This is uh, very interesting. Aces up alongside that spade flush draw, and Ike Axton set of queens. Back. Tricky, tricky. Probably figures that Ace may have hit Tolerine a lot of the time to make Aces up, which it did. And, uh. 32. Tolerine did open under the gun. To your point, Aces up makes a lot of sense. Are you at all concerned about just set up or set sort of situation from Ike's perspective or well, we're it's just playing for it. Very unlikely he has nines or sevens giving a check back the flop but he could have turned three aces. Ike's just going to call here. Call. Which I don't mind. Uh, very draw heavy board too. And a complete brick. Stone brick which is trouble for Tolerine. He may want to eke out value. For sure. With aces up. I expect him to bet here. And what are your expectations for Haxton if Tolerine does go pot? I think if he, was, if he goes full pot, I think Ike will just call. Um, Worried about less being up hangs. against three he has, aces. He has 500 to 440 left. Um, yeah, right. Figures. I mean, he's never probably calling off a check raise on the river with a hand like ace seven. He's only calling if he has nuts, which is which is ace, ace, ace. But he could have ace queen, um, decent amount of time. But uh, he does check. Five. Oh my check god! Five. How five. good are these guys? Two nines I mean, that's ridiculous. Isaac would have doubled up. Thank God I didn't have another spade in my hand. Because <laughs> I called Ben's raise and just fucking good double your back for that ben. flop. I thought he may I guess so, yeah. just reach for Make a little value spade versus, by uh, itself. Thank God. Hand like ace king that can nice aces nice. and fours. Who knows? But I'm on the river, yeah, good check back. My plans, look good. I mean, he was just if it's pot. I know just Ike won the pot, but that had, was filthy out of tolerating. So, knuckling back, aces and sevens okay, somehow. Yeah, exactly. Something <laughs> felt off. <laughs> I'm so happy that Ace of Spades was dry. We'll shift back over now to our feature table. And we'll listen to Fox and suck down the rest of that iced coffee and pick up the action with Chidwick. Top two. Yeah, Maslow in a bit of a trouble here. Looks like Chidwick check raised a uh, turn. And he's in a pretty gross spot here. He is. He's got a straight flush draw, 10 8 of hearts with aces up. Seems like a massive hand, but perhaps he doesn't believe that aces and sevens is any good. And his calls leaves him a little bit behind. 
And I believe an even worse card now, improving to aces and tens. This last low as Chidwick remains best with aces and jacks for top two. 465,000 in the middle. Boitas only has 123K behind. King Queen makes a straight. 8 9 makes a straight. Chidwick believes aces and jacks are best. He's going to put them all in. And, man, this sucks for Laszlo. It's just kind of dumb. <laughs> Pot's got so much in it, but you really don't want to bust in this spot here. It's just uh, what hands can you beat kind of thing. You know, a decent amount of the draws that Chidwick could have had on the turn that Chick Ray's got there. They just get there right yeah, even the king, the queen, king queen, queen of, of hearts. Or, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. Just, uh, One of the worst rivers in the deck, you believe, from, from Laszlo's perspective? I, yeah, uh, that club probably would have been the worst card maybe, but uh, a lot of those draws that Chidwick decided to raise with kind of got there. That or he was already beat with a uh, hand like ace-jack or a set of jacks, set of sevens. So may live to fight another day and try to run it back up again and save this 100,000. Ten big blondes still. I mean, if you're just tuning in, Laszlo started the day with only 16,000 chips, spun it all the way up to more than 300,000, and now here we are on the river in a 600K uh, pot, and he calls it off, and he has been eliminated. That is it. Comeback does not continue. Laszlo will finish in 11th place. Thank you. Excuse me, 12th place. 11 now remain. Well, you're telling me right now they can see this there. They see it. It's right there on this <laughs> massive wall behind that them. That is such a needle. Just a clear eliminate. you have been eliminated. Get out. Your Let King the Green? whole world see it. Get yeah. your stuff. Go. That's so on cue <laughs> there. <laughs> Thanks, Mickey, for making us look good. Oh, Mickey. <laughs> oh, man. I don't plan to find out. Huh? I don't plan on finding out. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, man. Thanks. I was being facetious. I don't wish you luck. Too late. <laughs> so, boxing is our short stack at the feature Great. table in this event. He's got more than 30 big lines. He's going to come in with a race. 25,000 to go. He's got ace, 10, 10, 7 with diamonds. Chidwick in the small blind. Ace, king, queen, 7, two spades. Yeah, he'll definitely be playing here, I think. A case for three betting in some, but I don't think Fox is short enough to uh, calling's best. And he will do just that. Makes the call, and here comes Frank Cavello. Jack, Jack, 6, 5, double suited. Six, four, three, two diamonds. They got in my left. Yeah. Boxing with two tens and that ten high flush draw. Cravello. Two jacks with the open ender. Really Chidwick, the only one that has missed to the turn we go. They check it around, and turn is the seven of spades, and all of a sudden. The equity for Chidwick comes back to life as he picks up the ace high flush draw. Cravello makes a straight. And then what is Chidwick thinking here with this lead? He called out of the small blind. Uh, it was like his 
more likely to be able to represent a little something here. He is semi bloody he's got the nut plus draw and pair. Thrill is not going anywhere with a straight, just calls. Fox are now questioning. Yeah, he's probably wondering if his diamonds, diamonds are good. good. Yeah, yeah. Fill a card, but I think he just folds. Kind of want to be nut heavy drawing on boards like this. Uh, first, more than one opponent. You don't want to be guessing when you actually do make a hand. <laughs> he does bow out of the way to the river. It is the king of diamonds. Chitwick makes kings and sevens. However, the straight, Frank Cravello, is best. An interesting situation now for Chidwick. Does he believe his kings and sevens could ever be good? Or perhaps well, do we use this as a bluff? Yeah, he'd be using the queen of diamonds as a bluff for sure if he feels okay. like Cravello has a hand like a straight, straight, which he does. He's just going to go check, check. Frank Cravello will drag that pot. He is now up to 528,000. Thank you so much for tuning in on YouTube as well as watching us on Pluto and Sling. Wherever else you may be tuned in from, enjoying this live coverage of the Super High Roller Bowl Pot Limit Omaha edition. I'm Brent Hanks, joined by Len Ashby, also known as the Kentucky Kid, the Bluegrass Bomber. Bluegrass Park. Uncle Omaha. I could hit it pretty long on the golf course when, in my heyday, but. Those days are behind those you, aren't days they, are gone. Bad back. No good anymore. The two of us have become <laughs> awfully old and decrepit. Yeah, man. What happened? Stuck here in these wheelchairs. Complaining in the about booth. NFL coaches all day. Yeah. What are those people Complaining now? Complaining about right? everything, really. That, yeah, is that fun? Couple fun. of curmudgeons. It's not fun, though, right? Yeah. Just, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> now I get what it's all about. <laughs> right. Yeah, have a looks, cup of coffee and a cigarette and talk about how the world's done yeah, you wrong. Right. Yeah. And what the coach just decided to punt for no reason. Yeah. It's fun. Every <laughs> given Sunday. It's unbelievable, <laughs> these guys. Make sure you do hit that like button, the thumbs up. We need to hit a thousand likes in order to bring you the final table tomorrow. This is day two. The final table will be tomorrow. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Poker Go YouTube channel. And Nicaranu is best with that pair of fours. 65,000 in the middle. He will bet. He is just hoping to get folds. He does get it. Best hand wins. It's been a nice, solid day for Negreanu. He has accumulated thus far. It's up to 742,000. Started right around 100, excuse me, right around 500,000 in chips. Got cold. Are you cold? Get in the game with Poker Go Play. Get dealt in wherever you are with Poker Go Play. Play for free and start winning today. Start playing now at PokerGoPlay.com or download the game on the Google Play or App Store. There you go. That's, all my That's what you're going to do. <laughs> those, those are the only options. Yeah. What's your avatar? Well, I haven't really decided. Right? I'd like to be cool. yeah, like a shark the there. The shark there. kind of shark threw me in. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do they have a, a whale? Yeah, a whale would be nice. Nice, big, fat yeah. whale. Yeah. A grumpy whale. Yeah. I'd like just a picture of, like, San Diego Chargers head coach. <laughs> <laughs> How big of a fish do you look if you're that guy? Oh, you know what man. I mean? <laughs> I'm the Chargers head coach. I'm the worst <laughs> coach that's ever coached in the NFL. Is that right? It's just unbelievable. It's not possible what he does. Brandon Staley. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's impossible decision this guy's made. Not a fan. How, how, how could you be? Go on. Yeah. How could you be a fan of Get that? it out of you. Just, just, just every decision is just brainless. He's got a good quarterback. Now One they, of the few good ones, right? Herbert, he's good. Herbert's great quarterback. Everybody now, else sucks. They no, played nobody last else is night. Good. Mahomes is good. Who else is good? 
Well, Josh Allen. I mean, come on, your Bills. I mean, he's 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 okay. He's he's in the he's in the you can't say he's bad kind of category. Of course not. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because he looked really good. Yeah. For like two years, but it's just like it's kind of gone stale, right? Well, you're in the stale zone right four now. Four and two. Barely beat the Giants. Now you were. T- how did we get here? <coughs> I, I guess it's my fault. Anyway, the Chargers played last night. You're having a problem with it. I'm guessing you were on the wrong side of no, last night's I, game. Last night was great. Had under. Never a sweat. Started out bad, and then they just both teams never scored for like 14 minutes. It was beautiful. Wow. I get tilted when people do stupid stuff, like making poor clock management decisions. and just It's just I can't watch it. I can't watch it anymore. I just watch the scores But you now. do. You're, but, you're well, watching. Well, I find out about it. You know, I get on Twitter, yeah. and I see somebody talk about, oh, my God, how did this guy do that? I get a text. Did you see this? Yeah. How, and, and then you just lose your mind. Well, there wow. you have it. We let it. We let you get it out of your system. I'm actually. I'm very glad you did. Negreanu, meanwhile, has got top set. He's got the ace of clubs in his hand as well. Yeah, he noting. Check, check called flop, and uh, which was, uh, I like that. And then uh, he just called. <laughs> Had everything. Ernie, <laughs> Even Ernie the board figured he better raise this. Maybe this, King maybe King folds also. a bad flush, or some straight cards can beat his hand on the river. Another nice pickup for Negreanu. Take a look at the feature table leaderboard. Mickey Duak on top. 1.6 million and change. Mickey's going to be tough. He's played great, uh, in my opinion, so far. I'll see him continuing to do so. Uh, Chidwick, 150 big blinds, 1.5 million in chips. Danny Negreanu, kid poker, also having a great day. Just shy of 900,000 in chips. Frank Cravillo and Alex Foxen. Still plenty of life, despite being the shorter stacks at this table. Average chip stack at the feature table is 90 big blinds. 11 remain. We are playing down to seven, maybe six. The top seven will cash. Roman Barker in the chat. And, yes, we are with you in the chat. I can see your comments. Where did Blesnick go? Well, he went to the secondary table. We had to pull a player to even out the remaining 11. Still in. Plenty of chips. I got to tell you, Len, David Goshert here in the YouTube chat. Said, what if these announcers shut up and let us listen to table talk? Quit talking about the Chargers. <laughs> I haven't heard a player say a word. Uh, yeah, wait, not wait, a lot wait, of talking. Wait. You're not okay, missing. Okay, you want to you want to listen to the chip shuffle? Yeah. Go ahead. Let's That's give okay. him a moment. Let's shall give we? him a minute. Okay, of here chip, we go. Chip shuffling. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. That chip table talk there. Yeah, that, that was, was great. The table talk was great. Beautiful yeah. shot of the ring that they're playing for. Looks a lot like a Super Bowl ring. Is a super high roller bowl ring and a pile of cash, one point two million, almost one point three million for first place. I mean, what's he want to hear my rant on golf? Does he want to hear some golf rants? Like I I think David would love to hear I mean, your your golf rants. I mean, man. Sorry, we talked about NFL for a minute, yeah. Uh, you know? <clears throat> probably a soccer fan. Oh no, football. Foot football. Yeah, football. Yes. The World Cup was going on. I didn't even know it. <laughs> Frank Cravello limps in with ace queen seven five one two. Negreanu limps behind with king king ten eight. Now yeah, let's see if and hearts. Four Everybody's ways. coming along for the ride. Let's get the non king. Hmm. Oh, seven board. Oh, how about Jeez. this board? Almost king ten nine top set for Negreanu. Bottom set for Mickey Duek. I got a bad gutter too, but you just don't like any of your hand. Uh, can probably call one street and see what happens. Bill's 
going to try to peel, a, peel one here. It's the Deuce of Hearts improving Negrano. Picking up a flush draw to go along with top set. Fellow, nobody home. And for Negrano, he just doesn't seem to believe he's up against Queen Jack. Believes yeah. top set of kings are good. Yeah, and it doesn't really matter if they do. He's got such a strong hand, top set, not flush draw. He can, they can have a straight, and it's it's okay. You still have. Would you suspect that a straight would also call one more time rather than putting in a, yeah. a raise as uh, yeah, well? Yeah, so. if Mickey had a uh, straight there, I think it would just check call. Unless he had hearts with it, maybe, and he thinks he's up against the same straight and he's free rolling. But a lot depends on, I think, your stack depth. Uh, obviously, this stage of a tournament, you're not trying to play the $3 million pot, um, the bare nuts uh, in this situation right there. Biggest square cash for Negrano came back in June of 2014. $8.2 million. It's a big one for one drop. Negrano already has a super high roller bowl title in Nolan and Holm. He won super high roller bowl seven. He's looking to take home the pot limit Omaha crown. The first ever. Super High Roller Bowl, Pot Limit Omaha edition. There were 38 total entrants. You had to pony up $100,000 to play this event. There was one optional re-entry. And the satellite provided two players, I heard. Chino and... I'm not sure who the other one was. I know Chino won a seat. I know Chino won one as well. I'm uncertain who won the other seat. But that is right. There what a run Chino's qualifiers. been on. Yeah, he's been Good to see. Did a good interview. I, I read on uh, Twitter, you know, he's overcome some problems he's had in the past and seems to be really focused on doing well. And he's been crushing. Did great in the mixed games tournaments. Uh, no limit hold him. During the Poker Masters, he yeah, was a contender for yeah. the Purple Jacket. The yeah. mixed games, I believe he – did he take home the title? I think he did. Took That's, home the overall won, outright yeah. title Yeah, on the leaderboard. Been playing a lot. Plays a no-limit game here, uh, table one game, a uh, decent amount. See him in here at Aria. If you want to read about what Chino's been up to, head over to PGT.com. You'll see a great – Article about him being crowned the Mixed Games Series champion. I mentioned he was in contention for the Purple Jacket, which was won by that guy with the maroon hoodie yawning, Stephen Chidwick, Series champion. Man, he's going to have a wardrobe of jackets then, right? He's got it all. He's got it all, right? Yeah. He just needs, like, the FUBU sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have it all figured out, right? <laughs> uh, he gave him a nice hoodie, FUBU style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was funny. <laughs> Who has the most poker titles in the history of the game? The trophies, the collection, the hardware. Most wins? Like an individual, what are you? What are you exactly asking? Wins that come with, with some like sort a, of oh, trophy. Okay, okay. Who's got the largest trophy collection in the entire in the history of the game? That is not just a question for you. I'm going to also post well, you know, that to the YouTube those, chat that's out here. They give those Remington horse things for the commerce. The commer LAPC. LAPC. I happen to have one. Thank you very much. That a boy. Won me a nice pillow. Big field. Something like 35 players. That a boy, I mean, yeah. Just you crushed, brought home the just rem crushed okay. them, yeah. I still use it as my my pick in <coughs> Twitter. 
as my profile pic. Now hold on, I it, need it, to find. And the reason Zen why plan, I the reason why it, yeah. I, I do it is is it's it's a it's like a troll. Like someone told me I was an egg for like six years, and I you gotta have a picture of yourself. What are you doing? So I put like the only time I've ever did get in a tournament. <laughs> I use that picture as a troll. Right? Look at that. There and you then, are. I got the King Deuce four or five. I figure that might loosen my image up a little bit too. So see, it's it's perfect. Good, yeah. nice premium hand. The King Deuce I have hair in that four picture. or five. You need, do have yeah. wonderful hair. And now I don't. So maybe I should change it. Well, that's when you were young and full maybe of I'll life. just win this five k or ten k this week, and and I'll have a new profile. I'm here. excited to follow your journey. <laughs> Dick Rhino picks up the nut flush draw. So he's got an eight in his hand. That's a fun card. Blocker. I think he's going to fill a card here. And it comes in straight, and Negrano's going to have to bluff at it, and it's not going, going to work. This is where that, that eight in your hand gets you in a little bit of trouble. And I do, uh, yes, you have to play two, but the eight and the three does not make him a straight, despite... What you're seeing on the board, if you are very new to the game. Mickey Duak, on the other hand, does, in fact, have a straight. And he will call this 65,000. I've got eight high straight. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pretending to have one. Don't have anything. Yeah. You win. <laughs> you win. A small one heading over Duak's way. Negrano falls. Back to 867,000. Huh? Yeah, eight and the three. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was a really good river card, actually, for Daniel's <laughs> hand to bluff with. It makes a hand like aces up that called the turn really tough to call. A lot of people believe, by the way, that Phil Helmuth has the largest trophy yeah, collection. Yeah, he probably does. Yeah. In the history of poker. Seems like yeah. a strong contender. Do you think he's kept them all? Oh, yeah. He'd be the guy that has, like, the separate room for him, right? 100%. You think there's any way he's part guy, of it? He does played, give bracelets uh, away. I knew a guy who played Michael Jordan's poker game. He used to have his house in Chicago. And a guy got there early. Jordan took him upstairs. Long hallway mansion in Chicago. He had, took him to the back. And he has his own room full of, like, old jerseys and vinyls and shoes. He said the memorabilia in there is probably worth $10 million at least. Oh, my goodness. So it was the sixth thing he ever saw. <laughs> How did you get in Michael Jordan's yeah. home game? Yeah, well, he's thrown one. Of, there's, there's been some pros that have actually played it. I think uh, Steve Villarock has played it once. Uh, remember him? Mr. Smokey. Smokey. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, some Chicago guys that have found their way to in and out. Uh, he plays crazy games. They used to play, like, literally no limit everything. They would play games like Deuce to Non. Not Deuce to Seven. Deuce to Deuce Nine. To nine. And, and, yeah, some wild stuff. <laughs> Not sure. You think Jordan is familiar think going, with... going on anymore, but... The Dirty Diaper? <laughs> the Deuce <two> Three. <laughs> uh, probably not. I wonder often if late at night... He turns on the WSOP coverage airing on CBS Sports and just, yeah, just happens to watch a little bit of poker. And he might. Watches the big rig play the dirty diaper every <laughs> chance he gets, <laughs> thinking where did it all go where wrong? Where did it go wrong? Where do they disrespect my number like this? They're not calling it the Jordan. They're calling it the dirty, the dirty diaper. diaper. Yeah. He's the only number. You know what I'm saying when I say that? He's the only number. Name a player that has a number. Hard that, to do. See what I'm saying? Bruce Smith, 78. I'm just, well, come on now. Nobody knows that. I'm saying, like, every, if somebody ran no, and said, right. what's the number 23 mean? Jordan? 95% of the people are going to say, oh, yeah. it's Michael Jordan's number. Yeah. But nobody remembers the other greats' numbers, right? I'd say Kobe's Kobe, been Kobe, making Kobe's a case as of late. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But, but other than that, you're right. It's tough, right? I, I guess, you know, how about Wayne Gretzky? 99, yeah. That's a popular one. Yeah. Man, I saw some stat on him the other day. It was pretty crazy. When he was in junior junior hockey. Something like 500 points. <laughs> he was 500 points? Something insane. He's, yeah, he's, he was 
He was above everyone else. Not close. Mickey Dueck and Foxen. Will Tango top two for Alex Foxen? Yeah, this could uh, easily be an all-in. I think it quite possibly will be. If Alex decides to check raise pot, which he's going to. And it will be an all-in. Foxen is the shortest stack in the field. And lucky for Foxen, he has, you know, the two pair draws that Duke has covered with the ace 10 also. So he will be a favorite. Duke would have had a four and king, queen, jack with a flush draw, then Duke would be a favorite. What you have? Like 140 back. Thanks. Foxen does raise the pot to 90. All in. And it's going in. Fox and all in for his tournament life. The exact same end? No, I have. Oh, you have a flush draw too. Oh, no, I, I don't have a nine. Oh, I thought he was flush a nine. Draw. No. Oh, okay. That's cool. Almost yeah. the same. As soon as a 10 or a diamond, yeah? With backdoor straight stuff. Well, 10's no good. 10 would be good for Fox and still. He's going to need. Uh, you can see all the outs. It's <laughs> literally just eight <laughs> outs. He needs a diamond. Yeah, it looks like a dead hand. Okay, Ooh, eight, eight. Back door uh, straight somehow with seven jack, or six, seven, run out. The turn oh, is card. the five oh. of diamonds. Duet completes his flush, and Foxen now down to three outs, a nine or a four. Or he will be eliminated. The Good three game. of diamonds. Good luck, guys. Alex Foxen is out. Yes, we're getting a player. In the hands of Mickey Duick. We are now ten-handed in the Super High Roller Bowl. Seven will cash, inching closer to the bubble. Shift Blue over, barbecue? take a look at some outer table coverage. <sighs> Remaining players over here. You can see Ike Haxton goes to work with not one, not two, but three aces in his hand. Like suited. Joined by Ben Tyler and Chino Rain. Aaron Katz, Jared Blesnick, and the night crawler, Isaac Kempton. Katz is the shortest stack remaining at this outer table. You can see how deep they are over here. He's got 419,000. That's quite special. He flicks it in on the button with the Jack 766. Kempton comes along for the ride out of the big blind with Ace Queen 10 9. Let's see three. Flop comes 8 9 7. About the worst swap you could have for having the ace, ace, ace three. Uh, Kempton. Yeah, decent fall for Isaac. Not uh, so shabby. It is, we can see, though, it is Aaron Katz that has the best hand. No, well. At the moment, is that right? Well. Hmm? I think that's a slight favorite over huh? Isaac's hand, which. Um, I'm surprised in a How little did bit. Fox okay, no sir. equities run close. Uh, top two against the Queen of hearts so on the turn. Needed. That officially gives the night crawler the best of it. Captain improves to queens and nines. With a straight draw, Ike, well, he's in a lot of trouble. I suppose there's an avenue in which... See what you got, Judy. He could win any eight or any ace. Yeah. Buddy, you can do Run it. over to Aaron you Katz on the it. button. It checks around once more to the river. Deuce of spades. Yeah, sure. 
Captain's Very hand nice. is best. Regardless, Very nice, Sandra. Isaac can pretty 100% knows he has the winner here. Strong. I respect it. Forty. Uh, Captain will Queen bet. Good, Isaac? Believe forty thousand. That is good. He'll take it down. Easy Rider X in the chat says Teddy. Who is doing commentary with Hanks? Well, I'll answer for Teddy. This is my man, Len Ashby, the Kentucky kid, He's Uncle there, Omaha, son. the Bluegrass Bomber. Same. Len Ashby, a legend down here in Las Vegas, plays a ton of PLO cash games. He's got that smooth southern twang. Smooth? Very smooth. Yeah. Like a fine bourbon. Wow. We yeah. make a lot of it in Kentucky. Jeff Hulse says his D-Nags out. No. The ground is still in. Up at the feature table. We'll be pivoting back there momentarily. Take a look at the update. 38 total entries. 10 remain. First place, about 1.3 million. Average stack, 1.1 million. Which means the average big blinds... 113. That is extremely deep. Ike, question. You can see some changes being made here as Aaron Katz will slide over now to the feature oh, table. Oh, shit. Yeah, freezing. A redraw. Usually it's hot up here. Or, the, or 50 profit. It would be 20% on 150 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's what? 20. It's 20% on whatever you make. Yeah. Rennie yeah, James, how many are paid? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You guys do it. We'll get paid. Yeah, you guys do a 20% cross book. Right okay. around 150000 yeah. so, for seventh Correct. place, all the way up to $1.3 million for first. But you, you don't count that. First. You just count what you cash for. So if you okay. come seventh place, he owes you 31000 well, You do have to agree if, like, he buys it. No, rebuy, we knew we did that. We said rebuys count as two, is, you know, that counts as two hundred. Yeah, Who'd you cross book, Sam? Brewer. Brewer, oh, wow. Only 20%? 20%? Still, that's a lot. That's an extra 250 for you. He's going to be fucking watching that. Wow, no, it's Jared Blesnick and Chris Brewer have backer. a cross book. I, I bet with his backer, You're not him. You know, you know Seth, right? Seth. I'm good friends with, yeah, I'm good friends with Seth. I mean, we just did it for fun, but. Okay, because we didn't even clarify that, but so he'll owe me twenty percent on a cash, anything. Correct. Whatever so you Blesnick cash for, gets twenty percent on whatever he cashes for. Crossbrook big. against Brewer. It's very uh, common. Uh, a lot of these things happen, the particularly in peel of it. A lot of guys yeah. uh, do last longer, first yeah. each other. Uh, there's a lot of side bets. A lot of times. I'm not doing that ever again. Yeah. Blestick seems like the Why, kind of back? guy that is just remarkably dangerous money. when there's yeah, extra money on the line. These prop bets. He's oh. more incentivized, yeah. more dialed in. Yeah, he wants to for it to kind of matter, so to speak. Always tease him if we're, we're playing something mm -hmm. mid stakes, quarter 50, 100. He walks by. I'm always like, yeah, get in here. Come on. Okay. He's, I'll tell him you can't win <laughs> if there's green chips in the game. <laughs> <laughs> now, if it's, if it's bigger, then he's going he's gonna to care. So. <laughs> Start to see the yellow chips, yeah. uh, the flags, yeah. the cranberries. Then all of a sudden, then I like his chance. Oh, brings the A game. The warrior mindset. No, Daniel Legrano is not out. He's right there. Sat down. We're in the middle of a redraw as we've reached the final ten players. And we're just bringing that to you guys completely <laughs> live and unfiltered. If you are just tuning in, please click that thumbs up on our YouTube channel. Like and subscribe the page. Yeah, yeah. That's, well, that's a good swap for both. We're going to bring you the final table tomorrow. We're going to play down to the final seven, potentially the final six tonight. I'm Brent Hanks, joined by Len Ashby. You can find us both on X. However, we still call it Twitter. I'm at Buffalo Hanks. He is at Zen of Len. Ever since then, he's just too like, oh, I can't win a pot, this, that, that. Bro, I looked down at my first fucking premium, and he limp, limp. I have ace, ace, king, jack, double in the big blind. I pot it. Only Aaron calls. It comes eight, deuce, three, rainbow. 
I bet he calls. Turn seven of hearts. I have no hearts. I just have a pair of aces black. And I check and he pots it, so I fold it. Shows me the 9875. I mean, like, I lost, like, what? 60K in the hand. But you know what I mean? Like, I, I fold it to him. Yeah. And then he, uh, but he's still like, I can't win a pot. This, that, it's like too much half glass empty. Dude, yeah, no, he, you got to teach him. He doesn't understand tournament. I was trying to tell him all day. He has 600, the average is like 700. I know. Dude, you're doing your It's like, he's that's one double you, to average. That's what you're amazing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I was he trying. Was, I was trying to like just calm him down and shit, but he just he every other hand, he's just like this, that. He's, he's, up, he's up four million. I know, I know. He's up fucking. He's like won the tournament three times already. Yeah. No, but he, he does. He'd rather win this than, than win like two million. I know because because he has a lot of money. Yeah. Because it means something to him. He gets little deep, insight he there from Chino and Blesnick. talking about Aaron Katz who got moved. Chino seems slightly tilted. Well. Aaron Katz can do that too. <laughs> it sounds like he's already won the tournament four times today based on some other endeavors. Maybe, but. And we move on. Blesnick opens things up. 975 Deuce. A lot of puppy paws in his possession. Uh, probably just literally blonde raising the button here when it's folded to him. True tall. Uh, which I don't blame him. Plastic does have a mountain of chips. However, he is covered by the Nightcrawler, not in this hands. Isaac Kempton is our tournament chip leader, and Ike Haxton defends with Ace-King-8-5. Plastic flops a flush draw. We'll continue. On one of the most decorated poker players, tournament poker players of all time, that is Ike Haxton. Ten seconds. That's call. Winner of Super High Roller Bowl 8. Bit surprised, uh... Ike check calling with the sand. And he's so. going to peel. He does connect with backdoor hearts. He's got a gutter to Broadway. Also now picks up a wheel draw. I mean, I think his call on the flop is terrible, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> but There you have it. Uh, simply because of this turn card. He hits his best turn card as far as draw equity, and he's never going to like check calling with the hand. Um, he had designs of bluffing some turn cards, I guess, but he does come in with a flush. Jared has nothing here. Well, despite your hesitation with the call on the flop, Ike Haxton does form a winner. Goes back to our hearts. Blesnick goes completely unimproved. He's got a nine high holding. That is pretty hard to do in Pot Limit Omaha. Is this so bad that you just almost feel compelled to bluff? Uh, yeah, I mean, if he wants any chance to win, he has to, obviously, but uh, it's just a matter if he chooses to. He's reaching. He's going to go for it. Um, I can say goodbye to those chips. Uh, one, 155. Axton just going to make sure he does have a, a hand he believes he has. Can't fathom he's going to fold. There it is. Call. Plastic <laughs> <laughs> shows the nine high. Oh, no good. Can you beat nine high when you call the river? You could beat nine high, Isaac? I would really fucking hope so. <laughs> Ike's going to drag the pot. Blesnick, perhaps regretting not betting you couldn't, boy. the turn. I, I, I mean, you're going to have a talk. Take a look at the secondary table. Ike, Ike Kempton, the Nightcrawler, 2 million. 
Lesnick down to one point. Call it 1.6. Isaac Haxton now up over 1.1. Chino, healthy, 835,000. And our short stack. How is this a short stack? Ben Tallerine, still right around 70 bigs. Leave me alone. Just, know, l- just let me do my thing. <laughs> Everyone asking about Daniel Negrano. Yes, he is still in. He's up at the feature table. He's right here, just kind of hanging out. So these guys deal some hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got a pile of people watching like on YouTube. Who are you, know, you rooting first, for? I'd love to know. Before we start. Is it this guy, the Nightcrawler? Maybe it's Daniel Negreanu. Glenn Ashby and I are here in the chat. Let us know if you have any questions on our YouTube channel. By the way, it's been brought to my attention, this shirt that Kempton has on is a uh, Zelda symbol, and oh. the shirt can be found at Target. Oh, I thought you were going to say FUBU. Not FUBU. <laughs> Target, huh? This jacket, however, that Blesnick is wearing yeah, is a FUBU from? jacket. Yeah, yes. that might be the FUBU jacket. That is pure sheepskin. Picked that up off a ranch people. over in Utah. Directly off a sheep's back just last night. It is fresh. Kind of needed in here. It's cold, huh? This room that you and I are in right now is absolutely freezing. Wheels got shot, too, right? I can't feel my hands. I don't think guys are falling the turn. It's like that in most poker rooms, too. Now that you say that, producer Aiden did warn me that it's very cold in here, and I forgot about that warning. You get shorts on. So I'm I'm just wearing underwear. Wow. Have you not noticed? I'm just sitting here in undies. (laughs) Not a couple of guys like us, you know, curmudgeons. Just out, yeah. Grumpy about life. Why can't we Why just can't sit we just here in our underwear, underwear and talk about yeah. Putnam and Omaha? Yeah. We're doing just that. Yeah, I mean, you got me telling me how bad I explain. <laughs> this guy's like the best player in the world. <laughs> Might be the best all time, yeah. I was just saying on that one Zen of Len is just <laughs> not having it. No, I just, I thought it was called and flopped this. Interesting, but I torch it all the time, so I mean, oh, yeah, you kind of have to in PLO, yeah. like because it's just not fun if you don't. Sometimes you just gotta just get be it out of your system, you just gotta a be in there bit, and be like, you know, you know what, I pot it, <laughs> yeah, part of it. On an average night, your cash game sessions, let's call them eight hours for the sake of. Well, discussion. How many times do you say pot? I'm not a I'm not a big uh, guy that says the word. I kind of know it's in the pot usually or whatever, and I'll, I mean, we'll bet less than it or something. Sometimes I'll say it. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I don't. Say so you're it. not full pot. You're just you know maybe three uh, quarters, and you'll yeah, say right. some sort of. Sometimes you do it pre, like amount. whatever. If uh, if your game's big or whatever, and you're getting in a lot of your stack, you just want to make sure you get actual. Actual, absolute maximum in there or whatever, but there's some people people that say it a lot though. Like that's their thing. Yeah, I'm not that guy. But it's the yeah. only word I would know. Yeah, ah, that's good. Pot it. Yeah, maybe we'll. Yeah. Can Free you tomorrow? Say, if you say <laughs> 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 now, if you say half pot, right, will it? Um, can um, a dealer actually? Oh, uh, uh, that's a good question. Um, or do you have to? I think you can say that, but. It doesn't kind of mean annoying anything. for the dealer to yeah. have to count it up and uh, you know, say what that amount is. Battle of the Ikes. Isaac Kempton versus Isaac Haxton. I fold. Chino out of the way. Heads up. Plesnik out of the way. Ten eight three. Uh, I don't know actually. Isaac Two Haxton seconds. with the best yeah. hand. Why? How many? Three. Two. Two. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Like it's not been like Good this. Good flop for Ike's hand. I know as you see, so he just has jacks, so. but 
you eliminate your opponent from having some straight draws that he could have because you have the jack. So, uh, Captain is seemingly done with it. Yeah. Quick knuckle, Axton. Massive favorite. Huh? And for those of you here with us, we will be getting back to the feature table shortly, featuring Daniel Negrano. As soon as this hand is over, we will shift back. He has a piece too. Same as you. 2.0, buddy. I don't give up. Officially done with it. Does not even you know, stab you know at this knows. board. Axton will win. Small pot. Yeah, no idea. <laughs> he folded a hand last night because it was last hand of the night. I'm on the button. He said the hand. I said I jizz a little bit over that hand. <laughs> His big blind. Yeah, I'm on the button. Eight, ten, double, on the button. ten eight six five double comes ten six seven. He raised. He I mean he leads. Chino another Shows bad beat history. Like I had the hand did. Oh, it. He's like did, no you did. I had ten eight like three, like queen. Or so he can hit a queen. Yeah. <laughs> or king. I don't know. No, like King 10, 8, 3. Yeah. Trying to figure out how Daniel's over here sitting and yeah, talking while this table's table? playing. And Maybe they're playing a big pot. There must no. be a very slow pot up at the feature. And there goes Daniel. He ran back. So I'm guessing a hand about to be dealt. That is the case. So we swing it back over. What happened there? We got Mickey Dueck, Stephen Chidwick, Daniel Negreanu, Aaron Katz, and Frank Cravello. Our feature table. <coughs> and here comes Kid Poker. He's going to open the button with Jack 10 10 Deuce, one suit. Aaron Katz quickly comes along for the ride out of the small ace eight six five double suited. Now it's on Mickey. Table chip leader. Gets out of the way and we're heads up. Seven hearts, you didn't want that one. You got a different one. Here comes the speech play out of Negrano already trying to make a little small ball conversation. Nine five six. Two spades. Grano with an over pair. Really nothing else cooking. Bottom two for Cats as well as a gut shot. Let's see the percentages as Cats is a large favorite in the hand. Len, what are you doing with Daniel's hand? You like the knuckle? Yeah, it's, it's fun. You don't have much. Uh, you could maybe bet just in hopes of just winning it. There's not many turn cards you can continue with if your opponent leads turn. Uh, this is one of the few ones possibly that if Aaron bets small, you maybe call it tens here. But well, the fortunes have flip flopped. Negrano was a three to one dog on the flop, now a favorite here on the turn. Bets thirty thousand. Cats is sixes and five shrivel up as that nine does pair the turn, and he still has a gut shot with a bluff catcher. going to look him up. Call. Makes the call. King of spades on the river. Good card for me. Check. Six, Granu's eight, still going to win. I did need that seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. Looked like a good board for a seven. Daniel having a heck of a day now up over 960,000. Continues to accumulate right around 100 bigs. That is about the average of these remaining 10 players. Not sure. Brian Peterson, thank you for joining us on YouTube. He says, how many players remaining? I just tuned in. There are ten <coughs> remaining. Seven will get paid. Working our way towards the bubble. 
And it will be a massive bubble at that. Minimum payout will be right around 155000 First place will be just shy of $1.3 million. Limps pot. Gravello limps in under the gun with King 10 9 3. Does flop top pair. Mickey Dueck is laying in the weeds. He's got a set of sevens. Chidwick all of a sudden turns diamonds. He's got two sixes in his hand as well, but I don't know if he's going to get too carried away. We'll see. Yeah, we will see. Um, it helps when you do have uh, blockers uh, when you're bluffing to have some kind of outs in case your opponent calls uh, that you can kind of get there with, which he does have second at flush row. And he's going to go for it. Sort of saw that one coming, Len. 100,000 semi bluff out of Chidwick. Yeah, we'll see what Mickey does. He's in a not a fun situation. Kind of had to go with your kind of read here in situation. And wondering if he will get paid off if the board pairs. Uh, see what happens on the blank river. And. That's just the, the worst card for Mickey's hand. One of the worst. A lot of a lot of the bluffs is, bluffs got there as far as like hands like six six seven X. Just some blocker blockers that got there made it straight. So it'll it'll go check fold. Chitwick now. It's just a matter of pulling the trigger. Continuing with this bluff. And he is reaching. Exactly half pot, 120,000. Unless Mickey just senses it here. Chibrick's uh, going to get away with it. This would be pretty filthy if Mickey can make this call with a set of sevens as played. It's just such a terrible card. A beautiful hand by Chidwick. Shows you how tough he is in every single game. A whole lot of waiting today. He's up to 1.7, knocking on the door of the chip lead. Fresh off Poker Masters title. He took home the purple jacket. How much is it now? And a big one developing. Well, as far as the number of players in the pot, over on our secondary table. Ten seconds. And unless my eyes are deceiving me, Ben Tallarine has oh. bet 15,000 with just a pair of Call. fives. My eyes king five. Oh, excuse me, kings and fives. Thank yeah. you. I know. We're just playing family box, so guys, <laughs> not going to hand me. Huh? What? I just don't throw cards if I can play for him. Like, I'm, I'm over here still thinking about whether or not to call, and you're telling him you had a hand to close to That's call. True. That's true. Oh, you're hey, you're right. Right. I apologize. I apologize. You're saying, would you call here with these two pairs? Oh, ben, 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 that's fair. You're right. Uh, ben, I apologize. Won't happen anymore. You're right. You're under the right. A little chippy. Yeah. Yeah. He just kind of like picked his hand up, and <laughs> I think Chino asked, like, the player would you call with this hand? Which I think he was asking Daniel. Yeah. Daniel's out of his seat yeah. every single hand coming over to check out what's uh, developing. We're not even on the bubble. We're <laughs> I, I may be wrong, but I may have heard them when they were talking earlier. I think maybe Daniel has a small piece of Chino. Got a little taste? Uh, yeah. I, I, I could be wrong, but I think I overheard that. Just maybe sweating the hand that he's in, which, whatever, not a big deal. But giving advice saying, oh, yeah, what a call there is, shouldn't be done. 
Sounds like it has been addressed. Okay. Oh, you may be wondering uh, what's going on in the background. Those other tables. Yeah. There's a satellite running here in the Poker Go studio. The PGT PLO series will kick off. And players are trying to qualify now for cheap. It's a $560 satellite running today. An 1100 satellite running tomorrow. And the first events will be October 19th. That is a 5K event, event number one. My co-host here, the Kentucky kid, Uncle Omaha, the Bluegrass Bomber, Len Ashby, he will be in event no, number sure. I, one. I might, I might. Uh, he said it earlier, so we're going to hold him to it. I haven't played a tournament in like three years, so I might. I might get in there. And he hasn't played a tournament in three years. He's never done a poker vlog. He's also going to start vlogging <laughs> when he plays that 5K. I'm sure he'll start his own YouTube page here yeah. after this stream ends. Yeah. Start doing some instructional yeah. videos. Loves vloggers. <clears throat> Loves him about as much as he does most NFL coaches. Yeah. Yeah. It's daily. Just like. Brandon Staley of the Chargers. 50, How can they be Hold that it. bad? It's amazing, right? Race pot. pot. Pull the pull. Uh, what do we have developing here? Frank Carvello is all in, and Eric Check Katz raise, does man. fold the Kings yeah. on that board. Carvello will drag that. He's, He's up to 483,000. He wouldn't go all in quads. So surprised all the money didn't go in. Somehow, Pre, we missed how the action started. I think, uh, yeah, I think Cat's limped. Yeah, it limped to the blondes, and he potted, and Aaron just called King King non seven, and then Carvillo check raised uh, Mickey's bet from the button. So credit to Aaron Katz for not going broke there, potentially yeah. with the two kings as played. Here's our short stack at 250,000, right around 25 bigs. And Richard McNally in the chat, appreciate that donation. Will Negranu overtake Chidwick in the next half hour? That is his question for, I suppose, us as well as the chat. We appreciate Len's buy in money for the event on the 19th. A little go fund Len. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I, I can't answer that question. Will he overtake Chidwick? Uh, well, it's maybe. A, it's a pretty big underdog, too. It's just yeah. because stock sizes and it's the money's not exactly getting in a lot. So it's tough to build it up over that. You got a hand there, Chino. can sort of really tell. Well, not sort of. You really can tell how <laughs> fatigued these guys are. Played a very long day one. Man, these guys don't know what a long session is. Come on. Yeah, you think they're a little, on, a little weak. Are they soft? Maybe. No. Tournament poker is, uh, I would say, the equivalent to two or three times... Like what you feel uh, compared to a cash game. Now, why I can play is a that? twenty hour session cash game and if I play a tournament for ten hours, I feel like the ten hours of the tournament was longer. Just because you're thinking so much? Maybe and you just kinda stressed a little bit, every decision kinda means a little bit more, especially no limit. No limit tournaments are like that. Yeah. I mean like two times I, I think I cashed the main twice. <laughs> and I I mean man, it takes a lot out of you one one time I got to, like, day five or something. I don't know. I felt like I've been in a fight for, like, you know, it was terrible. Were you thinking Where about forfeiting that? your stack? Like you were so tired. I kind of did that with how I played one hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I'm just saying, I think, you know, cash games are just so more relaxed. You can kind of get up, take a break when you want, and 
Come out of hiding. Eat when you want. Go back. Take a piss when you want. During <laughs> tournaments, they tell you they Boy, tell you when to do all that. So, Skirkish so. <laughs> kind of on edge a little bit. Yeah. So, that might have something to do with it. That all makes sense. Oh. But they're playing in the, you know, best environment. They're getting Javier's delivered to. <laughs> I mean, I've played 30-hour sessions at the Commerce. You know, I mean, come on. You'd be We're, lucky if you get an egg roll there. Yeah, you're eating just, you know, whatever's available. <laughs> yeah. You know, some guys yeah. coughing on you every hand. It's, you know. They are spoiled. You know, it's incredible. It's a little, I'm just saying. They're, they're every a little, restaurant you know, in the area. Playing an eight-hour day in the wow. studio isn't exactly, you know, <clears throat> hardcore or anything. You guys got one more hand? Drinking their panas. No. The two actors, I mean, he, he about ate that bottle. He's going to need one. I want to know what that sandwich was Daniel was eating. What was that thing? It was massive. If you missed it earlier in the broadcast, <laughs> Negranu pulled out something Isn't wrapped it? in tin foil that it, it was a very full sandwich. I don't know what was in it, Len. Like an Arby's giant roast beef size. It was that's, massive. That's what it sort of looked <laughs> it like huge. with the wrappers. And an, yeah. What was going on? And I'm guessing it wasn't Arby's. As we all know, no, Daniel not is Arby's. a uh, not Arby's. <laughs> vegan. Unless yeah. they have a vegan menu at Arby's, which I suppose is, well, not possible. You so get not 100 yeah. to 1 on that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <clears throat> is that Jared? Blind on blind, Blesnick versus Kempton here at the outer table. Blesnick limps. Kempton shoots it up. 30,000. Call. Heads up. Blesnick not going anywhere. Queen, Jack, 10, deuce, double suited. C3, 998, nine, two hearts. Kempton remains best. You can see how close these equities run. And a queen on the turn gives Blesnick the best hand. Check, check, river, jack. Lesnick improves to a straight. Kempton now with two tens in his hand. Perhaps considering yeah. turning this into a bluff. He is looking to do just that. I think he can't show down a winner, so. Well played by Jared Blesnick. A little small ball. Captain seems thrilled. Take a look at the secondary table breakdown. Let me fall back into this music. Boy, this is That's nice jam. That is nice. Yeah, Kempton up on top. Jared Blesnick in second. Haxton in third. Chino Ream in fourth. What a year he's had. What a stretch here in the studio. Ben Tallarine was our shortest stack, although plenty deep and dangerous. Race. And Tallarine, one of the most iconic online players, maybe ever, when it comes to high-stakes cash games, both No Limit Hold'em and PLO. He's great friends with Jason Kuhn. 25. He and Isaac Haxton also quite familiar with one another. He'll show up for the biggest PLO events in the world, and here he is battling it at Super High Roller Bowl.
pot. Oh, I thought I heard. I thought I heard pot as well. I, I, I mean, Ben would not do that. Same, but odd. I believe he limp call, limped in call, under right? the gun. With I, I thought I heard someone say pot. Same, yeah. Heard, maybe it was from the other table. I overheard or something. Interesting players. flop here for both. Uh, both have very similar hands. Good flop for Jared. He's got the ace of diamonds. There's not there's pretty much no hands that mm -hmm. Ben can Seven's check five. raise you on here. Mm -hmm. um, given him limping in, almost never has a hand like sixes in it or threes. A question from Bode or Bowl in the chat. How did the other guy also have a straight with the ten? You must play two cards from your hand, which doesn't mean you could just play two tens and show down a straight ball. It's your best five card hand, so very similar to Hold'em in that regard. But two tens simply would have just been two pair from that hand a moment ago. In this situation, Bull, if you're still with me, both players again, two cards. Tallarine's best hand would be King and Jack. Lesnick would be ace and jack. Seemingly out kicked. A very interesting pot continues to develop between these two high level PLO players. Let's see if Jerry goes back. Yeah, he goes with check back here. And I assume it will go check, check. Jerry will show down the winner. Is there ever a case to be made for a blocking size bet in PLO in these tournament conditions? No, yeah, for sure. I don't. I just don't. I don't think Ben's hand has that to do in this spot. Blesnik just has over pairs a ton. That's just going to snap to call a small bet, you know. So it's just kind of best to just check. And uh, Jared will show his check here and win. Checking QR. Good luck. And as you predicted, Len, no. Lesnick does show it down with Ace Jack. Swing it back over now to the feature where it looks like a development is happening. It is. Aaron Katz is all in for his tournament life. At the moment, he has aces full of fours against Frank Cravello. He's got six outs. Any seven, any six, and he will... Yeah, win this game. pot Just wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> to the river. Oh, it is a king, and the players will <laughs> chop it up, both Aaron making aces full seven. of kings. Of all the ones. Aaron Katz is sick about it. You chop the five kings. Yeah, so one kings are in play. He gets three and two. I'll take it. And I get the extra trip. Everybody's happy. Everybody loves a chop pot. <laughs> that expression yeah, very, you said, <laughs> says it all. Wrong. You said seven. I told Disgusted. you. Disgusted. You should have listened to me. Made the nuts. I'm lucky not to win. I'm fine. I'm just annoyed, buddy. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. <laughs> He's the best. Take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. <laughs> and Negrana trying to console cats. Meanwhile, we'll also shoot it up. Ace, Jack, Jack, four. A couple diamonds. Like you do, I got on the button. Ace, queen, five, three, double suited. Yeah, he'll be playing this in. In position. He is our table captain. Closely being pursued by Stephen Chidwick, who folds, and we are heads up. Seven, king, deuce, rainbow. 
Rano remains in the lead on this very dry texture. Yeah, I think Daniel will lead with something here. Yeah, he does. He's got about a third, 25,000 to go. On over to Mickey on the button in position. Potentially a little backdoor creativity. Could also consider just giving up. Yeah, that is a board where your opponent really can't really continue uh, with <laughs> a, a <laughs> lot of hands if you do raise. The King seven deuce rainbow, there's no draw, but he's just going to get out of the way. Just go to another hand. Would have helped to at least have one of the pair of cards on board to do something. <coughs> Negranu now for the first time. Now more than a million chips in his stack. He's had a heck of a day accumulating. For those of you tuning in, we really appreciate it. Our friends on Pluto and Sling. Fubo. Pluto. Which is Len's favorite channel. Pluto, the former planet, huh? Wasn't it used to be considered a planet? Well, yeah, and it, we've then it gone, got traded we've, off. To not like only being, has our coverage gone global, it's gone <laughs> yeah, universal. We're all over the place. We're out there on Pluto. We are. And, of course, our friends here on the Poker Go YouTube channel, we see you in the chat. We appreciate your support. Make sure you click that thumbs up. We need a ton of likes. Apparently, it's good for the algorithm. And also Great. subscribe. Apparently, it's good for business. We're going to bring you the final table coverage tomorrow. We're going to play down to that final table here tonight. There's been a <laughs> lack of uh, connection of flops to the opponents in the in the hand. Yeah, not, not many, a lot not of many, blood. Not how many people have really flopped much. Pretty Great crazy. example, Chidwick here, flops Broadway, Negrano. Yeah, just complete dust. Nothing. Yeah, just. Couldn't whiff this hand any harder. There's no way. I had seven high and the other two suits. <laughs> I was going high. Yeah, I was going low, but couldn't whiff any harder. And that's okay, you know? It's okay. Nika 473, high from Macedonia. Well, hello. Thank you for joining us. Macedonia. That's right. Jared talks to everybody that? like they're three years old. Okay. I'm going to look it up. Talks to people like they're three years old. He does it from a good place. Oh, he's very, really bad in the geography. It's a little annoying in the moment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I know what he means well. Calm down. My teacher, like, like not a world, world traveler. <laughs> not really. You're rallying me up. I'm playing, I'm playing Southeast Europe. Okay. 150 key bubble, you live. Oh, make it's it right around, you know, north of Greece. North of Greece. That's a West friend. of Bulgaria. That's a friends who live in Greece. Greece uh, in, in Europe or, yeah. or around Rochester, New York? A lot of players live yeah. there. Oh, Miltos. There My buddy Miltos. Oh. Card dead isn't going to work with the stack. We were playing the Pagal streets when the jackpot got up out here. Is that right? You, you were out there grinding yeah, Pagal? Yeah, we were grinding. Tried we to talk about some tilt. Tried to hit it? We were to talk about some tilt, man. Now, did you know the kid that did win it? No, but I saw he was a tournament player. Yeah. Yeah. Saw him on Twitter, yeah. Happy for him or I mean, a little disgusted? I mean, it's, yeah, it's at least, a, yeah, yeah, it's good for him. I mean, I was in there. I blew him out, whatever. I lost playing and trying to hit it. <laughs> I don't know how people give these these guys the action in the pit, man. It's too much tilt. The dealers got the pit boss. Won't, I mean, I walked over to Planet Hollywood at like 10 a.m., right? Yeah. Table. I go. 10 a.m. It's like 50 a hand. Planet right? Hollywood. It's like 50 a hand, okay? Yeah. Nobody's in there. I said, I want to play every box. They're, to like, hit this they're like, no. no. Play two. I said, that's not true. I said, I know you can play every box. Goes, I said, what do I got to do to play every box? He said, well, you have to have a host. You have to meet with the vice president. The vice president? And I looked at him. I looked, I looked at the guy and I said, well, I got 30000 on me. 
So <laughs> you either want the action or you don't. I want to play every box. You, you tell me I got to play 500 hand, I'll play 500 hand. I don't care. I'm ready to just fire it. Here we go. I said no. What kind of what kind of what kind of answer is no? I said if, if people come into play, then then I'll play less boxes. But how how could you they run think that? you're how? sharp action? Yeah, I'm no, yeah, I'm out. real sharp. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're making like 1.8 percent every hand dealt, and they don't want they don't want you playing every box. Imagine that. These people run these places, man. I can't breathe with it. They don't understand. They just print the money. And they don't want it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Either. I don't get it. I know what I do. Dawson Knox, by the way, great tight end for the Buffalo Bills. In the chat says, how in the world do you know where Greece, New York is? Well, Dawson, I grew up south of Rochester, New York, right outside of Buffalo, New York. Western New York native. Spent were you always a Buffalo Greece. Bills fan? Or were you Die ever? hard since I was. So uh, never, came never out of the anything womb. else. You were never always, anything always else. Did. Yeah, die hard. Huh. I bleed Buffalo. They got the new stadium coming up. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, put so Allen right. in, in a dome. That'd yeah, be it's good. Let him air it out. It's not a dome. They, can they cover it? Is it no. retractable? No. No, it's the most asinine. Th- I, yeah, don't get me started here. This Come is on. another thing. You oh, know, my God. But as you and I go into curmudgeon mode again, yeah, you've got this franchise quarterback who just wants to air it out. And it's below and 20 run, there sometimes. Run like a gazelle. You're telling me it's a new stadium? It's going to be outdoors? Outdoors. I didn't know that. I, I I may never watch another game now. It's unbelievable. That's incredible. Wow. This will be, that. I believe, folks. I'm going to let you bluff. I believe one of our final hands before break. We do have a short break approaching. Yeah. Well, the hand's over. Nobody We're going to watch this action before we head to break. It will be very short, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> Stick around. We're playing down to... The final hand. table tonight. Leave another one. Yeah. one more hand, yeah. Get yourself, you know, a little cup of coffee. Maybe yeah, have a cocktail. Yeah. I don't I mean, care what I you drink. If someone said, I want to see it. Len and I will still be here with you. We're going to take you into the night. Nobody cares. They're not paying attention. It's only during the hand. He was 100% correct. We shouldn't do it during the hand. Once he folds. Got a couple hands more over, hands of action before break. Yeah. yeah. Ben was 100%. During the hand, it's very not correct. So, uh, are we on break now? Once I fold? Okay. Call, option, checks, heads up. Uh, Blesnick will limp from the small blind. Kempton now in the big blind. We will see three, nine, three, six. The player sharing a nine. Blesnick also has a draw. He's got him out pipped as well. A Stein at the moment is the best hand. Kempton not going anywhere. Got action now on the turn. Jack of Diamonds presents itself. Blesnick, probably not the best card considering his holdings. 90,000 in the middle. Undeterred goes pot. Yeah, trying to get some exact hands to fold, kind of like the one Isaac has, but say Isaac will continue here. Got to open into now. And the river, an ace of diamonds, improving Blesnick to aces up. 270,000 in the middle. Great card for Jared. Let's see if he just has to go for value, trying to get called by worst two pair, or if he thinks that was missed, he can check. I think betting is better. Seventy-five. Go 
small, 75,000. Captain, perhaps one last look. Maybe considering turning it into a bluff. Hard I don't, to know I don't think so, but he, he's considering calling, actually, I think, uh, which is uh, he can have the best dance on, but I think he's snipped up Jared's value bet. And the Nightcrawler is going to let it go. Blesnick's going to drag this final pot before we do head to a short break. Do not go anywhere. Stay close. Stick around. We are going to come back very soon. be about a five minute break or so super high roller bowl coverage here on day two 10 remain we're playing down to seven len ashby and i will be back soon Take your game to the next level with GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Start crashing at gtowizard.com. And it's a good mix of player types here. You see some tournament specialists. You see some PLO cash game guys. You see some all-around players, some with more of just a PLO focus. So I think we should see some interesting poker here. I think it's really intriguing to see that the players with one and two in chips, and it looks like we do have an all-in here, Butosh. All in. Cool. He's a uh, nice time to pick up aces when you're short stacked. And he's got uh, Reardon pretty dominated. So good chance at a double up here. But we'll see what happens. John Reardon, by the way, is the second shortest stack coming into day two action. So nice 68% uh, <laughs> equity here for, for Butosh. Ever. A small heart. Uh, he's going to go for it. Pot size bet. I really like this from uh, Ben, and it should work. I asked for uh, I asked for bluffs and we have seen him now. First one was Mickey and now yeah, triple th barrel here. From this is a spicy Tullery. one. Uh, it's really tough call for Jared. He's close to the bottom of his range that calls the turn. Plus he has hearts in his hand and he wants Ben to have hearts in his hand because those will be some of Ben's bluffs. Um, he doesn't have any board pair blockers. Ten seconds. And he does let it go. 30 Doesn't seconds to act, and uh, at least intrigued about that one. And that does bring in the businessmen who don't have as much time to grind out a three- or four-day tournament. They like it to be done in two days. Yeah, and, and I think on top of that as well, I think the businessmen are obviously very smart. They realize, I, I need a little bit more variance in this. Right, yeah. If yeah. I'm going to compete with the best in the world, I need more variance. If you made the tournament 12 or 15 days, they would stand almost no chance. But you make it two days, you know, anyone can win. Right. When you talk to some of them, they, they have no problem. They want to compete with the best, and they have no problem knowing. They go into it knowing they, that they don't have an edge. Right. But they also know there's enough, enough luck involved in the short term that, hey, today could be my day. And I think, Tuck, that's the beauty of poker is that really on any given day, anyone can, can win in a poker, whether it's a cash game or a tournament. Whereas if I go play Djokovic in tennis, I can't even score a point ever. Or I go play LeBron in basketball, I'm just completely drunk. And with poker, the worst players have a chance against the best players, and I think that's part of the appeal of the game. In the long run, I think you're selling not yourself. So I think you're selling yourself short. I mean, you look like <laughs> you look like an athletic guy. Um, I, I bet maybe you could get a point. Would, maybe, maybe he double faults. Yeah, once. I was just gonna say the only chance of a point against Djokovic would be a double fault, but uh, I don't I maybe he just goes to the winner and he misses it by a little <laughs> bit, right? I One point. I don't think so. I'm gonna set him up with. Oh, I'm not even going to return his serve, so. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at a king high flop, Negrano with top two. Negrano, certainly one of the most Famous, yeah, familiar right faces and people in the poker world. Yeah, super impressive that he continues to compete at a top level, and, and even that he's motivated to continue to compete at a top level. Um, you know, some people in his shoes would just be on the golf course every day, I think, but, but Daniel really loves the game and, and has a true passion for it. 
Yeah, I mean, his legacy is cemented, right? I mean, this is, uh, this is a guy who, who doesn't need it, but uh, just within he does. The, the passion still burns. Well, he just loves to play the game, and, and that's one thing I really respect about Daniel. He, he doesn't play necessarily for the money. He plays to compete against the best players, and he loves the game. As we mentioned earlier, currently fifth on the all-time money list. Poker Hall of Famer. He's now got the nut flush draw to go along with two pair. Yeah, so no matter what uh, Stevie does, Negrano's not going anywhere now with two pair and nut flush draw. See if Stevie shuts down here. Mm -hmm. Again, no spade in his hand. You would typically want to have a spade in your hand uh, to continue. He does have a queen, which is nice blocking the nuts, but he may feel like this is just not quite enough characteristics to go for a turn bet. We'll see, though. Average stack is about 850,000, but these players might be the median stacks. That's right, yeah. I know that uh, Blesnik has a, a huge stack on the other table. And yeah, Blesnik uh, on about 1.9 million last we checked. Right. Or just a cool 231 big blinds. And I guess Mickey might be second in chips. Um, yeah, right around there. Right. We don't we don't have uh, data for the the third table right now. Okay. We do see Stevie shut it down here. And he used a time bank chip. Daniel makes the nuts. Interesting to see if he goes for a check raise or just bets out here. Check raising, targeting weaker flushes and trying to win a really big pot off of those hands would be reasonable. Mm -hmm. Also yeah. reasonable to just bet now expecting Chidwick could check back a straight or a set and and try to you know go for value against those types. And of Chidwick hands. by the way does have that he does straight. have the straight, um, and I suspect if, if Negrano checks, Chidwick will check back. Whether or not he hero calls a bet from Negrano, I'm not sure. Negrano is going to go for a small bet here, actually inducing some weaker flushes to raise for value. And and certainly with Chidwick's hand, it's just going to be a call, I believe. Uh, too good of a price to fold. Maybe Negrano could be betting the same straight, and he doesn't really have the cards in his hand that make him want to turn this into a bluff. You know, if he makes a fold here, it would be a, a great... A great read, but I think theory would just dictate you call this one. And there is the call. Daniel gets paid off, and uh, Daniel wins another decent-sized pot, 204,000 chips over there. He adds 100,000 to his, his stack, up yeah. to 862. Just slowly accumulating chips. And only 17 players returned for day two of the $100,000 Super High Roller Bowl. PLO event. Welcome back to day two coverage of the Super High Roller Bowl here in Las Vegas. It's the Pot Limit Omaha edition. I'm Brent Hanks, joined by Len Ashby. If you want to catch David Tuckman and Alex Livingston, you can head over to Poker Go. Two teams, but only one in contention for this title. We're going to play down to the final seven tonight. Play down to that first place prize tomorrow. Nearly $1.3 million. Here are your top three stacks. Isaac Kempton sits on top. Jared Blesnick, sports cards. Just behind Kempton and Mickey Dueck. You may remember him from the main events. The World Series finishing in third place just a couple years ago. For all that cash, a mint cash worth 152,000. The title worth nearly 1.3 million in that beautiful super high roller bowl ring. Apparently, and we have a new feature table. You need to be in that box. As we will bring you coverage from both this feature as well as our secondary table. Chino Ream, Jared Blesnick, Isaac Kempton, Isaac Haxton, and Ben Tollerine. Pot Lemon Omaha legend. Speaking of legends, joined by the Kentucky kid, Uncle Omaha. Uh, is it two hands at a time? Len Ashby. Uh, correct. Uh, he folded? Yeah, we got a new little lineup here. Chino and the Blez. Side by side. Out of all of these players, not just here at the at the feature, but also the remaining competitors at the secondary table, who have you personally played the most amount of poker with over the years? With the remaining ten left, remaining here? ten. Yeah. Um, 
In the last couple of years, I've played a lot with uh, Isaac uh, Kempton. He's played a decent amount of cash with us here. Um, who was on the other table? Uh, well, you got Negranu over yeah, there. Yeah, I haven't played much with Negranu. Aaron Katz. Uh, played a little bit Frank with Frank Cravello. Um, never played with Frank. Um, Steven Chidwick. Never played cash or played a little bit of tournament with Chidwick, but... Uh, yeah, Kempton, I would say, is who I've played the most with. And Buznik, too. Jared's, I actually played cash with Buznik the other night. We had a pretty big game going with uh, one VIP. It came in, and Jared came in and splashed around a little bit. Was Jared the VIP? Is that what you're no, getting No, the at? game was big enough to where he, <laughs> he would play. But he was still yeah. he was splashing around, though. Uh, well, he, he's, he's ahead. That's a great shot. Oh, here we go. Aaron Katz is all in against Daniel Negranu. Negranu does have him covered. Katz has ace, 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 seven. A slight favorite for Katz. Got a heart draw. Queen or a heart. And he you can see, see the action is now on the turn. Negranu has turned a heart draw. Nine outs. Top of your screen. Any queen, any heart. How much is there? It's not come in. Uh, Aaron Katz will double up through Negranu. Negranu is still plenty of life. No, you didn't. Yeah, what are you going to do? You're short. He's down to 761,000. Katz, <laughs> critical double up now to right around 450. Yeah, obviously it must win there for Aaron. Uh, he's no shot to high stakes. Been around poker for a very long time. Typically, if there's a big tournament or a big cash game, you'll find Aaron Katz involved, especially of the mixed variety. Yeah, he plays a uh, big game at uh, Lazio, big mixed games, and here at Aria. Yeah, good question from the chat, and Len and I are here with you on the YouTube chat. From Richard McNally, how is the feature table players decided? Well, these tables are randomly uh, generated no, at the start of you know each day. And there's table draws 22. as players are busted. Uh, but as far as how we decide who's up at the feature or at the secondary, we basically just try and split it. It's not really too much of a difference as we're going to see whole cards from both of these tables in action. Wow. Speaking of which, in action, Aaron Katz now flopping Broadway. A bit of a heater. Yeah. It's a rainbow board. He has a big enough hand to check back. Just pray his opponent catches something. Nothing. I mean, you had everything. <laughs> Wow. Wow, indeed. Reem and Kempton going to work. It is top two for, for Isaac Kempton. And for Chino Reem, he's got a set of fives. Kempton improves his hand now to aces and nines. Uh, this is going to be very interesting if Isaac bets this turn. Obviously, he would lose to 3-4, which can sometimes possibly be in Chino's range, or, uh, range that bet, but I think he probably will bet here. And Chino's going to have a tough decision. Given his stack size. 670,000. You think Chino will have a tough spot because Captain well, flatted button by well, the looks of things. Well, he the flop, right? uh, Isaac did, to 110. So that could include hands like not nah, none. Nah, ace three four ace, three, five four, something like uh, that. Yeah. Ace three four six. Yeah. For sure. Two thirty. Wow, and it goes big. It is. It is a. It is a tough spot here for Chino's hands. It's, it's not a, just an auto all in. And it, 
you hate to just call. And what do you do on rivers? More than a half a million now in the middle. Wow, what a spot here. This is this is pretty sick, actually. I don't think Isaac thinks he's bluffing at all. He's not. I mean, he has a hen. Top three pair on a rainbow board. We have the preflop action here. Uh, I want to assume uh, Chino opened and Isaac flooded. Yeah. It looks to me right, like cool. it may have been a limped, limped pot, pot. Okay, it's of limped 12k pot. each. Okay. We did miss the very front of the hand, but we have the action. Both players limped free, and then it started to get a little bit crazy on the flop, of course, as these hands would dictate. see what Chino decides to do. Man, I have no idea what he's going to do. Honestly, this is a very tough decision. I think he folds. Uh, I mean, he just never has deuces. You know what I mean? It's just, he just doesn't. It's a lot of 9-9 nine, nine, as well as of, the, the wheels, right? And, and some and some wheels. Uh, the only other draw and flops like six, seven, eight, and Isaac would have to be barreling off with it on the turn. Which is possible, but he would have a flush draw with it if he did, I think. And that hand plays pretty well equity wise versus fives. So How many do I owe right now? I think I think Chino's gonna find a fold here. Even though it's incorrect, I think it's probably correct lifetime in this spot. Chino has been one of the hottest players in the world as of late. Had a massive Poker Master series. He was the outright. And if you're Isaac and you're sitting here right now, you you, you likely think that you have the best hand. I mean, it. Oh. You know, it just is such a gross spot for Chino. You said it. I he think does fold. he is going to fold. Jared is looking at it like, wow, like that's a sick hand. Chino is probably going to be sick when he watches the tape. But I, to your point, it's man, just theoretically yeah. a, a, a very good fold. Isaac, you going to make me wait? <laughs> or you tell me now? I'll tell you if you tell me what you have. I folded a set. You, you were good. Yeah. <laughs> what did you have, six, seven, eight? Three pair. Which three? Top three. Nine. I should have just. I don't know, man. That was that was a tough spot, for Chino. Don't blame the fool. Hey, Nace was probably coming on the river, so. So Chino now down to six hundred and seventy thousand. Still fifty five, fifty six big running, blinds you're, deep. You're running good because I folded. That's why you're running good. Yeah, but I'm saying, you know, I, I would could have been hit, both. Even if you can. Huh? Do. Could have been both. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. I don't want to call off in the blank comms and it just fires away. I don't know yeah, what to do. Exactly. I mean, I'll tell you this much. You can't call the turn. So you're either all in or you're Yeah. You can't call. Right. Mm -hmm. You have zero calls in the I understand. I was just counting my chip out how much I had behind. I know. Nice hand. Kempton remains aggressive. Opening the a644 Haxton what happened a very I'm pretty jack 10 8 7 call. comes along for the ride on the button and Chino in the big blind probably still a little steamy over the last hand oh sorry right. five of diamonds five of diamonds boys I apologize. flicks it in card exposed let's see a flop Five four all the spades. Haxton flops a flush. Mm. And Kempton has bottom set. Also has an ace. Len, before break, you said 
We weren't seeing any hands colliding. Now all of a yeah, sudden. All of a sudden we had the second set versus top four pair yeah. and uh, off a flush here versus set. It's nice when you pop a hand like a jack eye flush and another spade comes off. It just makes you feel a little more comfortable that you have the best hand. Captain bet 25,000 on the flop. Haxton called. On the turn. Interesting. Captain will go 140. Yep. He bets the pot with bottom set. Perhaps never expecting a flush to raise. I'll pick that one bad. Uh, also, yeah, he kind of bet pretty weak. Obviously, very weak on flop, what which is do? pretty standard in pawn. And I just think he doesn't necessarily think Ike has like the nuts and putting him to the test. And if he calls, he still has you know some equity to make full house. And you can see it at 23% of the time he will make a winning hand. Is Haxton oh, going to fold it? Oh, my goodness. I was being a little bit dishonest. You were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, <agree>. <laughs> <laughs> I was being a little bit dishonest. Ah, nice butt. I think I could have gotten there, though. That else. Hmm. Kepta did not see his hand. Five it's being dead? Isaac. I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, I forget. It's Isaac and I. I let. Or bad one for who's the best Isaac. I don't know. I let you get away with one. Not body. going great for me so far. I think it was a you top three, you had an ace too. Yeah. You top, you had a mirror on the floor. He had nine five and turned an ace, ace to nine, make five? top three. Yeah. And, and again, and again, same way. Yeah. Yeah, you had ace. You can end at Kempton ace nine. now up to two point one million. Back to back hands. He forced the best hand to Ooh. fold. Twice. Through raw aggression. Yeah. I wish I just shoved the fucking turn. <coughs> Same. <laughs> yeah, continuing to unleash the fury now. King Queen ten eight double suited. Yeah, very nice hand. Uh, Chino's got aces. Aces. Raise the pot. Isaac's gonna call and see if yeah, we're gonna have sure. action oh, here, guaranteed. So, Six fifty. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. See if the Nightcrawler wants to ride the rush. Oh, yeah, he's in there. I would assume he's in position. Pretty premium <laughs> hand. It's 102. Hand plays very well on lots of flops. We'll see what happens. 228 in the middle. comes queen seven five two clubs kempton's got a piece you can see the equities it's gonna go check check wow and that is a comfort card <laughs> for chino turning top set however kempton turns the royal flush what? draw see him sort of smiling, understanding exactly what may be going on here. Yeah, I mean, you pretty much know Chino probably has three aces here. Uh, and you just want to know if you're going to get the rest, if you 
get the rest of the jack comes for sure. I think the spade you might not get paid off. Kind of a decent amount of chips to call off here on the turn. Two twenty-eight. Are you suggesting he could fold? Yes, I am. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, can't be the seven or the five spades, you know. And you nailed it. Yeah. Kempton does fold yeah. the royal flush draw. Can we wrap sure. it on? I would love to see if that. <laughs> sure, you had it all. You had it all. I had it all. I had ace queen and nuts all. You sure you had it all? Royal draw. <laughs> I mean, fuck. I guess I was bluffing. If you guys had it all, <laughs> I guess I just had nothing. Ace queen and nuts all. Fucking royal flush draw, man. I had it all. I don't know. You folding royal draws, I'm folding sets. I don't know. I don't know which one's more painful. The great game. Yeah. I don't know which one's more painful. I thought you were going to say, pot it, man, pot it. Man. I mean, if you said pot it, I know what I'm up against. Don't worry. What are you up against if I pot it? Exactly what you just said you had, because I had the rest of it. So what else can you have? Especially if he folded ace queen with clubs. Uh, I wasn't going to pot it. I was going to fucking... Just call? Call on him. That's... What I thought save, you were save money, maybe I'll on the river. You you know, if he calls you on the turn, there's a million rivers that you just hate. No shit. <laughs> no fucking shit. Do you, do you think it's my first time playing this game, bud? <laughs> you think I don't understand, but what do you want me to do? Just leave top set hanging there for him to get a free yeah, card just, and just, just check pluck me off? Top set. <laughs> just check top set that again that and give him the fucking gutter for the royal and just go broke? Nice, we can't do all that. <laughs> We're not going to do all that. Ben, how much do you have? I started with 560. I raised the pot. Chino feeling it. Ace King 9 6. Yeah, blocks a lot of big hands. And, yeah. Uh, just apply a little pressure here. Yeah, we got to love this feature as well. You want a table talk? I think we're going to get it with Chino. Seems to bring out the best of everybody in that regard. Decision time for Tallarine. Ace King three three one suit. And aggression pays off for Chino. He back now over eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred and thirty five K for Chino Ream. Tallarine remains our short stack at the feature. Still plenty of life. 43 I bigs. And just to right? put it into perspective, the average chip stack at this table is 105 big blinds. You deserve it. Me and, I, me, and, me and Ike aren't that close, but I got a lot of fucking respect and love for you, buddy. Thank you, Gina. I could, honestly, I could say the same thing. I'm not close to him at all. Yeah. I, I, I respect the hell out of you. A lot of love and respect. Ike, how long have we been playing poker together for? 15 years? Yeah, roughly. Something like that. I don't know. I think longer for all three of us. Longer. Maybe like close to like 20 almost. Me, me, you, Ben. And ben, what Remember Black Friday? Ben? Us three, I want to say like close to 20. <laughs> Hold on. I, got, I, got, I don't know when I first played with Jared. I guess. Yeah. I got five cards. I think okay, so a misdeal? <laughs> don't. Oh, my God. Is it really a misdeal? I got five cards. Why did I get five Another on the button? How did I get five on the button? These guys all cut from more? a different cloth, no doubt. But they so have been playing yeah. poker remember online I, and live for 20 years. When, remember I do stuck together. <laughs> don't remember you helping me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember when, when the whole thing happened? When, when you, I think you first moved to Canada. I moved uh, to Canada, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I helped you. A long time. Two <laughs> he's not confirming the help. Is part. that in his he's own like, mind? Like, he's like, yeah, I moved I to Canada. You, I what, what about get money for him. Oh. Sounds like Blesnick drove I the mover's truck for Ben Tallarine to Canada. Was like 17, 18. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't be much over 20. It, I, I've, it's more I've than only 15. played poker for What are you, 20, are you, what are you right. 38? Yeah. Yeah. It's but more than 15. Yeah, I, I think we first played together 20, 2007 or 8. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sitting here with the legends of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fucking Ike Haxton, yeah, like, Gino Reem, you know, Lesnar, newbie. Solsky. You got a better. OG I used to watch now, you guys on the television. <laughs> look now I'm good. on the television. Ike, right, look how good you're doing. You got the OGs to fold sets to you. You did. Hey, I thought I was strong. You probably picked up a read, and you're like, oh, he's real strong. I don't know what my excuse is then. I just didn't want to go to broke to a fucking set of nines, that's all. 30. I had the Jack Jack 5-5, five five. that's what I had. I'll tell you, whoever's watching at home, the way anyone that's played with me in this game, they're probably like, how the hell did I fold this hand on the butt? <laughs> I was going to think of that, like, too. <laughs> Jared folded the 5, 6, 8, 9 uh, Badugi on the button here. I just almost started the whole Great while. fold, it turns out. <laughs> oh, just would have flopped it all. <laughs> it was tolerating that opened to 30K. Axton does defend Leo. the big. Hi, buddy. Daddy loves you. Shout out to Leo. That is Chino Sum watching from home. You ever want to get away with a big bluff in a pot where phones are loud? Just have your kids FaceTime you in the middle of the hand and just answer it. You're going to win the pot. Every time. Mom, yeah, I did it once. Oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no limit in it. Was, uh, that's that live My stuff oldest was like five. Yeah. She so calls me. I'm like, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> I'm going to be able to bluff this river so easily. <laughs> How could I it's ever a not have it? Yeah, you've always got it. I mean, they're just going to be like, he's talking to his kid. I mean, he's got it. Way too comfortable. Yeah. Speaking of comfortable, the wheel for Ike. He's going to bet 78000 Tolerine not going anywhere. In a lot of trouble. Yeah, he's going to need a six. Dead to a six is right. Does it come in, but does make Fortunately for Tallarine, he's going to make eights and sevens. Not a bad card, somewhat, for Ike's end. And the wheel does perhaps shrivel up a bit, as various other straights do complete. Ike will check. Tolerine yeah. checks back. Ike's going to drag it. Right. I get it all. And, uh, maybe a frustrating muck there for Tolerine. Throws it in. He slinks down to 400,000 and change. Ike shoots it up to right around 1.3. Thought he was value betting, or Isaac thought. I'm gonna call it Ike, Ike, and you, Isaac. That's a good way to do it. That's a good system. Yeah, works for me. Otherwise, you might get confused because the names are the same. Isaac thought he was. <laughs> <laughs> it is a problem to be solved. You thought you were value betting. Little we're did we're you know you were bluffing. around here. You know, yeah. you gotta be proactive. Yeah, Chino now under the gun. Ace, problem king, king, five. Other people face a lot more than we do. Hot. That's With true. hearts. Forty-two. Probably not going to come pot, 42,000. Folds around to Tallarine, Queen 9, 6, 4. He's out, and we move on. Lester gives Gino the fist bump after the <laughs> raise and take it. Raise and take it, fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think we're in for a treat with this group. Captain, the Nightcrawler, he is the new kid on the block. In his early 20s, you heard his little monologue about being Amongst legends. Also, by the way, shout it out Ben Solsky, who's not in this event, 
But it did a, include that name right, as well. I heard him say that. I was like, <laughs> why did he do that? Uh, I don't know if he did it on purpose or not, but either way, it was pretty uh, funny. He, Isaac Kempton has a he's very, very unique funny. personality. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a very entertaining to play with. He let me down. Oh, excuse me. He let me down this summer, though. I, I bet on him to win a bracelet. And I don't think I ever saw him have a chip count. <laughs> he did terrible. <laughs> I got some decent price and bet, bet a guy that he would win a bracelet. He gave me no sweat. Only he gave me a sweat in the heads up I tournament. I also have a bet on Kempton oh, you against have. Jeff Platt. I bet that Kempton would be the PGT player of the year within the next five years. Oh, wow. So All right. I, uh, I got pretty good odds. I think okay. he gave me, I want to say he gave me 20 to 1. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's a good price. If he's going to play majority of them, I mean, yeah. it got to have the volume of the events. That's the key in those bets. And I really want to root for the Nightcrawler. The Nightcrawler. That's his name. You know, uh, you really only see him at night, <laughs> with the exception of, you know, when he makes a day two oh, of a interesting tournament. Interesting card here. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. This is, I mean, Chino turns his best card for his draw. That he had, he picks up a three, and Di King High Diamonds, and Ben turns set of fours with it. Hot. Yeah. Oh boy, it is gonna go in. Len, you nailed it. That was the key card on the turn to drive the action. Tolerine twenty-five k. Reem shoots it up to one seventy-seven. I mean, Ben oh. won't love it here. Um, he did turn his. Exactly his best possible card, obviously, with four diamonds. But uh, every once in a while he's up against three sevens, three nines sometimes. But I think he just has to put it in here. Chino could have a hand like queens up with turning a king off flush draw a lot. And like king, queen, seven, ten, king, ten of diamonds. And yeah, Looks like it go is all, all going in. Here we oh, go. Chino's not going to like seeing that he's got nut flush draw oh, no, with it. I just have a wrap. That's such a good turn card for you. Okay, go. Oh, my God. Oh, you have a More than 800,000 in the middle. Ben Tollering, his tournament life on the line against Chino Ream and his draw. 13 outs, one card to come. Three, five, six, eight, or ten. And look at everyone congregate. Nearing the bubble. A massive river card on its way. Here we go. Yes. It is a three. Chino Ream delivers on the river. Ben Tollerine has been eliminated. Chino now more than 1.3 million. We are down to nine. We are two off the money. You wanted action, Mr. Ashby, well... That four of diamonds was action. That was a that was a magic card there for both that, players. And I don't normally yes killed like the that. three right off. Eliminated. I normally don't. I really don't. Look at Blesnick yeah. and Negrano there. Very happy to hit that number. <laughs> I guess celebrating Chino. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yeah. They might have a little. He knows. Uh, there's a lot going on. Yeah, a lot going right? on. Right? You speculated some, perhaps some Negrano yeah. has a taste. I thought I heard him Blesnick's say Blesnick's got the cross piece. book against not Brewer, so if he cashes, he's got a 20% yeah. free roll. Apologize for the Whatever he cashes for. Celebration. But Come on, was, man. Act like you've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done this before, so you got to teach me, Ike. You teach me No, I'm Ike. He's Ike. Ike, that turn card was insane. Fucking action turn card if I've ever seen one. You're actually not doing that was the one. Well, if he doesn't have nothing. Just a mountain of chips on this table at the feature. 130 yeah, I'm, I'm bigs, like the 30, average 30. stack. 30. Yeah, 30. Oh, he had nut diamonds. Call me crazy, yeah, Len, but I don't think we're going to see an all in pop I'm gonna say anytime soon turn. at this table. Nah. With Wait, these I stacks. That's why it won't happen. I, I don't remember which cards were diamonds, but. The grind goes on. I, 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 had, I had his. I didn't block his outs. I had two pairs. I mean, they'll show it, but 
I think tw I think you're like 29%. Yeah. Having the diamonds helps if you're dead anyways to diamonds, because it's less, less outs for him. Yeah, we're going to swing it over. Right. Take a look at the secondary. That's where Daniel Negreanu resides. Steven Chidwick, Aaron Katz. Yeah, way shorter Mickey over Duke. here. Three stacks under 620,000, so... Frank Curvello. Well, I'm going with some instincts here. I guess uh, Mickey bet 25,000 on the flop here. Yeah, look at Curvello. He is absolutely bluffing. He's got plenty of equity. Oh, wow, Mickey. Despite not having a pair yet. Sniffing, sniffing in here. Calls. Three of spades on the turn. That is a backdoor flush draw now coming home for Frank Curvello. 268 in the middle. It's going to go check, check to the river. Wow. And it's the 10 of spades. <laughs> Man, what a dumb hand to lose for Mickey here. Mickey Duick improves to Queens and Tens. Gravello makes a flush. It's going to go check, check once more. And just watch this face. There it is. Yeah. Sort of sick. Crumples the cards. Gravello's going to drag it. He's now up just shy of 600,000. Wrap. Get the wrap around the queen. <laughs> Fired without it and checked with it. So the wrap around the queen. That strategy is usually the opposite. If you're just tuning in, thank you so much for joining us on our Poker Go YouTube channel, as well as the viewers and fans from across the globe over on Pluto and Sling. On YouTube, make sure you click that thumbs up, the like button, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Chip counts over here at the secondary. Chidwick up on top. Vicky Duick, after losing that pot, he drops down to second. Still a pile. Daniel Negreanu right in the middle. 600,000, 50 bigs. Followed by Aaron Katz. Frank Cravello. And here comes Negreanu. He's going to work it on the button. Jack 654 double suited. Fooled. Started with 600. Thanks. Duick, 8743, double suited. 42. Interesting to note, Len Negranu goes full pot on the button here as well. Yeah, that is a little interesting. Uh, I think a lot of players may have just like men raised the button there. but. Check. Another interesting flop. More than 100K in the middle. Turn. Another seven. I like the check back by Daniel on this flop. Taking a free card. Oh, he's in a world of hurt. As we can see, Negreanu is drawing stone dead. All of the straight outs would complete Duex full house. Without much hesitation, Negranu flicks it in the middle, avoiding further damage. Duick collects the chips. 24, man. 24 years young. Look at this kid. What a stud. I mean. I kind of remember when I was 24. Man, that was nice. Those days were good, huh? Back didn't hurt. I well, was a school did, teacher at 24. <laughs> yeah? Fresh out of college, oh, yeah, right man. in the classroom. I was playing like 18 hours a day a lot of poker. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you were doing what I wanted I to do. I couldn't get enough of it, man. I still can't, but, man, sleeping in my car, waking up to play Limit Hold'em. Oh, I love it. That was the best. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Corvello with the aces here. Pretty good ones, too. 35. Uh, he's going to shoot it up to 35,000 over to Negreanu. He's got something he's interested in. King, queen, queen, six. Lesser clubs. 
Aaron Katz, nine eight five three double suited. He's on the button. Yeah, he's in. Peel for a flop here. Mickey Duick, seven seven six three. He's got hearts out of the small blind, out of the way. Chidwick, Jack ten nine five. It, it's Evil really full. nice being able to see the, the stock depths of you know like look, Katz is the shortest stock, and what does he still have like thirty? Seven. Plenty of life. You just can't play this type of hand when you're less than 12, 15 big blinds. You're just never playing the hand. But, you know, you can get in there and play a little bit, uh, which is nice to see. Yeah, Corvello's ace is still out in front. He will check Negrano top pair. And it looks as though he will bet. Yeah, you wonder what uh, Corvello will do here. Cats He's got a double out of the gutter, way. Um, with aces... If he will decide to just call. And he mentioned that double gutter, Len. Any queen and any nine. The jack eight would also make a straight. Uh, you don't love the nine, but it, it matters if you're up against a uh, mate hand, like two pair or set, obviously. But see what he decides to do with on this flop. Could make a case for all of it, really. Though Negronio did size a little bit down that on the flop. Sense. Screaming and said, "Fold, fold, fold." Probably can dissect that about what his exact hand is. It kind of feels like Ten if he's seconds. thinking, he has like a pair and a gutter. I'm extension. Every decision is oh so critical as we are. Right on the edge of the bubble. Nine remain, only seven get paid. It's like uh, 470 now. Uh, they have Ten like seconds. the same stack size, too. Which is Both players needing this pot. An extension. Just genuine torment here by Gravello. Yeah, when he takes this long, it's obviously he's just going to decide to pot it or fold. He's. he's He's never it calling. certainly seems uh, that way, and he calling. will yeah, make I the I fold. I the two. <laughs> Negreanu. Yeah, he was. Three. Yep. Is going to earn that one. Thank you. Was well, a weird spot for Ravello's hand. Daniel Negreanu now up to 660000 Gravello still fine. Right around five sixty. Aaron Katz, we can see, is the shortest stack in the tournament. Those three names, Katz, Negranu, Cravello, are the shortest stacks remaining amongst no, the final not nine. Pot. No. Like a normal, well, no, I don't think I can call pot. It seems as if the secondary table will sort of determine the bubble. Yeah, I don't see a player uh, getting knocked out of them. Uh, the other table currently. Gino and them. They're all so deep and they're just kind of you know, limping and kind of doing whatever, not doing much. To add a little more context to what Len is talking about, the feature table, which has four players, average chip stack there is 130 blinds deep. The shortest stack is 1.3 million. It's just really tough to go broke in a pot uh, when you're over 100 big blinds deep. G Jimmer Trefty on YouTube says, what are the payouts? Well, seventh place is going to be about 150000 and change. First place, all the way up to roughly $1.3 You can see it there now in our chat. There is a ton of pressure now. Every single step of the way for these three players, Cravello, Negrano, and Katz. Certainly Mickey Duick and Stevie Chidwick fully aware 
of the dynamic in play. I would expect them to be applying a ton of pressure, especially Chidwick, who has position on Mickey Duick. Hence this fold right here. Not saying it's standard, yeah, but I, I think that um, it's 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 obviously way easier to do the shorter they are. <laughs> you know, if they're still at thirty some big blonde. Still plenty of can, play. They can still play. They're, yeah, you know, you're not Six. just gonna raise it up with the king jack deuce three. <laughs> suited three is you're just folding yeah, but cool. if a player is down to about 12 big blondes and then there's another player with 11 big blondes they just can't really play the hand unless they wake up with something there is an added sweetener in play with the big blind ante yeah. being implemented and not that's traditional with PLO tournaments typically yeah, they added that free. Uh, about a year or two two years maybe in most PLO tournaments now man it used to be brutal with no big blonde ante I played a two and hour, two hour and forty five minute bubble. Four twenty five k PLO one, oh, year, one year, one year, one year at the World cool. Series. Yeah, no thanks. It's the dumbest thing I've ever experienced. Did in you life. end up just I, I made the money again or no? I made the money. I just remember sitting there and watching Ben Yu raise. He raised uh, twenty three. We counted them twenty three consecutive hands because there was, we could see the shorter stacks. There's only six tables left, whatever. And Sam Salver sitting beside me, and I just looked at him and I said. There's nothing we can do, right? We just have to fold every hand, right? Every hand. And he goes, yeah. <laughs> I said, this is so stupid. Short sacks oh. kept winning and, you know, no ante. Just, you can last forever in no ante PLO. Uh, it was a great addition for them to do that uh, big blind ante for these things, for sure. Gravello's going to lift the button. King, queen, a3, double suited. Negrano completes the small. Aaron Katz Same will check back. Hand. Everybody, yeah, has a double suited hand. Negrano cats sharing identical holdings. Yeah. However, it is Negrano flopping the club draw. It checks around. Check. Check. Negrano still check. out in front. He will check. Cats will check. Cravello bets 30,000 now with his queen. Oh, cool. Semi bluff. Hoping to pick it up. Negrano flicks in the call to the river. There's the eight of diamonds. And that is a straight for Daniel Negrano. Carvello wisely checks back queens and eights. And Negrano will drag this pot. Yeah. My hand was nice. I, oh, you, had, you had double suited too? Yeah, I almost raised out of the board. Yeah, I, feel, I was thinking you were really doing that. I wasn't going to fold. I have the exact same fold. It's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, like Further it. separation now for Negrano, yeah, up over 730,000. Cravello and Katz. Yeah. Yeah, every pot crucial at this point. Everyone counts. Uh, as we get closer to the bubble and higher blondes. Is there a straight flush gutter? Make a fucking wheel sure straight flush? I did not make sure it doesn't matter. <laughs> if I'm in the pot, I And uh, back to our feature. Chino Reim, so Jared Blesnick, Isaac Kempton, and hey, Isaac the Haxton. The wasn't a king. I don't think anybody's mad at you about your fold. <laughs> I, I had, I had, you can see the stack differences. King Look at how Jack deep they are up here at this feature. <laughs> More than 130 this is bigs, it. average I, I, stack. I support it. The Nightcrawler, Isaac Kempton has 157. Blesnick here, oh. second in chips with 152 bigs, and we will... I mean, you can just flop. see, like, this right here. Blesnick just limped the king, queen, ten nines, double suited. I mean, he's probably never limped that hand in his entire life. <laughs> and with so this dynamic, it's just... just yeah, uh, he's waiting out three short stacks at the other table, yeah, but, but that, they're not that, that, that short, man. Pop. You know, they're not... You want it? They're not in desperation yeah. mode as far as big blondes. I think I we're in for a long night to get down to that final seven. Action goes question. check, check on, on the flop. You, Kempton. You like we all have 85% like favorite. He's got the wheel draw. He's got the nut flush draw. And he's got the best hand with just ace, king, high. Yeah, really good turn card. Just picks up a lot of other outs for straight now. Uh, he's still checking back. I mean. The river is the six. Completing that straight for Kempton. Lesnick checks once more with that powerhouse of a hand that turned to nothing. Yep. Opens the 35. going to drag a small Mark. pot. King deuce is great. Jack seven of clubs. Small pot. Pretty easy. Call. Under the gun. I mean, we're four-handed. Yeah. You fold, right? Yeah. 
No, hold it. You ever had that NZT forty eight? No, no, no. Little supplement? <laughs> no. <laughs> what, is, what is it? I've been ripping it. Here, take it. Producer Aiden's got a bottle right here. This is This is it's like a they call it the limitless pill. You take this and it ju- I mean you're on another planet. It is amazing. You're only supposed to take one. I've moved up to consuming a full bottle in a day. Yeah. Got a little bit of a problem. No, it, it is, it's the goods. Reminds me of a story. NCT 48, the ultimate brain booster. Alex Fox and I, during the Poker Masters, we just opened it together, gripped and ripped down the hatch, and, and next felt, thing you know, we were... Oh, great, huh? I mean, we were... On a, so you know how battle headaches. We went bad, right, right out to where they're doing all the F1 construction. Oh, okay. And we decided to join the construction team and start <laughs> hoisting rafters <laughs> together. Jack That's Hammer? how I've never felt stronger. <laughs> one chip in and no, just yeah, so I got, went to a doctor just, about my headaches a long time ago. Follow better players than Tells me he's going to prescribe me this preventative for migraines, whatever. It's called uh, Topamax. I said, well, I need to know what the you know, like side effects are. He said, well, it kind of slows down your processing of information. What? I said, okay, explain. He said, okay, well, you see the stapler here? He said, I'm going to start you out on small dosage milligrams. By the time you get to 100 milligrams, though, which is what you'll need, it somebody asks you what that is, it'll take you about five seconds to know it's a stapler. Oh, no. And I looked at him and I said, well, buddy, I need to know when I have a flush. <laughs> so I'm out. I'm out on the, I'm out the on Toco this. Max. Yeah, I'm yeah. out. I'm out. Sorry, man. I just left. <laughs> Oh, man. Funny. That sounds awful. <laughs> Captain Blaznik once more going at it. Top two for Captain. NZT, huh? Uh, got shot in a live six ball for Blaznik. Checks over to him now on the button. He will knuckle back. River. Going to be another sailboat. Captain will hold. Unless Blesnick can somehow make a winner by bluffing. I don't see it happening. And a little value. You got the night crawler versus the sheep. Sheep's out. What are the little symbols on I- Haxton? That's not the same thing as Captain, right? I don't know what that is. Zelda? Him, I saw him too. I wasn't sure. Wow. Three bet pot now between Mickey Duick and Daniel Negreanu, who has kings with hearts. And Mickey has ace, queen, jack, four, double suited. And the aggression will work for Mickey Duick. Negreanu folds the two kings. Yeah, I believe that uh, he four bet. Wow. Yeah. That would have been an open on the button out of Duek, a three bet from Daniel out of the small blind, and a four bet pot by Mickey Duek against Daniel Negrano. And Negrano had no choice but to fold with the bubble looming. Tell you what, Mickey Duick is one tough player, 24 years old, already a third-place finish in the main event. Also had one heck of a showing in a 10K PLO championship, third place there, and a second-place finish in a 25K PLO event down in Florida. All three of those scores, 4550000 and 300000 all happened in the calendar year of 2022. He is only 24 years old. Hard to believe that. No bluff. 
Dueck is in position to possibly that's take a, down. That's a good hand. It is a good hand. Nearly $1.3 million in this event. What is min cash? Like 160 or something? Min cash or about 155 or so, I yeah. Hands to win tournaments. Hundred and fifty two thousand for seventh place. Just shy of one point three million for our champion. We're gonna take you down to the final table today. Tomorrow we will finish this thing off. If you really want to dive deep with the hardcore Analysts. Well, David Tuckman and Alex Livingston, they've got you covered on Poker Go. Myself and the Kentucky kid, Len Ashby, Uncle Omaha. We'll be right here on YouTube. We'll talk all about the great game. We'll talk all about the horrific coaches in the NFL. We'll ask you to like and subscribe this very own YouTube page. If you haven't done so already, click that thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel now. Len will even talk to you a little bit about his collegiate golfing days at <laughs> Eastern Kentucky University. I believe they are the Colonels. Oh, yeah. Right. The Colonels. Oh, yeah. I potted from the small one right there. I got that hand bad shape. You don't. Yes, I do. There's nothing I'm potting that doesn't beat that hand. I promise you. You got a good hand, but there's nothing I'm potting into that doesn't beat that. <laughs> What's so funny? I two shoes. I saw what you had. Actually, there is. If I had like ace, queen, jack, ten, maybe with one suit, that's the hand that I might pot that you have beat. That's about it. Well, by the way, if we both make top seven, we're, tomorrow we do it in the box. Nice. We'll do, tomorrow we do a big one. Yeah, let's do a big one. I want to like be able to pull something for yeah, you. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, who is the guy? Desmond Ritter. I don't even know who that is, by the way. <laughs> he's, <laughs> a, he's a rookie. What team does he play for? Falcons. He's a quarterback. Ike's going to open this up. Ace, 10, 8, 8, double suited. I thought you said it was good. I mean, because it, it sells the card, but. Blesnick talking about his sports card business, and sounds like he's got a rookie Desmond Ritter ticket that's worth a fortune. He's the starting quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons. Second-year quarterback. Not a rookie. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it sounds like he's got a rookie card from last year. You've got Purdy, and then I think the number two is Howell. Like, can we pluck something that, like, uh, you know? Nice Conversation's so good, we're going to swing it over to the secondary table. <laughs> and Commissioner Tim Duckworth there and that fluffy stash. He's going to write the action down, which, by the way, you can catch over at PGT.com live reporting. Oh, look at this. He's got the one pair in his favorite uh, over the aces here. Uh, still a tough decision for his hand. Fellow does have that pair of tens with the flush draw, with the open ender, and it is all of the pressure being assigned by Mickey Dueck. The aces in the wheel draw. Ten seconds. And a critical decision for Cravello. This is a button versus big blind battle. And he's going to move it in. All in and call. And called by Mickey Duex Aces. And here we go. Wow. Frank Cravello's tournament life on the line. More than 950,000 chips in the middle. Everybody up out of their seat. Yeah, it looks like we have hard. one car to come. 22 <laughs> outs. Take a look at the top of the board. Oh, he said ahead so of far away. An insane number of outs for Cravello. I feel like a Cravello slight favorite <laughs> in this hand. Doesn't even matter that much. Uh, Mickey's screaming for the three of spades. We all have low spade. Heart. It's not And it's the three of diamonds. Giving Cravello the flush, the double up. 
He's a favorite, right? Taking a slice versus out of the Duex stack. Yeah. That now makes Daniel Negranu and Aaron Katz our two shortest stacks as we near the bubble. Nine remain and only seven get paid. There's a reaction from Frank. There it is, the fist bump. That river card may have been worth hundreds of thousands, if not seven figures, when it's all said and done. What a moment. What a double up. Give me some of that smooth jazz, huh? I don't think it's jazz. I don't care what it is. Stephen Chidwick tops the leaderboard over here at the secondary table. Mickey, still a pile, 1.3 and change, 113 bigs. Frank Cravello, third in chips, Danny Negreanu. He's fourth. Aaron Katz, our short stack in this field. He's got 35 big blinds, plenty of play, plenty of life. What kind of music is that? It's a, it was a cross between a slow techno and jazz. Yeah. yeah. It's slow tech jazz. Slow tech jazz, yeah. Mm. yeah Jazzy you pop tech. one of those play. NZTs, you sit back and... Start listening to it, and you're feeling great. Yeah. I feel like you can do construction oh, work. Yeah, <laughs> I might like two of them. Now, when I take one of these, I'm <laughs> like I'm like front row at a Rammstein I concert. Said, I had a king, but I would have had two of your, two of your outs. I'm yeah. afraid what I'd do is like it. Unless you had a queen. <laughs> front row at Woodstock 99 watching yeah. Limp Biscuit. Yeah, wow. Limp Biscuit. <laughs> <Little, little, laughs> wow. <laughs> front row the Limp Biscuit, man. That's a name you don't hear. You know, I watched that documentary on Netflix. Phenomenal. Did you ever see it? On him? No, on uh, <laughs> on the Woodstock oh, okay. 99. Oh, okay. Disaster. Yeah, I bet that's, yeah, I bet that's good. Phenomenal. Uh, you should yeah, watch it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you'll remember it. Yeah. You were from the same sort of era. Yeah, a little bit. I'm still waiting for Bone Thugs and Harmony to do the halftime show at Super Bowl. I mean... Can that happen? <laughs> I don't I think, unless they're all dead, but I'm not sure. I think they're still in Cleveland. <laughs> I imagine you would. I think they're they're doing just fine, I think. <laughs> I hope. Get them out there. Yeah. Thirty-four. Tell you what, this hand isn't very good, so you just take it. <laughs> uh, Four Seven, cards eight, far six. apart. Oh, you? Yeah. I had a couple of those. Frank got like a million dollar stack. Moving on it. Wow. Let's march on. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Queen, queen, eight, four. It's been a little quiet, right? Uh, hasn't had in much. life? Uh, no, just in the, at least when they've had this table, it hasn't been, had many hands to play. Yeah, he is. Hasn't had much to work with from what we have seen. Oh. You know, he's another one of those guys you talked about, Isaac Kempton, who's up at the feature. Just how funny he is. Chidwick is I've hilarious. Yeah, I've heard that. When he talks, yeah, it's that. just gold. <laughs> yeah. He reminds me so much of Eric Seidel. Check. Not, I'm not saying physically because they both have yeah. you know the same sort of uh, well noggin. Ball. It's their humor, their demeanor. Uh, very humble, well reserved, but when they speak, typically you always listen, and it's usually quite funny. Yeah. Five of diamonds on the turn. Sure. Interesting card. Interesting indeed. As Katz improves to a set of fives. Chidwick with a gutter. 
queen high flush draw, and of course a live queen. Check. Both content with keeping it small. Here comes another diamond for Chitwick. He will make the second nut flush. Hesitation, Katz kicks it into the muck. Uh, Kid K420 in the YouTube chat. Eric Seidel was in an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. This is true. I watched that episode. It was phenomenal. Yeah, I saw that he was. I, I didn't see the episode, but I saw he was. You Are Next says that uh, Bone Thugs is not dead. Not bad. They're still rolling. Still good. Yeah, they were the best, man. Yeah. <laughs> 72, right? Instead, they're putting, like, Usher out there. What is it? Come on, man. Usher? Oh. Halftime show? Well, listen, I'm yeah, not going to I mean, what, fall for the... Are you setting the trap yeah. right now? Or you, I mean, Usher? Is he worthy of it? I can't... I don't think I know a song that know. Usher does, but I certainly... I don't think I can disagree. I... I feel like a lot of people love Usher and are excited about that halftime show. It's not for me, but I'm going to watch it. Yeah. I'll be okay. You know, yeah. it's all right. Ike, well, he had aces and kings and sixes. He did not have a ten in his hand, meaning Chino Reem's nut flush well, I think Ike might, is uh, good. Turn his hand in a bluff here. He checked cold, uh, turn, and uh, I believe he's going to. Man, it looks like you're exactly right. He's going to turn it into a bluff. He's going to rep a boat. What's the bet? Chino is sick. Thinking there's no way I can be good. Ike, are you turning a bet worse? Oh, Chino onto him. What are you him. doing, Ike, right now? I would never. Huh? I would never. You would never? Interesting. He talked back. <laughs> Old Ike would do it a lot. What are you saying you have? You don't have aces full. What are you saying you have? Quads? What's the bet? I might pay you. I might pay you here. Chino. Jesus, just keep it clean. Senses are working. Long. Just keep it clean. He's sniffing this thing out. Been so dialed in inside this studio for the last two months on fire. You just check all of Ace 10. Isaac, you show me if I fold? I don't know what to do, Jared. Mike was talking a moment ago, and now it's, he's comatose. He's frozen. I have, so you're turning what into a bluff? These fucking spots that I'm in right here, bro. Oh, oh my. Oh. The other one doesn't help. Good. Fucking thank God. <laughs> the way the fucking cards. Work. You would never. Huh? You just did. What do you mean you would never? 
<laughs> you just did, buddy. I was about to tell you you made another horrible fold. I did not make a horrible fold. To, I was about to tell you you made another horrible fold. I did not make a horrible fold. I made a really I good fold. I said I was about to. Chino Rame, ladies and gentlemen, continues to crush yeah. I what? inside this no studio. What a guys. call. <laughs> really better for you the guys. The funny thing is you might be the fastest player at the table. I am, but like, can I not assess the situation? Like, big pot. Point six million now. You lied to me, buddy. Like so under a million. I thought we were friends. I mean... I had the other three. Yeah, I understand. It's like, you know, if the board pairs, I'm leading. I get it. <laughs> it's weird because you had the ace of spades. I, that's why. I was like, he doesn't have aces full. Some sort of weird funky ten in there. <laughs> when he showed me the ace king six, I still wasn't sure until he I says, know. I just, until he's it, like, the other one's safe. I know. He, like, tried to flip them all yeah. over. One, one I know he wasn't trying to slow roll or nothing, but he was like, the other one's not... I'm thank, thank no, that God. was very funny how those three flipped over. Flipped up, yeah. And shout out to Dark Side Harley Girl for the twenty dollar donation. Great job, host. Get a small bite on me. Well, that. What's the bet? Is one heck of a donation. Thank there you, you Dark Side Harley Girl. Play my rush. <laughs> what are you gonna get? Fair enough. <laughs> May not. Get whatever Daniel got. <laughs> That's more Good than sandwich. my day rate. <laughs> Get Daniel's sandwich. For you, you're only eating fruit bars, okay. so that That's that'll joke. buy you a whole case of those things. I mean, I'm eating sugar, no sugar added bacon in the morning. Wait, and it's actually good, though, but, but that's just kind of funny, right? Yeah, that sounds... <laughs> That sounds interesting. You nope. see the bread that I'm eating. It's oh, gluten-free. No. Gluten it's got nothing no, in it. You no, have to no. toast it and then no. butter. No. You have to Not put doing so that. much butter on it to make it edible. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. So you put bread on your butter? Based, yeah, yeah, it's a butter sandwich. It's, Gino with a monster. Set of threes. Nut flush draw. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Wow. Ike turns and top I set. <laughs> Turns top oh set God. of kings. Oh, that is gross. The very next hand after what just happened between these two. Wow. How does that card come? Pot only has 114 in it. Let's see what Chino does if he decides to just 85. check call. What's the bet? 85. Just gonna call. Gino flicks it in eighty five thousand two hundred and eighty four thousand now in the middle to the river we go. Oh, and it's another wow. queen. Make queen three. Giving Chino queens full of threes, and it is no good against Isaac Haxton's King's full. I'm just going to bet full pot here. I don't think he goes medium. I think he, he's trying to target a queen X of diamonds and get paid just for the maximum. Pot. What? Pot. Call. King's full. Nice hand. <laughs> What's the bet? Nice hand, Isaac. Thank you. You play so good. Easy come, easy go. Ike Haxton gets it Kings. right back. Did you see that? Dude, With nut say, flush draw. I'm going to say this right now. What's the bet? <laughs> Chino fucking plays good poker. And you know I think a lot of people have played bad. Chino look at look at, look at at how I just lost that one. Chino is a phenomenal. That's, wow. He had the nut flush draw, too. Crazy. Chino played a hand at 90. I feel a little cheated, to be honest. Chino is a great You feel a little cheated? And I've watched it for the I feel how do I not know I just, after that flop. Chino, you play great poker, dude. I just told the whole table how great you play. What do you want me to do? Fucking 90% percent Cats, 90% nice percent hand, of the tournament you. broke. You realize that, right? 90% of the tournament's out with your hand. I'm not. You play great. 
Thank you. You play fucking great. You play great. And I've watched you. I've watched it for three days straight. You play great poker. Thank you, homie. What were you doing two days ago? Different story. <laughs> what? <laughs> said, what were you doing two days ago? Two days ago. You, you watched it for three play days play straight. Yeah. Gino plays great. He was watching me win, uh, you know, mixed game series. Fair enough. Yeah. You know, there was, there was a, yeah. That, that hand was impressive. Isaac, nice hand. That was the turn I needed, I Ike, guess. You got bailed out there. You. Heavily. I mean. Heavily. <laughs> And for like a, a second and a half before he flipped his cards over, like that, he was kind of doing it slow. I'm like, oh, I'm good here. Then I saw it. I was like, fuck. <laughs> nice hand, bro. Thanks. I'm going to um, raise the maximum. 42. 42? Okay. Back to work for Chino. 42,000. Uh, the Nightcrawler wants a taste. King, queen card. seven. Same hand, six six card. I was playing my rush. I saw that flop. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> that was a pretty good run out for me. Yeah, that was <laughs> top, uh, top end of yeah. the wrap. Check, check. Turn three of clubs. Be patient. I'd expect Pazic to lead something small here. He's got the king of clubs. Looks like he does bet 35,000. Chino is going to make the call. River is a six of diamonds. This will be interesting here. If it <laughs> goes check, check, they chop it up. Did you have the king of diamonds in your hand or no? You did? Chino's going to think he's bluffing here if he bets River. Captain well check, and now on to Chino. I give up. Check. <laughs> oh, this. Oh. oh, that's good news. Me too. Drop it up. Okay. <laughs> I almost bet. Bluff. <laughs> they will chop. What happened here? I looked away for a second. Flop was checked. Money in the pot. Turn was bad. Nobody Flop was any. checked. I bet the turn, and I gave up, and somehow I got half the pot. I called the turn, and I gave up, and somehow I got half the pot. Only one player I played, did you bet on the turn. I at this feature table is actually down chips on the day. I've never gotten half That is Jared Blesnick, who came in with yeah. a massive chip lead. How do I, how do I get in? Still well, has 1.7 million. He's down about 146K since we started. I, bluff, buddy. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, and clearly. I was like, oh, man. What do you do if you, if you, if you bet 6,000? What do you do if you bet 6? Yeah. Bought it. And if you're fold. just tuning in, we are playing down to the money. The final seven. Maybe the Actually, final no. six. I, we'll see. I, I would do something crazy. But we're on Nine the remain. Man, seven get paid. Cash. So like I said. I'm not going to go crazy. Just fold. Bluffing, you know. That's a good point. I'm, I'm, if I had the nuts, I would, I would raise, you know. we got to avoid the penalty. That's that that scary. I'm in a scary spot. Jared, I couldn't believe I flopped so good that hand. Lesnick raises queen nine eight seven Badugi. Ike king queen nine deuce Badugi. Six king jack two diamonds. Then connects with top pair and a gutter. Blesnick will check back his gut shot. Uh, he's now turned an open ender. Well, got a wrap. Well, bit of a wrap. Yeah, that's four, seven, eight, nine, making the straight. So it's a pretty good card for Jared's hand. Uh, Ten also makes him the same straight as Isaac. If 
Jared decides to bet or take a free card. And the ten of clubs on the river. It's going to chop things up. Both players have queen nine for the straight. I think we'll see a lot of this. Small pots, pot control, especially at this table where everybody is oh so deep. This is our feature table. There is a secondary table, which we are now going to swing over to. Two pair. Daniel Negrano involved with... Aaron oh Katz. I said to myself, I said, if I have these, uh, here, looks like a relatively uh, large pot. Katz yeah. makes a flush. Oh, yeah. He was the short stack. That is no uh, longer the case. Daniel Negrano now, our short stack in this tournament. He's down to 360. Still 30 picks. A lot of play. You can see that this table, seemingly where the bubble will be decided amongst this final nine. You heard? for these people, these players to get the money in this deep, and which is good for the amount of play that will go on. Excruciating Jingle. bubble Sorry. for them as far as two away from the money and a 100k buy-in. <laughs> You're wanting people to bust if you have some chips, but this is going to be tough. Isaac Kempton, the Nightcrawler, Delaware's all-time most winningest player. Who's second? Joe Biden. Is there a second? <laughs> I mean, the state's so small. How many players they got? I need to look this up. How many players they got in Delaware? Number two in the great state of Delaware is Abraham Karatki. How much you got? One point nine million wow. in live earnings for Abraham. Kempton at three point yeah. eight million. Well, there you have it. That's, that's all I've got on Delaware. Yeah. I was spending a lot of their unders in college basketball. <laughs> yeah? Delaware under I had a lot like one year, I remember. What were they doing? <laughs> Somebody knew something. I'm trying to. Th it, I think it was is Delaware it the Blue under. Hens? They're like the. They, they have Are like they a the blue Delaware and yellow. Blue Hens? They're like a blue and yellow team, right? I, I think they. There's I got a look. Colors. Again, here we go. Oh, I have no idea the mascot. What'd you call them? Yeah. I think they're the blue hens. The they're blue new. heads. Blue hens. Oh, hens. The hens. Yeah. Wow. You nailed it. Delaware. Fi oh, sorry. Well, the football. Delaware fighting blue right. hens. Fighting blue hens. Yeah. 
Hmm. Not the most intimidating, sort of. I've never seen a blue hen. Maybe I'm wrong. Perhaps it's a prehistoric sort of dinosaur. Large bird. Pterodactyl-like. I, you know. But when I think about a hen, especially the blue ones, I'm excited to compete. <laughs> you don't the think bench make, is getting in the game. You don't think it's going to make them think you're going to go under? <laughs> They're not going to shoot the ball well. <laughs> They're the blue hen. The bench is getting in the game, buddy. Man. Hot. Uh, the Nightcrawler's got himself a boat. Is it not 172? 172. Oh, and man. Ike Caxton is bluffing off here. Got himself in a world of hurt. Plus 30 Does have two outs in the deck. Yeah, I was you can just gonna, count it. You can just call count here. I would assume. Just count it. Just count it, please. It's, it's 172. You shouldn't disagree. Just count it. Okay. Looks like 172. Yeah, it's okay. No problem. That's why you, you can just count it. Good job. The man's made for Hollywood. Get a posture. You don't love it, but you have the king in your hand. You're not really Are worried about it. King's full, necessarily. Paul? Could be forceful. Yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of bluffs. You get, you get yeah, you're, you're just you're calling, and you're gonna go to the river, and you're gonna check again, and we'll see if I unloads the clip and. Are we trying I, I don't to think posture he that we have a hand ball. just like, let's say, it's king, queen, or ace, king? Cool. For sure. Right? Uh, yeah. Just take a little Tom. Do whatever it takes to... But you're not loving it again, but yeah. you don't, you don't want to give off that to Ike. You know, you call really quick, maybe. Yeah, it's just kind of that. player feel on how they want to decide how much time they want to take before calling, but... Good River six, is a six oh of clubs. Gosh. Are you oh, kidding that me? That is unbelievable. Isaac Haxton oh has found one of two outs in the deck. Man, that is brutal for uh, uh, Kempton here. Man, what a pot to lose on this stage. This is sick. He could possibly find a fold on the river, but I, I don't think so, obviously. But... Man, what a card. That was a sick hand, bro. That was a fox, right? Yeah, I checked first. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, if I bet, I win the pot, yeah. I'll lose no money. But how can I bet? Now, I Ike's trying to dissect how strong of a hand how can I bet? Uh, I was trying Kempton to can have. Nobody bet. You know, he can make straight sometimes here with a hand like ace 3 5. Uh, not flush draw, possibly, but he's just going to go for max. Kempton does not like it. Oh, he's sick about it. He thinks yeah, it very is... well could be a king's full scenario, mm -hmm. a force full scenario. One six, right? But he's got it. I don't think he thinks that uh, oh, Paxton's ever bluffing. And just, what does he beat? Oh, yeah. my goodness. Kempton is thinking about folding. Five, one, six. Yeah, he just can't six fold. Six is full. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, that's just a dirty beat, man. Whoa. And a 1.5 million chip pot heading now over to Isaac Haxton. <laughs> Most recent winner of Super High Roller Bowl 8, the no limit version, now takes over the chip lead with nine remaining in the PLO edition. Delivers a devastating beat to Isaac Kempton. Kempton visibly disgusted.
I might not have paid him the chips if he showed me that hand. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I might have just been like, let me take a little, little minute here. You know here. what, buddy? I'll take a little minute. I'm taking it back. Yeah. Let me take a little minute before I give you this one. Oh, my. Was, oh, my. That was too gross, man. 180 bigs for our chip leader, Ike Axton, right around 2.16. Blesnick sports cards, 1.7 and change. Chino, 1.2 and Isaac Kempton, yes, we lost a 1.5 million chip pot, but we still have 100 big blinds. That's how deep they are at this feature table. An absolute sick one delivered by Haxton. I felt like one of those moments in the tournament that, you know what I mean? That's just, you're going to remember it. I, I can go on to win this tournament. It's just, what a, what a sick spot for Kempton there on the river. But, still got 1.2 million, plenty of play. Got 100 big blondes. I mean, this is quite the uh, structure. Yeah, they're getting a lot of play. No, I, I, I've always complained about it, uh, no. that there isn't any play in these things. So I, I like seeing it. Uh, well, eat your been heart tons of rivers, uh, you know, tons of play going to turns and rivers. And that's why you're going to play the 5K on <laughs> October 19th yeah, when the PGT PLO series begins. Yeah, can, I don't have a good cash game going. I'm going to get in there, man. If you want to play that 5K alongside. They're going to give me these time extensions. And yeah. I'm just going to throw them in the trash. Kentucky <laughs> kid I'm not right going to need them. The Bluegrass I, Bomber. I don't want to take extra time. Uncle Omaha right. himself, Len Ashby. <laughs> October 19th, the 5K, event number one, directly following this super high roller bowl. Yeah. There's a satellite running Come play with inside me the and studio listen to me today. rant about NFL coaches and American golfers, how annoying they are. Yeah, you were on uh, for the Ryder Cup. I was all were, in term team. You were on I, the I wish so. I would have bet more money, but yeah, it was it was, it was free money, that, that, that bet, I tell you that. I don't think it's close. But how tilting was the coverage, though, the commercials? It was Did you brutal. Did you, I oh, stayed I up. Got, of course. I got up. They I, didn't I, show the opening I, shots of a match well, on the first hole. More cow match. That that was, how's that possible? I don't know. Oh, man. I don't know. I. You know what I do know? <laughs> I turned it off. What when bet? the Ryder Cup comes back to the U.S., I believe man. I would like to attend. I've been to one. Went to the one in Kentucky where in Louisville where I'm from. They had it at Valhalla. And... I mean, it's an electric atmosphere, but as far as watching, it sucks. Like, you just can't follow much. You know, there's just so many people, and but it is a fun event. I thought you like, were going to encourage me to attend. Well, I'm saying, like, first T vibes and stuff like yeah. that is awesome. Yeah. Uh, it seems like a rowdy atmosphere. Yeah, no, it is. It, yeah, it's – I'm not saying it's not worth going. I'm just saying – My kind of people. I'd rather watch uh, – Something I have a lot of action on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can always <laughs> on it. TV than watch you yeah. know one matchup uh, live. You know where I got to walk around with a bad back. You know. Oh yeah, you can't I go can't right go. now in your yeah, condition. I'm in no shape. If you do it, then I'll push you in a chair. Yeah. yeah all right. Yeah. Nick Shulman and I have decided we're gonna we're oh, gonna go. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we could get a little party bus, drive oh, an wow. RV. Oh wow. Drive it on out. Yeah. Can all crash together right there in the parking lot. Be well, great. Beth Page in New York. The the next one. It's at Beth Page. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. Tiger I might be the I didn't even know captain. where it was gonna be. Yeah, Beth Page. That's the one. Yeah. All right. Well, it'll, you talk about rowdy. It'll be nuts there for in New York. Pretty clean card there for Mickey. See if he goes for some value, which I'm sure he will. Two hundred eighty-eight thousand in the middle. Duex seems to have aces in these spots. I was going to try to target a king quite often. King Jack. Yeah, he is certainly would expect him to bet for value here, targeting a king, as you pointed out. How much? Looks like he settled on 210. And Frank Cravello, nothing really but a bluff catcher. He's got the two nines in his hand. He missed. The Queen High Club draw, fortunate for him. Okay. 
10 seconds. He does get away. Maybe. Dweck now up to 1.56. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, born in Argentina. Talked about his 2022 campaign. Yes, third in the main event for $4 million. Also third in the 10K PLO championship at the World Series and also second in a 25K event down at Fort Lauderdale. He had a massive 2022. And if you missed it earlier, my partner in crime here in the booth, Len Ashby, stated that that cool. third-place finish in the main event was Michael Dueck's first No Limit Hold'em really tournament well, that he's I, played I that just, we're aware of. His friend Artem, uh, a player that I play with some, <coughs> no real, real cool. nice guy, uh, was talking about that. That was one of his first No Limit tournaments he's ever played, I think. So, uh, <laughs> that's pretty, incredible. This is awesome, yeah. 24. Uh, I mean, that's... Uh, Ridiculous. Heads up now against Katz. Flop, eight, seven, deuce, two diamonds. Top two for Dueck. Katz with a very vulnerable pair of kings. Yeah, he won't particularly like this board much, uh, this flop in particular. No flush draw. No ways to make a straight. And a check fold. How many players will the main event get next year? They're gonna beat. I think they're gonna beat the record every year. You see what I'm saying? Up, up, up until everybody has well, no that's money. <laughs> good for the game until we're all broke. Well, where's the money coming from? I just can't understand it. It's crazy. Gas is like five bucks. What are we doing? Interest rates on homes eight and a half percent. I don't know. Where's the money coming? I from? have no idea. Where's the money coming from? <laughs> I don't know. But it's there. It's there. Isn't people it great? are. Yeah, I it's mean, crazy. it's just lining up. Random people buying in. Meanwhile, massive one developing oh God, here. Haxton. Wow. I'm and Lesnick. He's just curious. Six hundred thousand oh in the gosh. middle, and Blesnick is a non-believer in Ike Haxton. Blesnick is drawing dead. Now eight hundred and seventy-two thousand in the middle. I don't want a lot to. It's, when Jared calls there, it's going to be some alarm bells in Ike's mind. I mean, Jared can have 10 0 easily. But I think I think Jared was calling, hoping Ike shuts it down if he was, in fact, bluffing. Didn't see uh, flop action. I'm assuming it went. Uh, check call. Check call raise. Is that right? Well, Blesnick limped in on the button with 12. Ike shot it up to 42,000 pre. Blesnick called. Okay. Ike bet 75,000 on the flop. Blesnick called. Ike checked on the turn. Blesnick bet 50,000. Ike raised to 310. Blesnick called. Five now 80. on the river, Haxton slides out of bet. 580,000. And for Jared Blesnick, a massive decision. Len, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think that Ike is ever doing this with Broadway, a hand that would have made a, a straight on the river. It's essentially a full house or a bluff. Yeah. Um, Jared was not believing Ike on the turn, and usually when a player calls that bet on the turn, a lot of bluffs just get shut down and don't continue because Jared's worst hand a lot of times when he calls there the turn is, is a six. Uh, but Ike's not your average player, and he will still go for it, but he had it, so 
Another big pot for Mr. Hackson. He one? is over two million. Easily. Insane. 2.6 million. He's got more than 200 big blinds, more than double. Yeah, the six, six is the next good dike. Got to be careful <laughs> when there's a six on the board with you, right? Yeah. <laughs> he likes the sixes. Sixes he are hot. likes the sixes. And they are not going to like San Ike with all these chips either. Been playing phenomenally forever and has tons of chips and has been running hot. So it's a bad combination for the field. It's good to be Ike Haxton, chip leader here at the feature table. We mentioned more than 200 big blinds, more than double. Jared Blesnick in second. Chino Ream, Isaac Kempton. Everybody's still incredibly deep at our feature table. Secondary, we've got Daniel Negreanu as the shortest stack. He's down to about 30 bigs. We'll bounce in and out from this table over to secondary. We will capture everything as we make our way down to the money to the final seven players that will get paid in this event. Nine remain. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Our friends on Pluto watching the live coverage. On Sling watching the live coverage. Zumo. Among other locations, and of course, our very own Poker Go YouTube channel. All of you in the chat, we see you. Any questions, comments, I've got my eyes on you. Make sure you like and subscribe. Click that thumbs up. The 1.5 million pot. Now I have like 1.2. What's in there? I am Brent Hanks, joined by. Len Ashby. You can follow us both on X, formerly known as Twitter, which is what we will continue to call it, at Buffalo Hanks, at Zen of Len. You, have you know who gave me the handle name, right? Who gave you Zen of Len? Tony Gargano. Tony Gargano? I think Isaac Len got from Michigan. To a yes. heart. I Die Hard Michigan from here. So we were playing cash <laughs> at the Rio. I can too, yeah. Right. Me, Ben Lamb. I think Keith the, the Gibson, two of hearts needs to be replaced. Tony. I, I wasn't kidding. They were saying I should start <laughs> tweeting. Yeah. I didn't even know what Twitter was. What year was this? Any idea? Oh, in 09? I could look up when I got my Oh, account. whenever you activated. Whenever oh. I, yeah, 09. Oh. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so they, they came up with some names. Well, you know what that means. The PGT, the top tournament players in the world, compete on the Poker Go Tour. The PGT includes more than 100 high-stakes tournaments and $1.3 million in bonus prize money. Visit PGT.com to see where the PGT's best players rank and check out the schedule of events, news, and more. That's PGT.com. That's our slogan right there, making and breaking millionaires. It certainly worked out. All right, Zen, I need – I called you Zen. I need more of the Zen of Len story. Oh, so they said I should start tweeting. Ben Lamb said he would pay me. Uh, I, think, I think he was paying me $25 for every time I had a good tweet. And now, what did that mean? I had to pay him 10 if he didn't like the tweet for the whole summer. What? Well, it was, it was up to him right? to decide. Yeah, if he saw my tweet, he liked it. He'd just yeah. randomly throw me $25 when he saw me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then Tony Gargano came up with a list of four names huh? for my Twitter handle. And then to? they voted, and it was Santa yeah. like Phenomenal. Yeah. Great name. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really Zen. <laughs> You're <laughs> the Kentucky kid. <laughs> I'm not that Zen. I'm, I'm, I'm more of a... The bluegrass Full blown rant, bomber. outrageous slash. Yeah. yeah. I get triggered, you know what I mean? Like yeah, I mean, certain buddy, things. You You're going to win. Is that bad? It's not bad. Right? Dude, dude. I don't think it's bad to be triggered. No. It's entertaining, especially when we get to hear you rant. 
How many reminders now to the final table from Leo Chabert? I'm not sure. Holding King would be pretty. What that? What do you mean? Reminders? I didn't do it. Maybe he meant remaining. 4, oh, how many remaining? remaining There's player. nine left. Yeah. Seven oh, get paid. I believe we will combine yeah, eight. at eight. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah. we are one player away from combining to a single table. That will be our bubble. We are on the soft bubble as we speak. Is the screen in the back when the person bubbles going to say bubbled? <laughs> <laughs> Some bubble gum and stuff. All good. Does Just, not get paid. Yeah, dude. Zero dollars. Zero dollars. Yeah. Loses money. Exactly. Oh, God. Grab your stuff. You may have just encouraged the production team in the back. <laughs> Hit the showers. Yeah. Put a bunch of the double bubble gum wrappers all around the screen. Oh. Bubble. Yeah. Chino announces pot from the button. 10, 10, 7, 4. Blesnick, King, 9, 7, 6 in the small. On over to the night crawler. Kempton, King, Jack, 7, 5. Chino slides it home. Picks up that small pot up over 1.2 million. Right around 100 bigs. Small blind. And we will slide over to the secondary table. You've been asking about him. There is Daniel Negrano. He's around 350K. He has the shortest stack remaining in this field. It has been a roller coaster of a day for Negrano. He had it up over a million. And then he had some, I would call them, cooler type hands and scenarios. Winding up with second best. The grind goes on. Plenty of depth. Folds around to Aaron Katz. In the small blind, he will complete to Mickey Duick. Ace, nine, three, deuce, double suited. That's up. Checks his option, and we will see three. Flop is 10, six, ace. Cats checks. Duick will bet his top pair. Duick will win. We both get to go? Good job, guys. I mean, this is the first time we haven't waited for you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you're the slowest ever used. How many time banks you have left from two days? So you've used 18 time banks. <laughs> but you did use them well. That's selfie time with Chino. I'm sure that's going up on the gram. Now, you mentioned Twitter, Len. Mm -hmm. Are you on uh, Instagram? I'm not. I have an account, but I, I never do anything with it. Yeah. It's, Doesn't do it for me either. Somebody sends me like a funny reel or something. I can there you watch go. it, you know. Can't watch it if you don't have an account, right? Are you on TikTok? No. I don't do that. Come on. Take, come on, man. I knew the answer to that question before I even asked. Oh, come on. <laughs> Gravello limps the 8876. Aaron Katz, he's going to shoot it up. Ace, queen, nine, seven, uh, double suited. And Steven with a. Premium. Shitwick waking up with a monster. Ace King 10 deuce double suited. Let's see what he does here. Uh, just calls. All calls. Three players. Hundred and sixty eight thousand in the middle. The flop. With Jack six three two spades. No one has anything. <laughs> You're right. Nobody home for really anybody. Cravello's eights out in front. Checks around turn. Another Jack. 
changes nothing. Chidwick, Knuckles. Gravello, reaching. This bet should do it. 60,000. Winner. Players mentally, physically exhausted. This is day two. <clears throat> Mounting pressure now on the soft bubble. Nine remain, seven get paid. Dan Negrano right there in the crosshairs. All eyes on Kid Poker, our shortest stack. And for the thousands of fans tuned in, on our YouTube channel alone, watching Kid Poker, supporting Danny Negrano. They're going to need to send the run good his way. I don't know. Whatever your favorite emoji is in the chat, just put it there. I'm sure he'll take any effort. This kid has been a thorn in everyone's side. Mickey Duick, 24-year-old phenom. Born in Argentina, now resides in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Cuts his teeth playing cash games. And it sounds like we are going to play three hands until the end of the level, as well as a redraw. Stoppages and shit. We're all right. And that redraw, of course, will then allow us to determine like the hours, you know, plus. next table. feature table at noon, six o'clock yeah. uh, yeah. wow three hands i think i would take under 9 30. that we finish well i, I said 9 30. that's a good line nine 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 thirty is a it's a good line, line yeah. i mean it's a good line i think yeah i agree Still, I think I would go over 9.30. Really? Wow. Yeah. Tons of emojis but coming I mean, in for Negrano. I, mean, I, I don't even know what half this stuff is. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good line, actually. I don't know. I love them. Keep them coming, whatever these weird things are. Yeah, Send more. Kids, and, uh, yeah, I don't know what takes. a lot of them are. What is this stuff? Look at this. Oh, got what is this little pink guy? Yeah, I don't know about that. I've seen the money one. That's a pretty good. One. I like the peach. Dance with the man. Peach. Yeah. That's my. I am seeing myself on. I didn't know I had an emoji on here. What is? How did? Producer Aiden, why am I seeing myself as an emoji on our YouTube? Is that a thing you can do? I'm getting the head nod. Yes. All right. Well. You've made it. I've made it. <laughs> there we go. They're pouring in now. So close. So close. Yet so Duick far. will bet the pot. The grounder will bow out. Deuce was a three. Maybe Still at 307,000. Now, you can't do the little gifs or gifs or anything, right, in the YouTube chat? I don't think you can. That's my move on, uh, yeah, on that, Twitter. Yeah, yeah I've seen them. All Big Lebowski. Yeah, all Big Lebowski. I yeah. see them. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's the only language I speak. <laughs> Sean Garner, and this is for you, Len, says defending 6-3-3 three, three deuce on the short stack seems suboptimal. The hand that Daniel had a moment ago, is that is there a case to be made for that, or do you have to sort of stay active in those heads-up situations? It was probably a little loose. Uh, what do you have, is about 30 big blondes? Yeah. I think it's a fold, clear fold if he's, uh, you know, half that, like if he had 15 bigs or whatever. But Maybe more. Uh, double suit helps a little bit, but yeah, it's it's a pretty weak hand to kind of go up against anything. But if you're comfortable playing a lot of heads up pots, but obviously you can't really continue much unless it comes four or five or a three. So worth noting as well, he's from the school of Lucy Goosey. Yeah. Bello raises with King Jack 10 5. Dewick will defend. Jack 5 4 3. Double suited. To the flop we go. Uh, I believe that was there we go. the wrong board. Wrong. There we are. There we 10 go. deuce 5 is the flop with two hearts. That both yeah. flop a little bit here. Uh, How you doing? If no free Bello flops <laughs> top two. Uh, Mickey Phelps, Baron opened oh, very cool. backdoor diamonds, over card to the 10, Thanks, which man. would get him in a lot of trouble. Jack pills off. We've got action. Gracias. Well, I bet in a call. Oh, no, I don't. And the turn. <laughs> I only fake it. I understand a little bit. Eight of spades. Keeps it clean at the moment for Cravello. It's going to go check, check. And a free one. It's a seven of spades. On the river, another clean card for Cravello, and Duick is left with just a pair of fives and a variety of missed draws. Uh, it's a pretty good card for Mickey to maybe bluff. Uh, the opponent unlikely has a jack nine in their hand, given they bet, uh, checked the turn. If they had any kind of over pair with open ended, they probably would have bet. Uh, though he did check back top and middle, so. I think he's going to get called here. 120 is the bet. Crivello just has to say call. And he's going to win a nice pot. Here it comes. There it is. Yeah. Continues to chip up this Frank Crivello. Now over a million. I like the bet by Mickey on the river there. Uh, just kind of run into a hand that it's just going to call two pair. If he has one pair, it's just going to be tougher to call if it's 10 or two queens or something. And with that music, that means we are going to take a short break. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. We are going to come back with coverage of the Super High Rollerball Pot Limit Omaha edition in just Take a few minutes. Take your game to the next level with GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Start crashing at gtowizard.com. Uh, the tournament covered. He has the most chips in there. Laszlo, uh, so impressive. He has uh, started the day with just two big blinds. He's now on 30. Wow. Yeah, he, and he will be a force to contend with if he can keep... Uh, building his stack. I mentioned earlier that he has not had a uh, seven-figure score. First place in this is nearly $1.3 million. So uh, what a way if he could do it here. Yeah, and look at this one. Top set here for Chidwick. And Brewer with a hand that I think he will see bet. He's got the ace of hearts, and he's got a board pair blocker. Those are two good characteristics for see betting because you cut down on your opponent's check raises and their continues in general. So when you're deciding whether or not to... to bet your aces, you're looking for things like having a board pair blocker or a heart in your hand. He does go with check, though. And, and this wow. could be some trouble for Brewer here. Yeah, Brewer only has 283,000 chips. The question is... 
he hits what he thinks is the best turn in the deck for him. I think he would still value bet his 8-6 here, even though the 8 came in. He only loses to 9-6, so it, it actually maybe maybe gives him more combos of straights because he could have had some sort of semi-bluff with a 7-6 kind of thing. Right. He's kind of compelled to go for it here. He also doesn't have a board pair blocker, which is good for him because he's targeting sets and two pairs to fold. So he has sort of the perfect bluff hand. He just goes for half pot, which is a nice sizing because that's consistent with what he would bet with just the eight high straight. And it's really tough hero call here from Mickey. I mean, he beats this type of hand exactly. He looks like he wants to call. He, he He's getting three to one. Yeah, but he does fold. And I think the problem is that he recognizes that even a lot of Chidwick's semi-bluffs on the turn now made a straight. Um, Chidwick just had kind of the perfect hand to keep going. I don't think that was a bad fold by Mickey. Race. 75 minute levels. When the players go on break, which should be, I believe, in about 15 minutes or so, we will take a short break as well. Tolerating limps, Bluznik. Gonna pop it up. Yeah, nice hand for Bluznik here, despite not having a suit of ace. The cards are all working together. And he has, he has been in semi-bad shape. I just heard pot. Did Ben just limp pot the King Jack 10 9 rainbow? Oh no. Okay. No. It, it was, sorry, it was just. Maybe the other uh, table? Blesnik potting. Or it could have been, yeah, from the other table, perhaps just picked up on some audio. That would have been very surprising. Um, yeah, a little ambitious, huh? Yeah. So we have the Battle of the Jacks, it appears. Yeah, Jack 6-3 flop. Both players hit top pair. Yeah, Plus next ace is best right now. Right, and the other significance here is that both of them have a big diamond, so that could come into play on later streets. We'll see. Mm -hmm. It, it, it also makes Blesnik a little bit less worried about c-betting and having to fold the raise because he's just not going to face it as much, having the ace of diamonds with his hand. Tolerating checks. Okay, graphic... Uh, Snap it there for a second there. So Bluznik's the better. Yep. Tolerine. And this should just be check call. The nice thing about Tolerine's hand is that every time he turns two pair, he also turns a straight draw with it. So, uh, you know, the king, he would have, he did basically a gutter with any two pair. So it does give him quite a few decent turns, plus having the diamond. Maybe he, he has his own thoughts about bluffing, even though Jared, he has the ace of diamonds. Hey, he's not going to turn much equity here with deuce of clubs. No, kind of a bad card for both players. Neither of them has a four or a five in their hand. Expect this to go check, check fairly often, but you never know with Jared Blesnick. Player's a bit more deliberate right now. Certainly than what we saw earlier today. Ben Tolerine came into today's action second in chips. Running deuces. Bleznik's ace jack is good. Yeah, perhaps just check, check again. It, it might be a little thin for Bleznik to pursue value, knowing that Ben could have some queens and kings type hands. Uh, maybe some jack six or jack three. Well, and then to your point from earlier on, like, you got to start thinking, what can you get called by, right? Exactly. I mean, I guess maybe exactly king jack. Maybe exactly this hand, yeah. Um, but I think it's entries, fairly thin. I think in a pot of this size, Bleznik will be content to just knuckle back, and he's going to win the pot, which is a good result. Yep, he does. He'll be happy to see. Tolerant probably thinks maybe I get the best hand when he gets checked back, right? Right. For sure, he thinks it's a possibility. <laughs> Levels are 75 minutes long, so. And look at this. Kempton with a re raise with kind of a disconnected ace high hand, just trying to put some pressure on Chino with the big stack. And Chino has flopped a set, and Kempton has top two. This pot could get big. And Kempton had nines and fives. Rain with a set of fives. 
now comes in with aces, nines, and fives. Right, and I'm, I'm trying to see, was it maybe the, the raise was on the flop and not pre-flop here with the ace, queen, nine, five? That would... So Reem limped pre, Kempton limps. There's no raise pre. Got it. So the raise was just on the flop, So yeah. was, which makes sense. 9-5 against the set of fives. We'll see if the ace slows things down at all. Kempton yeah. does have top two. Um, no backup. It would be very reasonable to go for a value bet here. Yeah, Reem bet 25,000. Kempton raised to 110. Yeah, and he's blocking sets of nines and sets of fives. So the only set he thinks is likely is deuces in terms of the fact that he blocks the other ones, but... Chino could have a lot of pair plus wrap kind of hands. That's this could all get in right here. So Kempton goes 230,000, and Reem's got to decide what he wants to do with a set of fives. He's a huge favorite, but does he know it? Exactly. He doesn't know it, and these are, these are really interesting spots because these are way ahead, way behind spots, right? If, if Isaac's got a set of deuces or... Some sort of ace nine five type hand, Chino's way ahead. If Isaac's got a set of nines, well now Chino's only got three outs to hit a jack or a five. Tricky spot to navigate. You see him use a time chip, and neither player has any sort of extra equity in this form of a flush draw or a gut shot. As it turns out, Chino is a nine to one favorite, but he cannot be sure of that. That's for sure. Uh, the wheel also came in, so if Isaac was raising a wrap on the flop with ace three four combinations, well now Chino's behind that. So truly a, t a tough spot for Chino, and it's possible he actually lays down the best hand here, which would be ironic because Kempton's not necessarily bluffing. He's, right, he's not bluffing here, right? He, he thinks he's value betting, but he could actually get <laughs> a better hand to fold, so that's why Pilo can be kind of funny in that way. Chino is legitimately thinking here this is not posturing, uh, and this is a legitimately tricky spot. Because he, he also doesn't think that all of Isaac's 9-5 combos are going to continue to bet on the turn. Ace nine five sure, but if, if Isaac has something like nine eight seven five, Chino might think that that hand would slow down on this ace of spades turn. And it's really really tough for Chino because if he is up against nines, he has three outs, and if he's up against the wheel, he's got ten outs. But right, but he doesn't know either way. Exactly. Is, is he thinking right now? Is he also thinking about what the river? If I if I call here, what happens on the river? Right. What's my plan? Calling's dicey because you don't really love any rivers. You probably. Well, you love the five. You're kind of happy to see a deuce. Everything else is a little iffy. I mean, yeah, you don't you don't hate a jack, right? Yeah, you don't hate a jack. That's for <laughs> sure. I forgot about the jack. You, you do like a I'm jack. Do right now. He does. But you don't even lose, love the jack of spades, by the way. Still loses to the wheel on the jack also. Right, right. You still so, lose to the wheel, and you don't love the jack of spades. His hand just has kind of bad visibility. Um, let's see. what He, he kind of looks to me like a man who's going to find a fold here. But well, we'll see what happens. And I don't totally fault it, even though, again, as we can see. The longer he tanks, does Kempton want the call? <laughs> That's a funny question, too. Fold. I don't. He folds. And I don't know what Kempton thinks that Gino has. Blesnik's got a look of semi-disbelief on his face. but. Hmm. So Kempton gets Ream to fold a set of fives, gets Haxton to fold the jack seven flush. <laughs> and he is now up to 2.1 million. Starting to put a little bit of distance between him and some of the shorter stacks. Still though, nobody's short. What's the bet? Ben tolerating the shortest at our table with 549,000 chips. Raise the pot. Cravello and Katz also on are a little bit over a half a million so chips. Like 600 yeah, and so? Kempton definitely a guy Thanks. where it would be dangerous yeah. to allow him to really start to run away with the chip lead because he is not going to slow down. He's going to put a lot of pressure on the shorter and medium stacks if he does build up a big chip lead. <laughs> Chino here picks up aces. Boy, the suit. Kempton with a pretty hand himself. Double suited, One king, queen, ten, eight. Yeah, there's no folding here. This is a call, and let's see a flop. He does make the call. 228,000 in there. And we see a queen high flop. Yeah, it is queen high, but Kemp's not going to love... Okay, and did we see Ream quickly check? Yeah, so he, he 
stone bricked this one. He still has aces. Um, it's kind of close when you have aces in spots like this, whether you want to just pot and go with it or check. He has a stack where, well, look at this turn card. He, now he turns what? a set of aces. Welcome back to continuing coverage of the Super High Roller Bowl Pot Limit Omaha Edition, Day 2. Nine remain here inside the Poker Go studio. I'm Brent Hanks, joined by Len Ashby. If you want to hear David Tuckman and Alex Livingston, you can head on over to Poker Go. Nine remain. 1.29 million up top. Call it 1.3. Chip leader, Ike Caxton. Just one super high roller bowl, eight. Just a few weeks ago, now looking to take home the PLO Super High Roller Bowl title. Stephen Chidwick, fresh off his victory, taking home the Poker Masters Championship in the purple jacket. Second of chips, Mickey Dueck, the legend. Lens Buddy, the 24-year-old from Florida. Unstoppable. Mr. Sports Cards himself, Jared Blesnick, he's in fourth place. I haven't heard too much about sports cards, but... I'm sure he wouldn't mind putting that ring on when it's all said and done, along with that prize money up top. New feature table. Stephen Chidwick, Chino Ream, Jared Blesnick, and Daniel Negreanu. What a redraw. Negreanu is the short stack. He's got 300K, which is roughly 20 big blinds. How about exactly 20 big blinds as the levels have gone up to 10K, 15K? Huh? 5K. 5K. They shouldn't. They shouldn't do that in here. It's ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, the little blind on blind confrontation. Chidwick Ream. Two seven three. Bottom two for Chidwick. Chino. He's got ace, queen of diamonds with two sixes in his hand. You can see that Chidwick is a favorite. Chidi strikes first blood. As usual. Pretty hand. Now, Len, you are a PLO connoisseur. I believe it. You live dinosaur. Sleep and a dinosaur. <laughs> All you do is play PLO. You have watched continuous coverage throughout the course of day two. Who has impressed you the most, and who do you think is the clear favorite to win the title? I had an ugly hand that would have folded. I think that <coughs> I think Mickey has played uh, very well. I think that I think they all have played well. Chino makes it. You know, he seen full oh, those fives. Yeah. Yeah. It was not the, sure. so, yeah. Yeah. not the worst yeah. hand. Yeah. But I think it was a, a very good fold in that Jin situation Action that he made card. against Isaac Kempton. Kempton's played great, too. Yeah. Um, they've all played well. Um, Ike, with the amount of chips he has, is just yeah. going to be really tough. He got very fortunate intense. in that big pot, catching that six. Uh, not only catching the six, but having his opponent have a hand that just, you know, boat just can't over really boat fold. If you I mean, it. it's just it's too tough to fold, uh, I think, um, for Kempton's hands. And I'd say Ike uh, Haxon's uh, probably the favorite. I felt like Blesnick was, was the favorite to start today. Obviously, it was a big chip lead, but he's just going to play really well post flop, and everyone's deep enough to where Jared can get in there and play. Everybody in here uh, played great, I think. So, well, I would only make Haxon a favorite to win right now, just based on based on the chips. chips. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. I mean, Speaking all of Haxton, that played great. Mixed up now with Mickey Duek. they are side by side. A couple players we have loved watching thus far. You can see Duek's nines are out in front. Ike's got a flush draw. Couple pairs cooking, gut shot, and position. Yeah, he's going to bet. 140. 
seconds. Yeah, that's Extension. Do it given this some serious thought. Yeah, maybe thinking can Ike have a hand like Jack Jack or Queen Queen? Wouldn't nice. he check back just kind of pot control? So I think he's eliminating some of those hands. And who knows? Maybe thinking about raising. Just Ike, before balls. you used to wear the mask, did you always announce all your bets or is that yeah. you, you did the even before? Play. I think so. I don't know. That's why I was just curious if you did. I mean, I think less so when we were playing cash. Together. Yeah. I, well, you guys I didn't remember you uh, doing it before, but I didn't know if it's because you're wearing the mask to make people know what you bet more. Why would wearing a mask and announcing bets have anything to do with each other? Are you ever not wearing the mask again? I mean, I might at some point in the future. Something would have to change. Otherwise, you were going to wear it for the rest of your life? I mean, I don't think that... COVID will be the same problem that it is right now for the rest of my life, but if yeah. it were, then very likely. All right. I'll stay out of this conversation. Do you think I was wearing it for fashion? It is a good looking 3M mask. <laughs> good brand. You know. I thought it was for fashion. I mean, it looks snazzy, don't get me wrong. It does look snazzy, I mean. You could put something on the front though. I mean, just the trade the trademark isn't. Like He's got an amazing mustache under that under that like mask. Half, oh yeah, like yeah. Incredible didn't, mustache. Didn't, didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. It's honestly a shame that when he he goes outside and he takes it off, right? And in here, very COVID sensitive. And uh, underneath, sure he it, takes it off outside. I've seen I've seen him. Yeah. <laughs> Cats will limp in with Queen 10 9 8. Ike. Yeah, very full pot. premium ham here for Axton. Uh, and a good hand for Mr. Cats, too. 9 10 Queen. And I believe he's flicked in the call. See a jack of clubs on the flop. We might have a pot. Heads up. Oh, well, coming jack. You got a little inside wrap. Check. We've okay. got action. Not a, not a great not a draw, though. It's just it looks better than it is. It's it's not horrible, but middle set for Ike does also have a Broadway draw alongside that set. Ten seconds. What? And cats. One eighty. Got himself a little straight draw going as well. A queen would be a disaster of a card for cats if that no, ticket No, well, a queen doesn't fall. make him a straight. Just, uh, it looks like it does, but it doesn't. <laughs> You're exactly right. But That's why we've got you in the booth. This hand can, for some beginners to feel low, they think That's that nice. this hand looks better than it is, and it's a good fold by your arms. Here you say, a lot of hands that Ike has has that hand in really bad shape. Five. A lot of times you'll have a lot of his straight cards. Could have a nut flush draw with an ace king ten having a really bad shape. So good fold of iron there. And back on over now to the feature table. All eyes, of course, on Daniel Negrano. He had the Queen of Hearts too. Our short stack. 300k, 20 picks. Plesnik content. Limping in, King Queen Jack seven. Negranu will oblige and check back. Ace nine seven deuce. Flop nine six deuce. It's two pair for Negranu. At the moment, a substantial favorite. Forty five thousand out there. Lesnick checks. Everything I 
Grano reaching. He will splash. And every pot is significant for Negrano at this point. He's going to pick it up, shows him the goods. It's like Peel Silver 3.0 now. What would you recommend for me to start? That one? That, not to look at that shit. It'll fuck up your brain. Will it really? I think so. <laughs> just playing. Just Depends playing. what you want to play. Huh? Depends what you want to play. Yeah. I just want to get better in these spots. Like on these finals that I play with you guys, I made some mistakes. Just ask Stevie what to do. And there you go. I mean, I think he would tell me off the table as friends, but like, you know, I don't want to annoy you. the man and pick his brain all fucking day. Like, Come on. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Well, for 15000 an hour, you can probably ask him as many questions about poker as you like. King 10, 8, 7, double suited for Blesnick. And Negrano, he will complete. Blesnick limp the button. Stevie will check from the big. Jack 4-4. Four, four. Nobody home for Negrano. Shidwick connected with the Jack. Nick at the moment has nothing. He will check. Turn another four. Now, Blesnick, as we can see with the percentages, has the best hand with King-10 high. Giving this some thought. Well, he's out. Chidwick's out. The best hand at the moment wins. Because I just tried to look it up. I couldn't find it. No, it's, it's uh, like a website. It's a software. But maybe it's not the best place to start. So what would you recommend for me to start? Uh, yeah, well. Bounce off of Chidwick's recommendations for Chino to study poker and head on over to our secondary where we're witnessing Isaac Haxton and the Nightcrawler once again do battle. River completes the flush while also pairing the board. Hempton was the preflop raiser. Haxton defended. Check. It is checked all the way down thus far. Captain Winner. You could literally never bluff the river in print. You could literally limp your weak hands and raise your good hands, and they won't they won't play any differently, is what I'm saying. Right. Right. So you could do all these exploits to keep you in a tournament. So basically, I would never you never call a big bet because those are balanced. Mm -hmm. And then you never bluff. And it's like hard to get any of your chips. Obviously, you're gonna give up a lot on the flop and pre-flop, because they're better than you. Yeah. But on the big street, the river, you 
You, you know, own them. You, you like hundred, you, but yeah, you're, I think you just win all the equity on the river. Okay. When they call you too much. Great question out of Kevin in our YouTube chat. And Len and I are right here with you guys in the chat. It says, why was King High the best hand? I don't understand Pot Limit Omaha. For many of you that are newcomers to the game, you have to use the board, the flop, turn, river that you see in front of you, and take the two cards out of your four cards that you're being dealt. So on that hand... You had to no, use the three fours that were on the board and then choose or use two cards from your own holding to make the best five-card hand. So in true. that example, King-10 high was the best hand to go with your trip fours. Watch out. And we've got a little bit of action developing now between Chino and Blesnik. Flop. Queen King Jack, two hearts. Blesnick open ended with the flush draw, now making a straight, as does Chino Ream. Ream bets 40. Blesnick with a free roll can make hearts. Yeah, let's just go here. And there is that heart. Lestic improves to a flush. 185 out there. He's going to bet 80,000. obvious what I have. Never know what this fucking guy has. <laughs> Got it? Len, did you like the bet out of Chino there on the turn for 40, or is that a spot oh, yeah. where... I mean, he has two tens in the sand. That's the best ten, always. Basically, Jared's probably not ever checking back ace ten. So, <laughs> and given the sizing <laughs> on the river, yeah, eighty k, you just gotta pay him the money. You don't ever have to pay someone the money. Yeah, but well, I guess you do sometimes. But <laughs> well, he had the ten of hearts, which helps in calling there. So. You don't have to play. Pay the money to play poker. Go play. You can get dealt in wherever you are. For free. And you can start winning today. Start playing now at PokerGoPlay.com or download the app on Google Play or from the app store, PokerGoPlay.com. My friends are worse than so it doesn't help. <laughs> Why did I just call that river versus you? Hold on a second. What? Look at that. That card's all If you're I just see. joining us... No matter where you are tuning in from, whether you're watching live on Pluto or Sling or Zumo or Fubo or whatever device you're using to tune into this live coverage, we thank you. Sounded like a notorious B.I.G. song. Right? I just wrote that little ditty <laughs> alongside Puff. Anyway, and YouTube, of course, on our Poker Go channel, we are here with you in the chat. Any questions or comments for myself and my my partner in crime here in the booth, 35. the Kentucky kid, Mr. <laughs> Len Ashby. Oh, here it is. Make sure you like this YouTube channel. Hit that thumbs up as many times as you can. I think you can only click it once, but try it many times. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I can't see the fucking cards, man. Yeah. I'll just swap it out, huh? Got action over on the secondary table. New hand developing. Being dealt. <coughs> you can see that Aaron Katz has drifted down now to 415,000. He and Negranu are the shortest stacks remaining. 
Starting to get frustrated, as you can tell, by the body language. He's got a tough seat. He's got Haxton to his immediate left, of course, followed by this young superstar, Mickey Duick. Frank Cravello really has been impressive over the last 90 minutes. He was the shortest stack. Now sitting comfortable with over a million in chips. A critical double up against Check. Mickey Duick. Hitting a 22 outer for his tournament life with one card to come. Haxton out in front percentage wise. He's got the flush draw. He's got the straight draw. <laughs> Ninety. Ninety thousand. Haxton goes 90K. Cravello comes along for the ride to the turn. And it is the five of hearts. Ike Haxton now makes the king high flush. He cannot lose this hand unless he gets bluffed. Cravello reaching. 315,000 out there. Pulls back. Will not bet. Posturing. Knuckles. Sneaky check back by Ike Haxton. Deuce of spades on the river. Just a solo pair of kings for Frank Cravello. 315. 315 in the pot as he gets his answer from the dealer. And Cravello is reaching. And he is going to bet. He has stepped right into it. Haxton with the trap on the turn, checking back. Cravello effectively, I believe, Len, turning these kings into a bluff. Yeah. Um, it's Ike, not going to work. Ike now deciding whether he should just raise a call with the king high flush. It's a call. call. There is just a call. Continuing to run up the stack here. And Negrano now tangled up with Blesnick. Blesnick has a stone cold bluff. 6 6 3 deuce. Padugi. A 0% holding Negrano in a troubled spot with just ace 10. Missed the nut flush draw, but he's made three tens on the river. This was a blind-on-blind -blind confrontation where Blesnick limped in. Negrano checked back. Blesnick bet the pot on the flop. Uh. Negrano makes the call, a massive call for Daniel Negrano. He is going to drag this pot now up nearly 500,000. In his stack. Oh, nice call there, uh, Daniel. Extremely penny, aggressive right? line out of Blesnick. Can't fold there. Just thought you might show him the queen nine. We did miss the action, but it was limp, limp, pre. Blesnick bet the pot on the flop. Negranu called. Check, check, turn. Blesnick bet the pot on the river, and Negranu called once more. Kid Poker is back. <laughs> he's got about 500,030 bigs right now, so he's he's got plenty of wiggle room. He's structuring this thing is pretty crazy. They, 
They could play forever. <laughs> <laughs> they might play forever. We I mean, could be here all night. I, mean, I might have to get off. This your wife and kid. I, I mean, might. does your family know that <laughs> yeah, right. you might be gone for a week? Oh, wait, man. This is my fault, by the way. <laughs> when I was asked to be a part of this broadcast and to find somebody to join me in the booth, I immediately texted you three minutes later. said, hey, Leonard. Want to hop on this show? And you said, oh, yeah, what are the hours? I said, oh, it'll just be a few hours. Yeah, Come right. Three, four yeah. hours maybe, day one or Quick day lunch. two. Yeah. I've gone through two bags of Cheetos. Piece of cake. Yeah, we're, we're rolling now. <laughs> it's like the uh, one during the series. I, I did put the uh, – it might have been Ali or Tuckman, but it went real late. The 50K that Negrano and Helmuth were on. Man, that thing went till 5 a.m. <laughs> Meanwhile – Lesnick, Chidwick, potentially yeah. could get tied up in a big one. Absolute wrap for Blesnick. Chidwick has bottom set. Chino Ream opened this pop. Blesnick flatted the button. Chidwick came along for the ride from the big blind. Blesnick now makes first the nuts. Mafia. What you got? Ch- Chidwick got? is first to act here on the turn. Yeah, and even better for Jared and his queens and eights with, used to it, right with it, which uh, pretty much kills uh, Jidwick's chances. Yeah. To only, only catch a 10 with a case five to win. Chino's bluffing here. Just going to allow for Chidwick to get away from the hand because I assume Jared might has a good enough hand to raise with the nuts. What's in there? Chidwick can fold three fives pretty easily, I think. There is the pot size raise from Blesnick. Back over to Chino, who I imagine is just posturing. There it goes into the muck. <laughs> he wants to see so bad. Uh, Chino, Chino wants to see it. Blesnick's going to oblige and show him the hand. What'd you have? What'd you have? What'd you have? Well, I was stone bluffing. Well, I mean, seems like it. You certainly didn't have the straight. We knew that. I could have beat that, though. Yeah, you can't have nothing. You could have beat it with a spade or something? With the king on the river. Oh, at ace jack. Aaron Foster in the chat says, what's your longest call? Are they usually the high rollers? Jack nine. For me, we all did. Yeah. Uh, I would say uh, it's not the high rollers. They're typically quite quick on the PG Tour, the final tables. I would say on average three to four long final tables. I did one. Bad fold. Aussie Millions oh, final table with uh, Jason Somerville and Joe Stapleton. He had a good hand. That lasted, I, did not have I believe, hand. 13 I hours. Wow. And it was, I was, uh, you know what? It was what with Jamie no Kerstetter like, as well. It, we were delirious. No one ever got two nons and just <laughs> no, <it> was nuts. <laughs> put the money in and just kept going, huh? That was definitely the longest single day broadcast I've ever done. They got rid of that, right? Awesome yeah. millions, right? Yeah. I, COVID. Oh, that was the end. Dumb oh, man. Get rid of that. That was a good tournament, right? I think they had some other issues there, too. Yeah. They're, yeah. Something blah, 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 laundering, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I have no idea. Middle set. Chino. Lesnick, another nothing. Does turn a gut shot. Jack. Jack. River King. What's in there? Miller in the chat says the P's, B's, and T's are killing his speakers. Must be we've got some popping going on with our those specific letters. So is it bad if I just keep saying B's, P's, and T's I just want to over and over again, Miller, in the chat? Apologies. We'll work on the audio. Could just be 
time for you to upgrade those speakers as well, Miller. <laughs> Maybe it's just the Kentucky accent. I gonna go out on a limb and say it's I mean, probably I've, not I've you. Finished, You're very soft spoken. The, you know. I finished the Cheetos before we got back on. You've got so that like very I'm nice delivery. That very low bass. Uh, yeah. Deep. Yeah, you've seen me get buried in a pot. <laughs> Dinner time. Very calm. I I get very excited. Yeah. And mom well, I mean clearly, I go yeah. bananas. We'll have producer Aiden, who's with us here, take a look at the audio board. Yeah, he gave me the middle finger, so I'm guessing that I won't be diving too deep into that. Get those speakers upgraded, Miller. Grano shoots it up. 40,000. Chidwick now. Thinking things through. Can we attack Negrano? Got the ace, Jack, Jack, five. He will go for the pot. Hold. Signing max pressure to Negrano. We're both, we're both holding him. Yeah. So we're applying pressure here just based on Negrano's stack size. It's tough for him to continue unless he has a super premium hand, though he has a, has a hand that can connect well with the flop. But Difficulty being how shallow yeah, I, really he is? I don't think uh, Chibok's doing this uh, in any other situation, really. Giving it some thought, maybe. Ronald. Wanting to see three. Put, can. Uh, can I grab the muck we go? Okay. Yeah, Thank you. Chivik will be happy with that result. Thank you. Thank you. Did you and fold I do have an update mm -hmm. from Miller here in the chat. Thank you, Miller, for. Once again, chiming in, he had the bass cranked all the way up so on his speaker he, system. He turned it he down, says, and apparently we're good to go. We're good to go. Okay, okay. we solved it. All right. That's what he just Over there? I don't know why, but all right. Strange. Hey, uh, Paul, can <coughs> can I can we get the waitress or waiter, please, for a drink, please? Isaac's played 13 hands straight now. And out here well, at the well, secondary, well, and you're hearing the Isaac, table talk. Haxton has played 13 consecutive hands, seemingly has won them all. He has grown that chip lead up to 3.2 million now. Here has the best hand, but it is Duick with a crafty bluff. Incredible performance once again by Ike Haxton. Boy, that six pilling off was, man, that was sick and Absolutely devastating for back. the Nightcrawler, Isaac Kempton, who's, by the way, still just fine. Yeah. Right around 1.2 million, I yeah. believe. Yeah, it was one of those pots that, I mean, hate to say you believe in momentum or whatever, but it, you know can give a player some confidence and also derail someone a little bit. But at this level, they're kind of used to the, those situations. They all play tons of these tournaments, huge amounts of money. Kind of blink of an eye when you lose a hand like that, but it, it hurts. Blesnick going to change gears. We've seen him limp all day long in these small blind, big blind confrontations. Here now... Applying Foster, max vegetable? pressure to Negranu. Makes it 45,000 to go. Negranu's going to stick around with queen 8, 6, 4. Double suited. Flop. King 6, 9. Top pair for Blesnik. As well as a gutter. 
Uh, Jared will bet something here, I believe, and just win it. Daniel can't really continue. Oh, no, it's from the food court. It's not bad, Mike. It's not bad at all. Okay. Yeah. Yellow tail. This is a yellow tail roll. And a bit of frustration for Negrano. Throws oh, it into the muck. Uh, Brian in the oh, chat. Good. Brian. Laquera, are we broadcasting to the that final table or all the way down to the winner? We are going to go down to the final seven tonight, possibly six, and then tomorrow live stream the entire final table down to a winner. Wire-to-wire -wire coverage throughout all of day two and, of course, the final table to determine our champion. If you are just tuning in, nine remain, only seven get paid and if you need a little boost trying to capture and watch all of this coverage go ahead and check out nzt 48 scan that qr code right there on your screen they call it the limitless pill the ultimate brain booster wow yeah <laughs> i'm not gonna I, like i would not just sit here and and Lie to you, Len. I take one of these genuinely. I have well. There's a lot of these sample bottles you're looking at that I'm holding in my hand. I took a lot home. What is it like? You feel like a rush to the head, and you get energy. What is that? Boost? Yeah, but it's it's like yeah. a very surreal. Doesn't you're not jittery. Yeah. You know, it's none of that. It's just kind of like, oh, all right, I'm all right, dialed I'm in. Ready, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. What's the bet? Seventy thousand. It works. What happened here? Buzz raised to 70. Looks like Chino limped in. Blesnick shot it up to 70. Wow. Chidwick's just going to call. Yeah. That's Naked aces. Correct. I mean, so many more short stacks. Short stacks. Rainbow aces. And Chino's in. See a flop. Wow. Jared flops. Nice. <laughs> and Chidwick has all of his outs. Uh, I don't think... And Chino leads with a four. Which Chino does lead with a four for fifth. Is that right? For 15? No, that can't, that can't be right. No, he bet 235. Well, he bet full pot. Oh, 235. I mean, I shouldn't say it's a terrible lead by Chino, but it's, it is a rainbow flop. Nobody can really have too much... The two pair herons are extremely unlikely. Uh, so him leading out is interesting, but he happens to run into a hand that Jared is not ever folding. 450. And Chibik has a little bit of a decision. Um, man. It's kind of like the best flop for your hand as far as not connecting with an ace. Queen deuce four rainbow, you got a gutter rainbow flop. What an awful spot to That's be a in. Terrible spot for Chidwick. Yeah. Look at the. I think he's just gonna fold, but um, yeah, he's folding. Incredible display of aggression out of Blesnick. <coughs> he's got a huge wrap. That's. It's funny. Uh, Chino Sand doesn't play horrible against it, but it, he just can't continue. He's just going to uh, fold, just roll. posturing a little bit. A very cut unorthodox roll. line by Chino, perhaps getting a little frustrated. He had it up to 1.4, 1.5, and it has been straight downhill since. Remember Blesnick not so long ago Keep telling him how what a great nerd. player he is. Swear to God. Oh. You're gonna make me fucking bust you. Cause you wanna fuck around so much. Oh my. Seems like Chino might have been messing around a little bit there. I mean, he let I, out with the four. I mean, you know. Thank you very much. But he was, he was just a little tilted. He hadn't won a pot in a while. Thank you, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Feels like Fred Jared is trying to run him over, but he flopped him. As good as he can with the hand he has. A little frustration out of Chino. What? 
Well, he's getting some food, and maybe he'll take an NZT to 48, and he'll be right back in the game. I didn't. Keep doing it. You want to go take him, these? <laughs> Shake him up. <laughs> One at a time. One a day. Jared Blesnick, 1.7. Shidwick, right around 1.6. Chino down to 700,000. That's still 47 bigs. Yeah. He's kind of losing his mind a little out yeah. there, but he's got a lot of chips. And in Agrano, 25 bigs at 375. And, uh, yeah, we heard Chino, John, a little bit at Blesnick now. We know this, and I think many of you at home know this who have been tuning in throughout the duration of this broadcast. They are, I would say, friends. Blesnick's been showing them his cards. They've been chatting. Nothing. Do whatever you want. I'm not looking. I don't care to bubble this. I don't know what ICM is. I just want to play. All right. I want to win the tournament, dude. It's okay. I'm just being emotional right now because I just like a lot. I, just, lost, I don't like care about this 150k bubble. I want to win. It's fine. As I've played. You do what you want. You're, you're entitled to do whatever you want. Yeah. I mean, Trina, we're four-handed, dude. Buddy, I love you either yeah, way. This hand I just told you I'm being emotional because I just lost like fucking 700k straight. Mm -hmm. I'm over it now. Go. Nice hand. <clears throat> well, there you have it. There you have it. They've settled. You gotta get it out sometimes, you know? No, thank you. And I genuinely love that about Chino, the raw emotion. I'm here for it. Yeah, you gotta show it sometimes. Rip a card every once in a while. <laughs> this guy hasn't studied poker his entire career. It's not how he's wired. He's got an unbelievable instincts. The results speak for themselves across every variant of poker. Mixed games, PLO making a run. We saw what he did during the Poker Masters. We've seen what he's done throughout his career. Yeah, I expect him just to win the money here. I'm just going to raise it, I think, actually. Raise the pot. Yeah. Okay, going to pot it. Would assume it's over as well. One last look from Chidwick into the muck. Now you make me take it out on Chitty because you want to fuck around. <coughs> Think he's happy about it? You playing every hand over there? I taking a peek, looking around, taking a look at the landscape, and he has got himself an absolute pile. 3.3 for Haxton. Take a look at those chip stacks at the top of your screen. The action now picking up with Frank Gravello and Aaron Katz, who is now all in, I believe, on the turn after turning three eights, and Gravello will have a decision. Yeah, he's just going to call. Aaron's going to double up most likely. He's going to call. See the bad news. He's got a gut shot with a six or any ace in the deck. Six outs. Aaron Katz all in for his tournament life. He has six outs. Are you a favorite or no? Four he has six outs. What? He has six outs. He has six outs or we do? He has six outs. And the river. Who's he? Hmm? Who's he? My man Frank over here. We won. It is a five, and Aaron Katz will double up. On the soft bubble, he's now up to 725,000. Frank Cravello. Oh, 195? Or give me that five, then. The roller coaster now begins for him from short stack to back up to 1.1 million. Now, once again, to short stack in this tournament. He's down to 335. Negrano has 375. Huh? And then it's Aaron Katz and Chino Ream around the 700 to 750 club. I hope no one ever busts. My, oh my. But it has been all Ike Haxton here on day two, taking over the super high roller bowl. 3.3 million. He's played great. He's gotten lucky. When needed, Mickey Dueck also Hi. impressive. The young Floridian, born in Argentina. Uh, it felt feel like a key card. 
Of course, the steady grace of the Nightcrawler, Isaac Kempton. Just know he's blasting on a brick, too. Well, Any car. Boom! He might even blast on a heart. He doesn't give a fuck. This has to be his thing. Gravello opens button to 55,000. He's got kings. One suit. Ike's got H-Jack 10-3 with clubs. Will defend. He's got lots of that. Oh, good. I've only played. That was the first time I played in 16 years. Flop is jack 8-8. <laughs> eight, eight. Paxton's got top pair. Gravello's got kings. Also has an one eight. Cash game money in here at times. Improving to two. trips. This week you've won this tournament like three times. What are you talking about? It has been a good week. Three million dollars? <laughs> More, actually. Aaron, you have so much money. Stop it, dude. You're winning like 45 million in tournaments. Not to mention another 40, <laughs> not to mention another 40 in endorsements you made. How did you win last year? 1.6. No, what do you mean? You won the... I was telling Helen and Sam that in. He's made me a ton of money. Oh, You know what I was trying to say? 70,000 is the bet from Carvello. Ike will call. 100%. Rick on the turn. Carvello bets pot, 210,000, moving himself all in. Ike, now a decision. Ace Jack 10 3. We can see Carvello is a massive favorite. Uh, Ike's going to fold. It's not beating. It's not beating anything. Perhaps perplexed, thinking, why would you do this if you had kings or aces? You must have an eight, or you're bluffing. Yeah, he blocks an ace in his hand, thinking he could have aces, but that's, I don't think he's calling her. Suppose a hand like Queen Jack 9 10. Yeah. I call. Well, he's going to pay him off. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Surprise. Yeah. I'm in bad shape. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, surprise Two because. outs in the deck. We've seen Ike already do it once before. Can he do it again? 265? Frank Cravello's tournament life on the line. a 10 on the river, meaning that Frank Cravello will double up. No longer the short stack in this event. That will belong to Daniel Negreanu once more. Cravello now up to just shy of 700,000. I can't take it. I can't take Soft it. bubble continues. I know you are. <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing, man. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking about how absurd it's going to be when I bubble this tournament. That confidence is overwhelming. Kempton, the masochist. Suggesting he could bubble. Make everyone at least a million. That's the man. I need that hundred. There's the payouts right there. Seventh place, 152,000. Work your way up the ladder all the way to first, just shy of $1.3 million for the champion. Not to mention, take home that super high roller bowl ring. That's got to be worth another $1.3 million. Do you see the size of that thing? Diamonds go. Jesus. Super Bowl championship ring. Man. You just make it a saddle. Dislocate top three, my get finger if I put that down. thing is the real deal, yeah, too. It weighs like 40 each. pounds. Top three.
Cat's going to work. Opens the button. Yeah, King he, ten eight deuce double. I think he limped it. Yeah, I think he limped. Up. Excuse me. Calls the button. Check. Check that four. Check. A fair fight for everybody with a little taste. Turn. Five of diamonds. Duick out in front with his nine, as well as adding a gut shot straight draw with that three seven in his hand. Cats is open ended, but it is Ike Caxton letting his chips do the talking. Applies maximum pressure, 60,000. Nothing but a pair of fours. Does have the king queen in his hand. Good enough. You pull cocktails, Paul? Just get me a Coke and a Coke, please. Thank you, sir. Uh, Not going to lie, Len, I have a meeting every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Which hand you should have folded? With the, I don't think I'm going to make it. No, yeah. you're out. That's the yeah, hey, I mean, I wish you folded too, man. Yeah. <laughs> Ten seconds. I saw his jack and I was like, all right, we got outs. Which straight draw does he have? <laughs> My phone lay every hand again. The old trips draw. Oh, yeah, no, he could have he hit the jack. I definitely could have hit the jack. At least that one was live. Could have been it is more. amazing. Ike is in every single round. Well, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> He's a really good looking person, too. <laughs> one. <laughs> Very handsome guy. Got the Aaron Katz hot mic Between going. you and him, it's, you know, <laughs> GQ style of the year. Who's that? Who's your girl? Just I love that the mics are hot. <laughs> I don't think they know that they're hot. I don't hot. think they do either. <laughs> One of them's close to saying something that may go viral. <laughs> and I'm here for it. Yeah. Paxton just continuing to bludgeon this bubble. He's got Queen Jack 9 deuce, just a pair of deuces. Does have the sort of overcard coverage, but Duix got him in rough shape. Yeah, Mickey's going to call here, and uh, as it can turn okay, uh, eight, 8 or Jack. Okay. How about that card? Yeah, that's his, Len. his best card. <laughs> uh, uh, does it get any sweeter? Yeah. Improves to jacks and deuces with a flush draw and a straight draw. Yeah, he went to 92%. <laughs> I, the best card in the deck by a mile. Uh, it's, Pillow is pretty amazing in that in that regard. Um, uh, and the value of one particular card is pretty insane sometimes. Some people can just do it, man. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how he does it. I used to have a uh, he-can-do-it list. <laughs> yeah. I'm being serious. Put this guy at the top. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen enough of it, but <laughs> there were some people that Have you watched it. him play two-card? Yeah. He can it. do it. Oh, he can do it? Yeah, he, he can, can do it. Okay. I believe it. <laughs> now, that being said, as we swing it back over to the feature table, I have talked to many friends, colleagues, if you will, and I'll get back to that thought in just a moment. We have a big one oh. developing here between Negrano and Chino. Chino has bet 100000 with kings, sixes, and deuces. Negrano just sixes and sevens with a gut shot. You can see he's only got 15% equity. Uh, this is a. This is essentially for his tournament life. If he does decide to go with this hand right here, right now. 
It's just a, just a gross, nasty, dumb spot that he's in. Um, all draws are even money versus hand if they have a pair. If he has king, he four cards. He is going to call the 100,000. Can only win with a 7 or a 5. It is not there on the fair. river. Too fair. Me too. Ah. Wow, Gino checked back. That's good. How does he not bet? Grano down to 185,000. Man, he, he could he could have gone broke there. I mean, I'm not saying Daniel would have automatically called it off, but it's a it's a brick for your hand, mm. uh, and all the draws miss. I'm surprised Gino didn't bet King Six there on the river. He should be betting. Thought maybe you just had Kings and a flush draw. Yeah. I see, guess. there you go. <laughs> he called it off with six seven. There. Might have saved. His, I mean, he did save his tournament. I think might not have called it off on the river for one eighty five if he I thought mean, the kings and a flush draw improved I to kings and jacks. Maybe, but I mean, there's no point in checking back. You just got to bet there. Negrano never has better than king six. He would have been all in on the right. turn. Right. If he had king seven, he would have been all in. It was him. Yeah. yeah. So only hand you lose to is if you made kings and jacks, and that's very unlikely. We will keep it here. They just want this bubble to keep. On this <laughs> we don't, they don't, nobody table. wants yeah, a player to go. So nobody just is busting. Check back the King Six. <laughs> this is the, I believe, the shortest we have seen any player, though. Mm. Negrano at 185. And it is four-handed, meaning that these blinds and annies are going to come around very, very <coughs> quickly. I mean, Daniel should be thrilled right now. I mean, seriously, he should be out of the tournament. Well, I, could it's be not one hundred percent that he calls River, but it, it's probably thirty right. percent of the time, forty for maybe higher that he calls River. So, Gino flops it here. King's full. Well, he's got a little bit more than King's full. How about all four oh, Kings? Sorry, I read, the board, read the board wrong. I was thinking King six six. What a monster! Just <laughs> oh yeah, uh, fl flick it in. Lesnick turns a cut shot, has the ace of spades in his hand. I don't. Maybe this card can get him in trouble. Just looks like Chino doesn't have a very weak hand, right? Just flicks it in on the king, king, six <laughs> yeah, board. What? What is he? A stubborn six? Over pair? Yeah. Lesnick's going for it. Yeah, Jerry's targeting something like a hand that has a pair in it, like tens, um, nines. Just hoping that he can get past that hand. It's not going to work when your opponent has well, a You know something must be developing that's big. It is, as we can see right here. Wow. We'll get back to that quads hand as soon as we can. It is Frank Cravello with a set of jacks. It is Aaron Katz. 180. With a 10 high flush, and it is the Nightcrawler with the nut flush, also with the aces and nines in his hand as well, removing those full house outs for all of the sets. Yeah, I think Aaron will fold. Fold That's for just, Cravello? I mean, Aaron's pretty, not, I shouldn't say he's real short, but if he's calling here, he's calling River, so more than likely. Um, I think he'll fold, though. At this point, I think it's safe to assume that Chino held with quads over at the feature. <laughs> yeah. It's a so. matter of how many chips he did win. Yeah, good fold. Iron. Did you have it? Yeah, I knew you had that. Everyone knows I had that. <laughs> that one wasn't that hard. I've done some hard ones this tournament, though. I've done some. Cut me a blood. Well, Kempton resume. Former gamer. Dota. Man. I'm a Tetris player. You're sick, man. man. You're sick. Yeah. I don't know what Dota is. Is it like Tetris? Uh, no. Dota is like a. Some, my favorite line yeah, it's not Tetris. Is it like a shooter I game? Think, I think so, yeah. Just yeah. You know where you get like half lines. those line air? <laughs> Captain looks like a game. Oh, you know? Yeah. Asian yeah. It's got that gamer vibe. Oh, yeah. 
Ja, ich weiß, weil ich dann ja, ich weiß, ich weiß, genau. Ja. He's in there with the Broadway King Queen Jack Ten, Gravello. He's gonna limp in there with Ace Queen Nine Four. Oh. Interesting. Cats is in there with the Mallards. Haxton. He's gonna knuckle. It's Queen Eight Five okay. Two Spades. Okay. Bello does have ace queen on this board with that flush draw to go along with it. This is going to clear the field all the way back around I think to I think Kempton. May, may call. Yeah, I think that was a cool call. Bill card. He's got backdoor clubs working as well as those potential straight outs, two pair outs. Three is clean for Frank Curvello. Ace Queen remains good along with that spade draw. Also now makes a wheel draw. Bets pot. Yeah, it's a good guard for his hand. Figures he has the best hand of Ace Queen a ton and picks up his gut shot. Now my friends in the YouTube chat are telling me that Dota is a lot like uh, StarCraft or League of Legends. I don't know what either one of those games are as well. I'm more of a Madden 24 kind of guy. I'm RBI Baseball. RBI Tetris. Baseball. Also, you know. Contra. Old Love school. Contra. Of Double course. Dragon. Up, up, down, down. Left, yeah. right, left, right. Yeah. BA, BA, select, start. Right? Isn't that the code? And I can tell you this. I've just been slipped a note from our producer. And he's been doing a little sleuthing over on Reddit. According to Reddit, <laughs> it has been unearthed that the fart heard round the world Earlier on in the broadcast, if you missed it, came from 195 back. David Tuckman <laughs> over there on, on the Poker Go side on the the main broadcast. Which yeah, we're keeping it clean over here, and they're uh, they're just letting it out, just What's letting it rip. On? Now I don't believe that to be true. I think that is somebody planting a seed, a very stinky seed. <laughs> Little fake news on Reddit, but that is what Reddit. Uh, has suggested. <coughs> so there you have it. I know a lot of people have been wondering if we got to the bottom of that fart. That was an incredible moment. As <laughs> yeah. Simultaneously with so someone busting, right? Someone busted right when it happened, right? Isaac was in the pot. Kempton. I think, I think Kempton won the pot. When Brewer was standing when we came back. Though. Brewer. Ike was in the pot. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you know, we got to go pot. back and review the tape. But somebody on Reddit got to the bottom of this, and that's that's where they <laughs> where they landed. We'll catch you up to speed here, Jack on the river. Small pot between Negrano and Blesnick. Negrano's kings are going to hold on this dangerous Check. board, and I believe he will Check. be thrilled. And beat it to see this small blind versus big blind. And Negreanu is chipping up. I can beat that. Hmm? I can beat that. Well, I mean, it doesn't take much well, on that board. Can I just show my hand have, just in case? I don't, I don't, yeah. do, I, do I have two pairs? No. Do I have a straight? No. no. Do I have a set? No. <laughs> do I have that? I need this pot more than you do. I Let's know, not find I, anything. How do I not have any kind of like, <laughs> two pairs? Yeah, it's wild that your hand was all was, around it. Like, was, that a U of Kings? Yeah, I had bad ones. Round up to 240. <laughs> Badoogie. 
16 picks. Well, you would have won, no? Yeah, but I had the jack four three of hearts with the 10. So I make Jackson 10. Mm -hmm. Still trying to figure out Tournament how summary. <laughs> I didn't Presented see how I was going to win GTO that GTO Wizard. The river came. Buy in 100,000. Entries 38. Only seven you know, cash. Like, First place, like just shy of like 1.3 million. I feel like a 10 is good there, like 12%. Nine remain. I felt like my kings were we on the soft bubble. More than that, but. I'm going to go pot. How much? Okay. Blesnick going to go potty on the button. Ten nine six five. Yeah, I don't want it. If I had that hand, I had just had last hand, you would have lost. Yeah. Cool centrist. Did Phil Galfon play in this tournament? He did. Casualty on day one. We've got some action over here. Secondary, in fact, we do. Mickey Dueck. He's got queens and threes with a straight draw. Nine high diamonds cooking. Aaron Katz just with a nut flush draw right now. Facing a lot of pressure. He's going to commit 90,000 more. Now 300,000 in the middle. He would like to see a diamond, obviously, or a four. That is not the card he wants to see. It is a jack of hearts. Probably not the card that yeah. Dueck is looking for as well. Yeah. Horrible card for his hand, too, but I think Mickey will just hope he's up against what he's up against and put a little bet in and win it. And yeah, Aaron will just fold. Gonna drag that pot. Katz relinquishes down to 380. Good hand again, Mickey. If you're just tuning in, we thank you very, very much. 5,400 people watching this on YouTube alone, elsewhere on Pluto, on Sling, Sumo, whatever your preferred viewing partner device is. If you are on our YouTube channel, click that thumbs up button right now. We need to get to two. Thousand that, likes I'm retired from playing for real money. and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Much appreciated from all of us here. What you proud of me for? I'm joking. Call 55. Ike's going to shoot it up with Jack 1076. Captain makes the call with a monster out of the small blind. Ace, King, Queen, Jack with spades. And Cravello comes along for the ride out of the big. Flop, king, seven, four. Check. Isaac Kempton. He's got top pair, queen high spades working. Gravello, gut shot, bottom pair. Ike, he has been absolutely aggressive and dominant for the, I would say, the last two hours. He's got middle pair. Fifty five. Bet fifty five thousand. So, Captain reacts on this flop bet. Uh, may choose to just raise it. 
not have to play any more streets and just win, or he's just call and make it small. He's going to call. And he does call and make it small to the turn we go. Yeah, you just kind of have to, I guess, with Daniel Short. What do you have, Daniel? Aaron Short. You just kind of got to make the, keep the putt small. We have four. Three of hearts on the turn. Gives Ike a little bit more equity. Now adding a gut shot to go along with that pair of sevens. And, man, Ike can really yeah. apply some pressure here if he really wants to. But uh, Kempton is just a horrible spot. Pot right here. He well, seems to leverage those situations to perfection yeah, then, and you it. said it. He's going to apply maximum amount of pressure on this turn. Another massive bluff from Ike Haxton. <laughs> what a dumb spot here for for Kempton. It's just, it's just so dumb. There's just so many better turn cards than this card. Uh Given you just had one pair, just nice. any nine ten Jack Queen, obviously is great. Uh, I have no idea what he'll do here. It's just so stupid. You don't want to call. I mean, you can't raise. <laughs> you could, you can call. It's just, it's just horrible. It's just a horrible spot. Probably just gonna fold. Uh, power of chips, man, and. Mr. Hoxton is very good in these situations. This puts Kemp in just a horrible spot. Nobody, nobody's yeah, not this folding. Out. It just sucks, but... That one hurts. <laughs> yeah, that, that, was, that was really dumb, man. Pained expression from Isaac Kempton, the Nightcrawler. It is dark in Vegas. He's come into his own, his element. That one hurts a lot. <laughs> Just slithers on his way out of here. Gives him the old stink eye. Kept in still right around a million. He's fine. Haxton back to 3.3. He has been unbelievable on this soft bubble. Fuck. You know what I said? Continuing to apply pressure hand after hand. That never happens in our Who are the ones who aren't? I'm not going to say any names. I'm saying at least six people are playing on their own hundred games. Think about that. Only six? It's easy to figure out who you're thinking is not. She knows one of them. Well, she not. Not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a tough stretch to make, I guess. I want everyone else's money. How about that? I'm actually, for the first time in my life in 100K, I'm on my own money. Let's go. We need you here. All right. Clarify <laughs> <All right. laughs> that. Jared, Daniel, and I love sli the slice. <laughs> you sure he even has more than zero of himself? He might have just oversold. He might need to get rid of this. I want to see. He would need satellite. <laughs> even better time to oversell. You can, you can People still have played. Sell. We're on their own money. Yeah, and six of the nine left are playing at oh. least all their own money. Okay. That's what I'm saying. The math is rare. Right. You're yes. saying yes. It should be two based, on, or two based on the Back number. to the feature. Oh, Daniel, I put Daniel in. But. Nobody knows. Chino's been but running back and forth, no, checking out really, stacks. You tried to swap with me on day one. I did. <laughs> I, had like, <laughs> I had like nothing. I had a million, you had 120. Yeah. Should have said yes. <laughs> Blesnick, he's been very really active over here at the right, feature buddy. table. What's that mean? Hello, Vicky. Completes wow. the small. Daniel yeah. knuckles back like the big. Very, uh, doesn't look like know. anyone has a Broadway yeah, card. Queen, nine, seven. How are you? Blesnick hey, has absolutely like nothing. Hubby. He's got a, Hubby needs another double, a gut shot. 
But the 6-5, Daniel out in front with at least a 7 that we can see. 10 slides home on the turn. Action on Blesnick. Checks once more. Negrano. Knuckle. River. There is a 6. We know that Negrano has a straight. Cannot lose this hand. We have no idea what his fourth card even is. As played, Lesnick's going to take a little stab at it for 25000 That is just essentially free money for Negrano. I believe he's folding, right, Len? I don't think so either. It's just calling. Just... I play the board. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think there was much. It going was on a there. jack, so he was considering raising. Yeah. 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 When, it, when he was taking that long, I was thinking, That's okay, awesome. he must have jack, jack. Eight, yeah, because yeah. he was thinking about raising. <laughs> <laughs> Almost wasted a time. The board. <laughs> <laughs> Is that possible there? I don't know. Every yeah. pot yeah. matters yeah. for Daniel yeah. now yeah. up to two seventy, I believe. Stole next. Yeah. If I put any money here, You've been winning the match for 25, 30 years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> find, find a way to squeeze a couple dollars out of the man. <laughs> Vicky, you can't give me a card lower, lower than a two. six on the board? You didn't want it on the river. It's not going to help you. Yeah, you just, yeah. I literally played the board. I heard you. What were you thinking? Of? Oh, you went straight to the jack? Yeah. I was oh. thinking about raising you. you. Oh, no, you played it perfect. I mean, and you're not, I mean, you're raise me, I'm just gonna, if you have a 10 I straight. Let's nick steamed up. Well, Chino, they're back. They're best friends again. Yeah. <laughs> but if I raise, I have to call it off. Yeah, that's why he loses more money. Daniel DeGrand who played that hand perfectly. It's a it. raise river. A lot of the kids will say you have to raise river. Nah. They might be right, but whatever. Where are those kids, though? They're not here. <laughs> right? The kids. I beat all those kids. They're, they're not here. They're not yeah. playing. <laughs> I've been beating them for a lot of years. All the kids. All the new kids. saying about BLOs? I've been making enough for 20 They sit with Jared, and it doesn't usually work out. All these young kids, they're not, po they're not playing, you know, are they? No. What a specimen Blesnick is. <laughs> Look at this guy. That This bucket hat with the... The sheepskin, the sheepskin, the straight yeah, Coca Cola. Oh yeah, I mean, the good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> uh -oh. like wandering that in man the wild. Is not living sugar and gluten nah, free. I'll tell you not, that right now. He's not. I'm not going to be here in a week. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready for some ice cream, man. Swing it on over. Secondary. And that Lesnick and Chino. Uh, Somebody's all this in. is what yeah. they went over there for. Yeah, Katz is all in for his life against Duick, who is top set against Katz <laughs> in the nut flush draw. Eight outs for Aaron Katz. I mean, but it's, it's the right thing to do. Turn. The three of spades. Changes nothing. Seven outs now. For his tournament life, Aaron Katz on the soft bubble. The river. It's wow. the five of diamonds. He does <laughs> get there. Wow. Man. That's <laughs> incredible. He hit it. Amazing. Who did? Now up over 900,000 for Cats. Duick slips below a million for the first time in hours today. That's what it's all about right there. He's going to have himself a little ice cream. What is that? What are we pounding here, pounding Mr. Some Katz? Yeah. Some cabbage. Yeah. Victory cabbage. <laughs> yeah. At least every time it's to my benefit. Salad Some bowl. Some other times, too. 
for the diamond on the river. Clean diamond. Wow. No one's busting. <laughs> For the other short stacks, very likely sick over that river. Negrano, he's seen it so many times before. The adversity you face in tournaments, the agony of a bubble. Raise 40. Gino's going to squeeze it. Ace, Jack, 9 5. No suits. The Negrano. Okay. Now I got, I got the doogie. That. I got that. <laughs> First card was the ace of clubs. Oh, you have Vadoogie? Yeah. yeah. I'll take that one. Daniel up to 340. Picks that pot up. He wasn't, well, I wasn't putting you in the 20 bigs. Well, ace ace king 10 7. I'm at that stage where that's like. I feel you. That's a hand I'm. Uh, Got to go with it, bud. I'm going to play. Yeah. <laughs> First card was the ace of clubs. I'm like, uh oh. Yeah, that's why you're sweating. I was that's like, oh shit, was he's squeezing. sweating. An ace. <laughs> squeezing an ace. Then it kept getting worse. Mm -hmm. Now, Len, assuming that that was a genuine squeeze, and I believe it was, right? Daniel raises to 55. Chino starts peeling the cards. Did you hear what I said? If Chino repots, aren't we always up against what? aces or kids? Like, that's a big hand. But he was. But Daniel wasn't. It's not like he was so short that he had to go with I didn't have to go hand. with the That's what I'm saying. Yeah, seven. right. Yeah. Chino shouldn't be doing that. It's like, yeah, he's peeling. And, you know, if he decides, right. if he says pot, like, yeah, he's probably the worst hand he has is ace king queen I didn't have a club with a suit. That. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the worst hand. So Daniel can then fold. I think I am too, honestly. Yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather just, just take the, yeah. the two and a half because I need sure. it more. You, you need know? it. Like, and then and I, if I don't hit honestly, on the flop. I love you. I don't want to bust you. No, I understand. But I, hit, but I don't hit on the flop. You could still win. Should yeah. on the button. Yeah. King Jack 10-7. Spades. He's right, going to shoot it up. Lesnick down, will defend. Flop. Ace 5-3. Rainbow. That is all Blesnick. Ace is up. That was nice. I get to tell Ellen. Watch, she's just sitting there. Million, million. All right. Things are evening out. That's yeah, I like it. it is. Knuckles over to Chidwick. Eight, Me? Mm -hmm. One point. One. Oh, I see. Yeah, you got five there. Yeah. Good job. Believes it's a bettable board. Was the pre-flop aggressor. Comes in. A little sprinkle. A little drizzle. A little tickle. 35,000 to go. Catches his best card besides the Queen of Spades. Turns inside wrap. Didn't Jack King make him a straight? There you go. As the Kentucky kid pointed out. Pretty good ticket for Chidwick. Added equity now. 20% of the time he'll win this pot. Knuckles back. Takes the equity to the dome, to the river. Brick. Lesnick will hold. If this does go, check, check. Lesnick checks. Now over to Chidwick. What does he do with King Jack High? He's got the Jack of Clubs working in his hand as well. Uh, he probably thinks he's up against probably a bear ace a lot. And deciding if he can get a bluff through against that hand. Okay. Just going to give it up. Surrender. Lesnick wins. Ace game. Where's River? Where's River? Not when he says surrender. We are knocking on the door, by the way, uh, YouTube chat. If you're just tuned in, make Good sure you click that, that thumbs up. Point. Subscribe to this channel. Need that like. Need that thumbs We're up. Go, We're yeah. oh so close to 2,000 there. That is a big benchmark for us. You can win Appreciate the support. You, you can win on Rivers or not? For those of you not tuned in on YouTube, over on Pluto, Sling, Zumo, whatever your preferred platform is, carrying this live event, very much appreciate you guys. 
joining us as well. Could have won on that one. This <laughs> is the Super High Roller Bowl Pot Limit Omaha edition. Day two coverage. We are live playing down to the final seven, maybe six. I'm going to raise the pot. And tomorrow, be 55, sir. 55. we will finish this okay. thing off with live coverage down to a champion. Same time, same place. Not much for me to squeeze there. <laughs> a good squeeze for me. Can't mess with that hand. I have a real question. What are the odds of getting dealt aces and deals? I have no idea. Three to one? Is that what it is? I have no idea. Get him in Three to one? Do you get them one every four times? Yeah, no. If I had a guess, <laughs> the odds of getting he goes, dealt aces. I just is believe. Is. is that what it is? <laughs> I would say. I'm tired. Man. Maybe for you, you that's like that sounded normal. You're like, yes. oh, yeah, that's that's how it feels for me. One out of Just based on instinct and not going off of data, I would say it's like one in 25 hands. Well, what is it to. In, one in, you think you get aces 4% of the time? I think one in 25 hands you get aces in Pila. That's my guess. I think it's really just based on high. Huh? Do you know the math? High. Yeah, I think it's a little less. That's the kind of stuff. I know it's less than that. That's the kind of stuff that you know. The the data that you. You don't know this, Daniel? Daniel's. uh, I don't care. (laughs) I'm actually not relevant to my life. One in in twenty-five. It's probably. It it ain't much lower than that. It's it's probably maybe one in thirty-five max. He just said lower. Negreanu in the small blind. Chidwick in the big. Negreanu will limp in with ace-jack, seven, four, double suited. Chidwick looks down at ace-jack, eight, six. He said lower. I don't don't know what he means. I think that's what he meant, lower than 25. I don't know. We've seen aces. Chidwick will raise. A lot. Back to Negreanu. This is where he makes his stand with this double suited hand. Yeah, he, he has to call and see a flop here with the sin. At least calling. Flicks it in. To the flop we go. A critical one for Negrano. Wow. And they both <laughs> flop the nuts. Only Daniel can win. Daniel has backdoor clubs. He's got a slight free roll advantage. Thirty-five thousand out of Chidwick. Action back on Daniel. Both of them currently have the nuts. And if you're out there rooting for Negrano, you know what it takes for him to find a winner. He's got to go running clubs. And he's going to lie in the weeds as well. Thinks he's slow playing. There is a seven of spades. Of course, does not change anything. Both players will chop this pot no matter what. Unless there's a world in which Uh, someone folds. I don't see it happening. There's a world where Chidwick checks back turn here uh, and (laughs) just does it. But it's not going to happen. Chidwick will bet something, I would assume. Daniel will then go all in and they'll chop it up. Raise. I'm raising. Raise. Chop it up, boys. Okay. No out. There's there's no chopped yeah. bot. Good Chop it up. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be chopping that one. I had. I was like, come on, chewy punt. Checked and bluffed you on a spade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what Ooh. I meant by that. really uh, messed that up. That he could possibly Clearly. win it outright. <laughs> he checks back turn and it came a spade, and then Daniel decides to check wow. gold. I mean, you get ace jack there. It looks like you're just going to double. If he checks turn, are you folding river? It's tough. That's a tough one for your life right there. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> I'm like, I slow played it with that risk at the hand that it comes to backdoor flush. 
Felt like a good spot to do it. He fucking, he had ace jack. Like, come on. What is the, what is going on here? How does he not just have the ace high flush draw with ace king or ace? Well, um, you don't want him to have that. Exactly. You'd have been out. Oh, I'm saying, but on the turn I right. do. Just have like a flush draw and ace king. It gets there. I'm aware, but on the turn. He wanted to be I wanted to ahead. Be, you know, I wanted to play a pot where I had the best hand. Yeah. Not chop it. But. But you would have lost. Yeah, but I would have <laughs> lost. I got that part. <laughs> that part's been made clear. He wants things to happen where he's broke. And he's no, I want to, you know, I want to be dead. Dead. Somehow. I just have fucking ace, ace, nine. Bluff. Jack nine. Jack, Jack nine, too. Yeah. Jack nine. You need two, yeah. So deal. Two more. Two more. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Grano, 21 bigs. Short stack remaining amongst the final nine. Like Four it. here at the feature, five at the outer table. What was. Only seven. So about the way you said. Just, we'll huh? get paid. He had, he had a good blind, very good blind versus blind hand. Ace Jack something something double. Seven four double. Ace Jack seven four double. Limp calls. Bopping In up. case Chitty's bluffing gets him to put double him up. Yeah. You know, but but what I've learned, Chitty never bluffs. Chitty always has it. <laughs> <laughs> now my good friend Jared, on the other hand, I don't know. It all depends on his mood. Here it comes. Why the fuck did I open uh, my mouth? Blesnick with a Badoogie. Wow, oh, Daniel with a super premium hand here. Carano with the goods. Yeah, he'll just... Just... Hot. Put it here, yeah. Get most of your money in. This is the first time with the two, right? Chidwick does not wake up you, over to Chino. He does not have a hand you, good enough. Are you using the lammers? We have to keep count of how many to go with. Yeah, yeah, I, so I can't imagine a world where Blesnick peels with 10, 8, 7, 3. No suits. But and you have 130 behind? Correct. He is a squirrely one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, man. I don't think he will. Uh, I'll you 80 to 1. 80. <laughs> I had the I had the eight eight of clubs. Show three cards, no ace. Eight of one. <laughs> Look at the hand. I mean, does that qualify? Uh, well, eight of one is an ace. <laughs> <laughs> an, ace. an ace. I mean, seems like that qualified as a hand to go with. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't ask the. the I, I had a really bad hand. Well. Daniel now up to four hundred and fifteen thousand. Let there be life. He's got twenty-seven bigs. I'll go with it. What a monster. That's a pretty hand. And we have seen this throughout the course of the evening. Short stacks get, well, short. Find their way back in this thing. Want. Critical double-ups. <laughs> Vicky, you're killing me with that. That was supposed to be a cooler that last time. They won. Big one for Chidwick. King, Queen, Jack, Deuce, double suited on the button. Comes in for 40000 On over to Chino. High, low in the muck. Blesnick, another Badoogie. I swear to you, the first card I've looked at is an ace, the last two hands. And then it just fizzles. Ace of clubs, then ace of spades this hand. <laughs> I tried that last time I looked at one. You had queens the other day, remember? They had a chance to deal with Yeah, that's true. They have something behind it. That's true. I looked at one. Oh, that, wait. It was golden. You have an I, ace the first card. Just, is, yeah. I just had beautiful 08. Ace Steve, three, four, is, there, five. Uh, is there a peel of any Monaco? Three. Three? Yeah, there's, there's three. 50K. 30k bounty and a 20k. How much is the bounties? 10k? 10. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. Juicy. Yeah, did you know there's a bounty tournament? For in this series? Yeah, Coming I saw that. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, that'll be good. Is yeah. it 10k bounty? 
I think I'm going to play that one. What's the bounty? Like I don't know. 45. Oh, that's huge. Is bounty... Same amount. I saw it I'll on I'll tell you schedule. how you can find out. I saw it. And I, I'm yeah. going to do it right now. I'm going to walk you through it. Head over to PGT.com, <laughs> click on <laughs> Schedule, and you'll see there's a $7,600 okay. pot limit Omaha bounty cool. tournament. Each bounty worth 2500 bucks. Oh, yeah, that's that's on October 20th when? in three days. It's a three-day tournament? Yeah. There's also a 15K PLO progressive bounty tournament coming on the 22nd. Man, if we don't run our game, y'all might get me. I might have to get over here and get some bounties. I'm going to find a backer. Where did you take it? Mount Charleston or? Uh, I've been up you got it, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, when you when you normally hike, is that where you go? Or? Uh, sometimes Mount Charleston is closed right now. Oh, is Red it? Red Rock, yeah. Red Rock, okay, yeah. Are you going to Monaco? Me, no. I'm going to be here. No. Lesnick will take that pot Those down. Are, Daniel uh, slides to 355. Those get expensive. Those get up there. Plus. <coughs> I've been grinding Ooh, for the last. I'm assuming it's mostly Euros that play those tournaments? Or what? Like Asians, Europe? too. What do you mean? Asians. A lot of Asians. play the PLO? What's it, it look, oh. Uh, it great question Asians from or? our I mean, YouTube yeah, chat. Coffee. You think so? 100%. Maybe I'll play. Yes, those events will Bro, be streamed you, right here. This, was it, was this wherever was this you're watching this from. This was not a soft event. Poker no. Girl YouTube channel on Pluto, on Slam. Yeah, that doesn't mean, that just. I saw 40 hands. Your preferred platform that is carrying. <laughs> Poker girl. How many were yours? Be live. Yeah. Forty. Both with similar hands here that could connect to some fireworks, possibly. And 9.30, good line. Told you, over. <laughs> we got 8.20 now. It's a lot of doubles. Yeah. out in front. This pair of queens. Excuse me, Chitwick. I can't see straight. I'm delirious. Lesnick will win regardless. You guys have another hand? Swing it out over to the secondary table. There is our tournament update. Nine remain, seven get paid. Average stack, the remaining field, 84 big blinds. Everyone is quite deep. Short stack is Daniel Negrano with 23 bigs. This guy, Ike Haxton, shows us that he can play every game at a high level. He just <laughs> won Super High Roller Bowl 8 the No Limit edition, now trying to go back-to-back -back and take home the PLO title. Raise 40. The Nightcrawler makes it 40K to go. Cravello out of the way. Cats into the muck. Kempton will win. Back to the feature we go. We'll follow the man dressed like a sheep, Jared Blesnick, the industry, the sports card enthusiast. Man, that interview that time was just an all-timer. I lost it in the booth. It's tremendous. I couldn't hold it. In. No. I just laughed so hard. I told you we're all going to make it. What don't you believe about yeah. that? Nowhere else to be. You could be practicing cornhole. She gotten any better? 
Oh, we, we moved back to the other place. Oh, you did? Lesnick shoots it up to 50,000. Negrano looks down at ace, raise king, jack, jack. One suit. He's going to raise the pot. What is it? And we have 175. a potential big one brewing. If Blesnick continues with these queens, it's pretty cuspy. Walk us through it, Len. Dana's 345. Uh, man, I think Blesnick folds, yeah. He's, He's exposing his hand. It's going into the muck. <laughs> I had a good ace king with it. <laughs> it's funny the both times. <laughs> I didn't have the aces. <laughs> Grano now up to 435,000, has not had the aces when he's repotted, so I guess he's Daniel due. 158 of them I'm due. The all aces. Next ones are aces for sure. I think Daniel might be the best in the world at like 10 BBs. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. You're playing so good. You're playing perfect. Playing my, doing my best with what I got. I, I wouldn't like that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you. You could if you wanted to. It's we got Blez Sports Cards in the YouTube chat nice advertising. Ten spots, $25. Top spot gets a Maggio autograph something. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds great. Thank you, Blez Sports Cards. For Can you ask, are any Fred McGriff now, worth right? anything? I got a Don, Fred McGriff? Don Mattingly. <laughs> you got some Freds? Okay. Oh, yeah. I, I have all the cards that are worth nothing. For what? No, it's like nothing. Like the no years, 85 to like. 88 yeah. are just dust. I got like 30,000 of them wow. sitting in a garage. <laughs> Never know when they're going to really yeah. blossom and turn into yeah, something. Yeah, maybe they they run it, they, they get value soon. <laughs> Fred McGriff like, becomes president or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all you've got going. Chino Reem flops the nuts. Like when, <laughs> when Colorado was winning the first three games and everybody was all on Deion Sanders, I was right. like, oh, maybe I got some Deion Sanders cards, you know. Maybe they're worth something, and then they and they blew a twenty nine to nothing lead. <laughs> they were worth something for a week. Yeah. Blesnick gonna make a straight. Chino's flush is still good. One ten in the middle. <coughs> we're gonna show it down. That's, that's a good guess. Is that good? Like that. Good. Apologies. She don't bet 25000 I didn't even see him flick out a single green chip. I just thought it was a casual check and then a check behind. I don't know. Moving on over to the secondary. Let's try it again. Cravello, queen 10 9 3. Double suit. Going to shoot it up. I got 500. We both got 500. Mickey, come along for the ride. King 10, 4, 4. Looking for a sailboat. Both players go check, check to the turn. It's a 9. I have less than a third of the chips, Jared. Cabrillo's pair and straight draw. Less than a third. Large favorites. He's reaching. 60. He's going to splash Our 60. Mickey goes for the check raise with this holding. I think Mickey thinks the best hand he could have turned is the hand like Jack Non. Or similar hands to the ones he has. And see if it'll work. It can work. Probably will.
an insane amount of pressure for Cravello to call. Yeah, nice race there, by me. How come every single hand that Ike's not in, the shorter stack wins? Every hand. It's like they're working together with him. You hear Paul Campbell in the back. We're going to draw for the number of hands to play before our next break, then do a redraw again to situate for the feature, which is the protocol for these events. Hmm? What did you have when I flopped the left? Open-ended, 5-7, something like that. You know what I can tell them? I, I didn't have one outs. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you anything. Well, I'm going to find out. That's why I just want you to tell me. You know what? Try this. Lesnick limps in. Negrano doesn't take the bait. Flop comes Doyle. Lesnick checks it over with aces up. Does have a 10 as well. Negrano has nothing. Continues to be the case. Lesnick adds a flush draw to go along with his hand. Massive favorite. Splash. Negrano. Muck. I had such a bad hand. I was waiting for you to raise. Oh my God, I had three, four, seven, eight. It's nothing. I was waiting for you to raise it free. Yeah. Man, if I had something, I would. Not that one. <laughs> you turned flush draw, too, yeah? You did? Had hearts? Mm. Did I? You did. You had hearts. Yeah. Turn was jack of hearts. Yeah. Uh -uh. These guys don't even know what they have. You well, might need to pop one of your pills, man. You plenty of NZT 48s yeah. out there. We might need to take a couple. Boost your awareness. We need to boost. Chino now. He's got aces. Oh. He's got a suit as well. Pot. 55, I believe. Yeah. Makes it a pot size raise. 55,000 to go. Blesnick on the button. He likes to get sticky. He's got the sort of hand he may want to get sticky with. Look at this. He's got a bad vibe. He's just out of there with King, Queen, Jack, Nine. Come on, Jared. Just sort of felt it in the moment. Nice yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, you're right. You get him one every four hands. <laughs> That's how you play. That's why you thought it was a normal number. You're like, is, that, is it really? Is it three to one? <laughs> I run bad then, you were thinking. <laughs> yeah. That was like a Sean Winter sort of fold, you know? Like, I mean, let's hear it. Let me, let me see. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, his, his hand can so play bad against. The whole world has no idea what I'm doing. Some yeah. <laughs> They're going to think my hand was the last hand, right? Problems. <laughs> Sometimes oh, they just see the nine six five three, and then they see you fold whatever you just folded. Yeah, that's that's what that's what they. <laughs> that's how you get them. They're all going to think it's an error. That's how you've been making the nuts for the last. <laughs> <time>. <laughs> Watch him pop this out of spite. <laughs> right, yeah. Let's open the 10 6 five, He's four, just playing three with us all. There, there we, we go. go. Look at this Let's guy. It. He's unbelievable. Well, I'm not going to play with that. If you did He's five, unbelievable. <laughs> Lesnick yeah. putting on a show. No, yeah, break time. Break time after this hand. Okay, What's, so I can leave. You know, funny about Jared, like over the years, he's 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 won a ton, probably won more big right. blondes online playing heads up than anybody. But... Uh, when you play him, it's like addicted to play him. My point is, he does some erratic stuff. He keeps four, you coming back four for bets, more. Four bets, the minimum. He's he's leading one tenth pot in five in four bet pots on flops. He does a lot of weird stuff, and you kind of think he's a spot. <laughs> and he's not, but he's very good at adjusting to certain player styles and and playing accordingly. But it's uh, he is he is a very interesting player. Well, like he's this. doing some interesting things here. Forty-five thousand with a four. Chidwick's out. 
Chino under rep. Just called pre with those kings. He's not done. Check. Deuce of Diamonds presents itself now on the turn. Chino's got the diamonds covered. Could be problematic on various rivers. Jared did also add. A straight draw to the equation. A three would give him a six high straight. Check, check. River. Check. Oh Another God. four. Are you kidding me? Blesnick. Chino's going to lose his bond here. Hoping you say the word kings. <laughs> and it is kings. kings. Four is good. <laughs> this is spooky. Such a lucky little fuck, man. Jacks or kings? Please say kings with diamonds. Four is fucking good. Oh, like God. God. And the funny thing. <laughs> Take the pot. And that, <laughs> my friends, who are tuning in, is a perfect time. Ah, for us to take a much-needed break. It will not be long. I snap a fucking flush. We will be back. Give it about five minutes or so. Super High Roller Bowl Day 2 coverage will continue after this short bank. We'll get down to the money, playing down to the final seven. Take your game to the next level with GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Start crashing at gtowizard.com. So Kempton way ahead a lot of the time, as he is here. Reem, by the way, a 2-1 to one dog. And yeah. at this point, I, I, I guess we expect the chips to go in. This looks to me like an all-in. Ben's out of position. It's going to be hard to navigate a lot of rivers if he just call. calls. He does go all-in. Gino calls. Says he's drawing. Ben loves to hear that. Oh, no. I just have a wrap. That's such a good turn card for you. Reem still has 13 outs, by the way. Oh I mean, God. 13 yeah. outs. When you find out diamonds are no good, it's not terrible. Yeah. These wraps are, are quite powerful in PLO. And, th and, and not all wraps are the same. Sometimes. No. So this one, he can go 3, 5, 6, 8, 10. He's got the five-card wrap. Sometimes you only have a three-card wrap, the inside wrap. Basically, any non-diamond card under, that's not right. pictured. Doesn't want, to see like... a, doesn't want to see a board pair. Doesn't want to see a diamond. Right. But he wants to see anything in that kind of middling region. And a big sweat for Ben here. Yeah, this is for his tournament. This would get him up to 70 bigs or so, just under. It yes. is a three. And Chino Ooh. hits it. Chino makes the straight. Good game, Ben. Good game, guys. Let's play with Chino hits oh. it, and... Uh, That's a rough one for Ben. You see eight as kind of the default in a lot eight's of Eight's fine. Seven's better. Yeah. yeah. Eight's definitely doable. Seven's better. And then five or six five is, is even, probably... Five is great. My favorite. Yeah. That's the nuts. Everybody with chips at this table. Blinds are 6,000, 12,000. Nobody with less than 100 big blinds here in our feature table. Average stack, by the way, throughout this tournament, though, about 80 big blinds. Kept an opening with a mystery card here. Haxton has a playable hand on the button. I expect him to at least call, probably call. Not really the type of hand you want to three bet. And Blaz has a mystery card too. We may get to see those cards. We may not. Yeah, we'll find out. King four deuce, two hearts out there. I don't see one heart. No. Nobody has a heart. Nobody has a heart unless Blesnick's mystery card is a heart. Right. Oh, there we go. There it is. Okay, it's a heart, but wow, Blesnick actually had a pretty good hand, pretty good hand, though. Yeah, Kempton here with two pair, but he has to be a bit cautious with no backup in top and bottom here, three ways. You do see him check. And Ike, considering, you know, this is, on the surface it looks like it would be kind of a crazy bet for Mike, but... There are some reasons for it. You do have backdoor spades, so you can consider barreling on some cards. You have six block again, those future straight blockers we talked about, and you have a board pair with the four. Uh, so you've got a little bit of interaction, uh, but it's not going to get through Kempton. Kempton does make the call, and again, Ike versus Isaac. Another, well... 
It's always a little precarious when you have top and bottom, but but filling up makes filling that up feel makes a little better. Up, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Now, does Kempton just take, or does Haxton just take this sort of bottom of range hand and turn it into a multi-street bluff? Certainly would be reasonable. Blocking board pairs is good. Unblocking hearts at this point is good because you want your opponent to have flush draws that are now not going to like that board pair. I think it's actually a really reasonable combo to go for a second barrel with, even though we can see he only has 5% against Kempton's exact holding. I, I, by the way, I love this. Pot. And there it is, pot from, from Haxton. I love the fact that you're suggesting this is a great bluff, despite the fact that from a results-oriented standpoint, right. it's terrible. Right. Yeah, you just want to think about Kempton's okay. overall range of hands here. And a lot of those are going to be heart combos when you have no hearts yourself and your opponent's you can just check count it. You can just count it. Um, and, and even the fact that he has two sixes is just somewhat count. relevant because it gives him... Two outs against it. almost it's everything, awesome. right? You know, instead of just having like ace four, six you seven or whatever. Disagree. Just count it. Looks like one seventy two. And I Kempton, keep in mind, by the way, if you're Kempton, you're um, still that's why you, you can you're count. still losing to fours. You still do lose to fours and, mean, and to kings, but you know you're not really worried about that. You're more just going to go into check call mode and hope your your guy yeah. keeps bluffing. Raising wouldn't make a ton of sense here because, you know, Ike probably doesn't have too many four-deuce combos, um, and then you're just getting him to fold a lot of his bluffs. But you do want to balance this and maybe make it look like you have something like ace-ace-five or ace-ace with hearts you get more time back um, and encourage your opponent to fire a third barrel, oh. either with worse for value or as a bluff. So what, Ke what Kempton is doing here is making it look like, well, I could just have some type of bluff catcher, even though he has what is a very strong hand and a very clear continue. I use him in a spot where it should have been a snap call. Call. Kempton makes the call. Haxton and I think a pretty looking, good for, looking for a parachute. Yeah. He needs a six. Yeah, and a pretty good acting job there from, from Kempton, too. You bought it, was, it? I bought it. I bought it, even though I can see his cards. <laughs> Haxton looking for a six. He probably thinks a, a offsuit four might be good too. Oh, oh my. my goodness! Wow! Wow! This is a, how this does he do it? This is a wild hand. I think Ike's gonna go for a big bet here too, and Kempton Whoa. is not gonna fold. Oh, that is that is crazy. That's a. I mean, wild I assume visit. Kempton is just a check call, though, right? I mean, you lose to you do lose to a set of fours. Yeah. Absolutely, the pot's big enough. You lose the kings, and frankly, if you raise, what are you getting called by? Yeah, yeah. This is this is check call, but this is check quick call. What and, a dirty river! And the question is, how greedy does Ike go here? Does this because remember that well. Kempton can still have some of those ace ace plus hearts kind of hands. Ike might be concerned now that if he bets pot, a lot of those hands are going to fold. He's not necessarily putting Kempton on a boat. Um, on the other hand, Kempton can have deuce king. He can have pocket fours. Of course, he can have pocket kings. That's just a cooler if that's the case. Right. But Haxton does block the fours, so. I wouldn't be shocked to see Ike go with a non-pot size bet. No. He does just pot it. He goes pot. And look at look at Kempton. Yeah, Kempton's a little. Uh, he knows he's not beating any value bets by that no, reaction, but he's so. just his I hand is just too right? good. He just can't fold this yeah. hand, in my opinion. Yep. Oh, I hate this fucking spot. I have a hand that should never fold. This would be a. You hear him say it. I have a hand that should never fold. This would be a crazy fold, in my opinion. I I don't think he should fold again. We can see the cards, but. I'm curious. Does Haxton do this, on a on a five or a a seven on yeah. eight? You know, it's we'll never know, I guess, but I think he might have, uh, and I think that was the whole plan. One, six. And, and, and Kempton is just going to hate to see the hand that he's losing to as well. There's a call. Six is full. <laughs> this is just a tough yeah, one to Kempton. swallow. It's kind of oh, good. like wait, what? And Ike's got yeah. almost like a guilty look on his face. I think you were just blasting the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Yep, I was. Yeah. Yep, guilty is charged. <clears throat> Better to make sure everything's good with the cards. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We head over to the editor table. Haxton now at <laughs> 2.86 million as he approaches three. Cats, by the way, has now dipped below to 4.15. Yeah, the so. only saving grace for Dueck and Kempton is, like, Dueck having direct fold. position and Kempton being two to Haxton's left. Um Otherwise, Haxton's going to be a real menace to deal with with this big chip lead over the other guys. Yeah, I mean, two, the nice thing, Duex got position. They're five-handed, not four-handed. Right. And you also know the tables will switch. Exactly. Every yeah. 75 minutes. For sure. I guess not a surprise to see that.
deep into the night we go here in the desert. Inside the Poker Go studio for Super High Roller Bowl, Pot Limit Omaha edition, day two. We are down to nine players. This is what we're playing for. Nearly 1.29 million up top. Average stack, 62 bigs. Of the nine that remain, only seven will get paid. Isaac Haxton is our current chip leader. 3.3 million. He has taken this thing over. There is a look at the overall leaderboard. Lesnick in second. Chidwick in third. Chino up there in fourth. Scroll on down to the bottom. Daniel Negreanu, our short stack, right around 20 bigs, 395,000. This is the soft bubble. Seven get paid, 152,000 for the minimum cash. Nearly 1.3 million up top. And, of course, that beautiful piece of hardware, the super high roller bowl ring. You can max Levels up, tournament 10K, 20K. <clears throat> Agrano, fold. Chidwick now on the button. Out of the way. Blind on blind. Chino completes. And on over to Jared Blesnick. If you were with us before break, you saw that final hand between he and Chino. Blesnick has been spectacular with the table talk and the antics. Check. Check. Nobody has a thing. Check. Straight. Straight now for Chino on the river. The doogie, the doosie. Really good hand? Yeah. They're nuts. I'm thinking straight, and I see a five. I'm like, any of the straight. Chino Ream, an unorthodox style to his play. What a resume. He just won the PGT Mixed Games 2 Championship, the overall leaderboard outright winner. Made a run in the Poker Masters, was in contention for the Purple Jacket alongside his neighbor to his right, Stephen Chidwick, took home the Purple Jacket Series champion. Just joining us on YouTube, right here on Poker Go or whatever your preferred platform is, whether it be Pluto, Sling, you name it. I'm Brent Hanks, joined by the one and only icon, Len Ashby. Getting some peanuts down over here. I'm trying to chew them quietly. He's got a mouthful of nuts. The Kentucky way. Oh, yeah. Let's the glimpse good. in, small blind, queen five four four. The ground who knuckles, jack jack three three. <laughs> Let's see three. With man, everybody's got nothing. <clears throat> Turn an eight. The Granus Jacks still in the lead. Lesnick can win with a queen or a six or a four. River is a nine. Who's watching? Okay. Not a great card for either player. Negrano, though, with those two jacks. May he feel compelled to react? What is Blesnick going to decide to do? It looks like he will bluff at this thing. 
Knows those fours are not any good. Let's see if Daniel uh, Bluff raises River here, even though he doesn't need to, but obviously thinks he's going to have to. But there's folds. Wish I was double suited. I made the nuts. You had a jack, huh? I had queen, jack, four, spades, and a five of clubs. Jared played the board again. Now I see you've got yourself a cup full of mixed nuts over there, Leonard. Oh, yeah. What is your preferred nut? Um, I like salted almonds. I don't like peanuts. Or you bluff me on with the best hand. <laughs> I'm not like a big nut guy. Well, God, I'm right with it. Not a huge but nut guy, but not a right. You know I'm what I like? Uh, I'm out on the peanuts. Ice cream and caramel. Put some chopped nuts on them. Oh, baby. Oh, my That's God. it right you there. You are just. I, so many times yeah. you have That's it. mentioned the ice cream. I know you're fiending for it. it. A lot of these folks may yeah. have missed that earlier. Yeah, they don't you're know. unable to eat anything with sugar in it at the moment. Well, just like, yeah. I'm, yeah, I got some. Stem cell injections in my back, and they, I'm on this diet. They make you go on for like six weeks. It's been, it's just, you know, when you tilt, you got to take it out. You know, emotion, yeah. emotional eater, you know. Oh, I know. Fire it off in some stupid pot, give this guy, yeah. pay off some nit. And then he's just like, okay, I'm yeah. going to get a burger. Right. With, with, with big bun, you know. You can't wait for that. And it's like uh, that option's gone. So now it's like I got to try to play really well because if I'm afraid I can't, you know, react to the <laughs> to making a mistake by eating. Can't just go get some Skittles, you know. Oh, Skittles! <laughs> Look out here, two big a little inside wrap plus draw. Blind on blind, limped pot, both knuckle. The grinder checks Chidwick. Action now on him. With a very big draw. Comes with 45,000. Daniel with just top pair, quite vulnerable. Yeah. Just don't love your end in any way. It's going to call. Turn is the four of clubs, uh, adding even more yeah. outs to Chitwick's resume. Look at the size of this hand. When you think about all of the draws and the potential. Yeah, it was his best card uh, other than making his hand. Remains a favorite by the numbers. Does not have a pair, but that is the power of pot limit Omaha, the power of draws. Continues to apply pressure. That is it for Daniel. No, we can't. You can tell we've got a development. The boys came over to fill us in. We have coverage out here at the secondary table. Wow, Mickey's all in. Wow, Mickey is all in for his tournament life against Isaac Haxton, the current chip leader. Ike. Daniel's like. He's got top and bottom with a straight draw. <laughs> Mickey, he's got aces. The turn <laughs> is a six, giving Ike now three pair. Ike with an 82% next to his name. Otherwise, Mickey Duick is out the door. He can only win with an ace, four, or a queen. Now on the river we go. It is an eight, and that is it What's that like? for Mickey Duick, dismantled by Ike Haxton. Once the chip leader was Duick, now out the door, which means we are officially on the stone cold bubble. And Ike has got all the chips. <laughs> I told you, you didn't believe me. Was it was nearly all. You I felt it when he won that pot off, off Kempton, you know what I mean? That was it. That man. it was coming. Critical. Look at this. Look at that. 4.2 million. 
I mean, he is in prime position here. Incredible for Isaac Haxton. Fresh off his victory in Super High Roller Bowl 8. Beating Andrew Lichtenberger heads up for that title. Now looking to claim the PLO version of the event. Daniel Negreanu has 290000 back over at our feature table. That is just under 15 bigs. Our second shortest stack belongs to Aaron Katz here in the big blind. Man, he's just is, not letting up. <laughs> he is not. I- Ike is opening every single pot, uh, applying yeah. maximum pressure. Yeah, I think Aaron left. Is that what I saw him? Maybe that was I believe just Aaron is in the big okay. line. Yeah, just posted. Say, that would be really weird for him to limp on a gun. And the flop is 863. Rainbow. Katz's jacks are still out in front. In this game, that means nothing. Axton continues to apply pressure, 115,000, forcing a fold out of Aaron Katz. Yo, yo, you said the limp would have like that. Queen, queen, jack, seven, double. Big flop for you. Yeah. That's Hannah. Thank you. So you hear tournament director Paul Campbell in the background. We are hand for hand between these two tables on the Stone Cold Bubble. I think I'm still lowest stock in the game. 700. Been low all day. And, Len, I thought we were combining at eight. We are not. not. We are just going right to it, each table four-handed. And this is just even bigger edge for for Ike, right? Oh, this is a dream for Ike. He can just Eight-handed is a little little tougher to just open every hand. You know what I'm saying? Like (laughs) He can just keep doing it four-handed. Kid, I love you, but I'll take him over you and no limit. You got a game, Stevie, online. Better than you got a game. Oh, online. Play no limit. I'll Actually, I don't know. Grano, I don't know. queen nine eight six. He's spooky online. He's got the baby I suit. Some spooky shit and just fucks people up. Under the gun, four handed. Fourteen bigs. Giving this some consideration. I'm surprised. I assume it's going to hit the muck. It does. Yeah. It's not strong enough. Double suited, maybe. It's just that. Uh Isaac bust that guy real quick. Huh? I just want Isaac to bust someone over there real quick and get this shit over with. As long as it's not Shaq. Shaq. It won't be Cat. At 4-4-3, four, four, both players having a couple of hockey sticks. This one, I'm going to let you bluff. 290? Show me what. I don't this know. What's 290. What's so funny? <laughs> This is unbelievable. What do you have? Let me see. Amen. And then let me see the other two. Oh my God! I got you. Yo, you could hit a three. I was valued. <laughs> I was folding. Fuck. Here, just take it. A three was coming. When did that never happen? Not much. Pokerella in mean? the YouTube chat oh, yeah. says just stone bubbled the satellite in the oh, studio yeah. an hour ago. You've won a lot Who's going to join me? <laughs> Clearly you referring to this play. current play. event. So, who, who side you like? yeah, Well, that's, condolences, that's Pocarello. Right Another satellite I, running I, tomorrow. I, me, Wish you the best there. Hope you win your seat. And outer action. 
surprise to no one. Ike is involved, and he has absolutely nothing. <laughs> Applying max Ooh. pressure Ooh. Ten seconds. to Frank Cravello, who is folding way. here with ace-king 5-3 on this board. Haxton is just getting away with everything at will. Now up to $4.4 million. <clears throat> I'm shocked you folded two seconds. And it seems pretty likely that Negreanu's chips three. will be in the middle. Uh, who, who came in ninth place? Michael Dewitt. Everyone is going to play so tight, waiting for well, him yeah, to get committed three, and involved in a hand. I don't know if you had a better. For everyone tuning in at home, rooting him on. I had a suit too. He no, is no, no, going to need two. to double up at least once. Seven, seven. <clears throat> All right. Chino will open. Queen 10, 8, 4, double suited. Blesnick looks down at two jacks in the form of a Badoogie. No suits. Looks disgusted. He is disgusted, which means he will call. Check to my friends. I'll wait till I make a hand, as Chino said. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Hmm. It is Queen. Wow. Jack, six. A disgusting flop for kid poker set over set. Yeah, he's going to go broke here. He just can't do anything about it. Like 12 pigs, right? I mean, they're just... Hot. Yeah. 170? 170. And it is going in. Do we turn him up or wait? Wait. All in. Huh? Only seven percent. So we're waiting for them, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You have a set of sixes, Daniel? Three jacks. You have three jacks? Yeah. That's true. You really have three jacks? Do you really? Well, turn him up. Huh? But I can't fold this hand. I mean, what the fuck? Guess not. A filthy cooler. On the stone cold bubble. I mean, I wouldn't fold your hand either. <laughs> I mean, when I got like $8 left. <laughs> All right, a five and a three, I guess. Or a six, that would work too. He's going to need quads. Or running straight. Dang Just like that, only seven percent equity. Fold. I was like, "Oh, sweet, on my head." <laughs> can't fold. Maybe the card justice will like uh, punish him for the for the comment, and then <laughs> I make something. Here. Yeah, Jared probably should be no saying that. It's kind of kind of brutal to hear. Probably think he's has top two when he says that. Okay. Oh, got some outs. Holy smokes. And he's turned Eight, three, life. Six, right? Eight outs now. 20% of the time he gets there. Ooh. Why don't I have diamonds, too? Eight, three, six. Eight, three, six. Feel it. Feel it. Do it. Do it. River. Oh. It's a seven. GG. GG. That spells the end. <laughs> For the ambassador of GG Poker, Daniel Negreanu, eliminated on the Stone Cold Bubble. Everyone else in the money. A sickening feeling. I want to play. Wait, say that again, what? Today is per the rules. Today is seven players. I want to play. I want to play too. Uh, I will leave it up to the majority, I, play, I guess. Right? I want to hear what everyone says. What? Well, All right. I, I want to. I mean, I don't want to play Super Late. Yeah. I'll play for a while. 
I want to play. And now the fellows are deciding would they like to continue to play or end it for the night, bringing back all seven in the money tomorrow or playing down to six. Perhaps we just agree to play for a certain amount of time. Let's see how this settles. I believe well, if Marty anyone objects, they're done. All right, then. Ike alone on his own island. Ike's okay. looking like, I'm not done with you all, man. Well, just, He's ready to hey, feast. Hey, can, can He's can got 4.4 4 million. Because I don't mind playing a little while longer, but I don't want to be too late. And it sounds like a decision has been made. We will come back tomorrow for the final table here on Poker Go to conclude and find out who will be our champion here in the Super High Roller Bowl PLO edition. For Brent Hanks, for Len Ashby, and everybody here at Poker Go, thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you all at home for watching. We'll be back tomorrow to find out who will be our champion.